morning. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really weak. That was a really weak good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Good morning. <laughs> Yippee. Good morning, everybody. Happy cowboy game. <laughs> yes, exactly, Tomo. Morning, everybody. Hi, Jax. Congrats on first. Hi, Diggy. Congrats on second. Hi, Choco. Congrats on third. Hi, Visionary. Hi, Tomo. Hi, Jeeps. Good morning. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> today... Today is going to be... A long day. I'm very frightened. I dreamt about Red Dead Redemption last night and the night before. I went to bed early last night because I was so depressed. <laughs> I went to bed at 6 p.m. <laughs> I went to bed at 6 p.m. and then woke up for dinner and then I went back to bed at 9 p.m. I, I had trouble sleeping, I was so anxious. Wait, because of this? Visionary, you were anxious. Ah! I'm sorry. I feel like I'm affecting people. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, Bihaj, congrats on your 20 stream streak. Uh, when did you get to yesterday? Uh, we stopped before we did the John Bridge mission. The last mission I did was helping Sadie take down the O'Driscolls. So we've got to go do the bridge mission, then we've got a mission with eagle flies. I think with eagle flies? I don't remember, but we'll have a look shortly. <sighs> and then... Yeah. Well, it wasn't the only reason that I got enough eventually? Well, that's good. I'm glad you got enough sleep. Yeah, we got... we got quite a bit to do. Yesterday, at the end of stream, I was considering going a little bit longer, but everyone in the chat told me, no, no, you've only got a couple missions left, just do it all tomorrow and then you can do the epilogue too. And then today in chat, in, in the Discord, Visionary, you said that I wouldn't be able to finish it today. So what's the story? <laughs> am I gonna be able to finish? I have to finish today. I've, I've decided that I am. Closure. I'll go as long as I need to go. Never trust chat. I have to trust the people that have played the game before I defer to their knowledge. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna, I'm beating the game today. It's, it, today's the day. 13 Red Dead Redemption 2 streams. That's crazy. <laughs> Unlucky number 13, <laughs> it's gonna be awful. <laughs> okay, let's get in here. Let's load on in. Also, I do have my aircon on again today, so you'll probably hear some buzzing in the background, but you know what? Uh, it's fucking cold, dog. I mean, it's fucking hot, dog. <laughs> A lot more in the epilogue plus exploring. That's true. I haven't even been to New Austin yet. I'm sure that's what we'll be doing in the epilogue. Hot dog? Mm-hmm. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Indeed, Bihaj, indeed. It's just quite warm today. <laughs> I have an extreme heat weather warning on my phone. All right, here we are. Hi, hi Arthur. Hi, my little me. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, fuck off alerts. What's that hot dog and bread again? That is a bunning snag, my darling. A bunning snag. I still have to finish drawing that emote. Hi Lou, hi Straw Hat, how are you? Welcome back again. <gasps> Jack. Hi Jack, hi Jack, hi Jack, hi Jack. I hope people don't fight anymore this morning. I hope so too, I hope so too. Is Strauss gone? Yeah. Yeah. To leave. He's gone. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure, Uncle Arthur. Bye Jack. I'm gonna miss you. Great, how about yourself? I'm good. I'm apprehensive about today's stream, but I'm good. <laughs> I agree, Abigail. The camp is so quiet and lonely now. There's like fucking five people left. It's so fucked up. 
Ugh. All right, uh, let's see what we have to do today. We've got, yeah, no other missions anywhere else. We've got the John mission and then the, oh, it's a Charles mission, yeah. So we're gonna go and just head straight over there and do that. We've got work to do today. <laughs> we gotta go. Guga! Actually, 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 before we do that, I really wanna check the journal. We didn't check the journal yesterday at the end of the stream. I'd like to see what he's written. So, all right, I read that one last time. So this is new. Found a raving lunatic, completely raving, took him back to the village nearby, Butcher's Creek. Something ain't right here. Some kind of village elder, Obadiah, maybe appeared. He spoke mostly nonsense. Weird place, something not right at all. Hi! Hi, d -Virch. Um, yeah, that was the, the weirdo missions. Oh, and we drew a horse and a little goat and a little chicken. That fucking goat that kept headbutting me. Oh, Wapiti? Yeah, I want to read about this. We went to speak to the chief about the situation. I helped him recover some precious things from the army. He gave me some medicine, which helped me a little. Aw, oh, he's a man who not so long ago I would have found weak and pathetic, and now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I'd love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Aw, oh, the ginseng. And a crow. Uh... Hamish died. We was hunting boar and the boar won, at least against him. I liked him, but more than that, I admired him. He lacked self-pity and he lacked confusion about his place in the world. He was the man we all, would all want to be if we weren't so distracted being idiots. He gave me Buell, his moody, magnificent horse, to look after. <laughs> his moody, magnificent horse! Ah, so sweet! I love his art and his handwriting is so beautiful. <laughs> I know! Oh, Arthur! Crow, fox, raccoon. Lovely, lovely. Oh, this is about Captain Monroe. Saw Captain Monroe again, a good man in a difficult situation. This dump must seem a long way from West Point in Washington. He cares about the Indians, but he ain't too friendly with the local regiment. Helped him distribute some vaccines others were not so keen to offer about. At least we're recapping what happened last stream for the people that weren't uh, around. I love Buell. I rode him once I got him as my main horse. I really want to take Buell out, but Guga is so special to me, Choco. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we went back to that place, Butcher's Creek. The locals thought they were being attacked by demons, but I think they were just sick dogs. Seems like Obadiah the Elder is also possessed by this snake oil shaman fellow that turned up. He wants me to destroy some cursed charms in the woods around there. We shall see quite... <laughs> we shall see quite what the shaman's game is, but there's some nonsense afoot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Destroyed the charms, went back to the village, and the shaman announces things are worse because I destroyed the charms. Remarkably convenient. I was about to give him a beating when he ran off. <laughs> a beating! <laughs> um, the elder said the shaman was interested in a mine shaft. Perhaps that's what the look. That was crazy, that mine shaft mission yesterday. That was insane! Getting like, as the way I clipped through the floor and started falling <laughs> into infinity. That was fucking awesome. Good evening, Luke. Good evening, Rocco. How are you? What if you did a mission with Buell? I would have to ride out all the way to a stable and then get Buell and then ride out and then ride back. So I don't know, maybe, maybe. Oh, congrats on your five uh, stream streak, Rocco. Yippee. Went to the mine looking to figure out, uh, figure what hold that weird shaman has over this village. I don't know why exactly, it just seemed important, I guess. The whole place is filthy and something nasty is leaking with the water and the soil. I'm no expert that that stuff might well explain why all the folks in Butcher Creek are so odd. Anyway, I made my way back to the village armed with this knowledge and a little of the evil looking water. Lo and behold! You wrote such a big. <laughs> I find the shaman trying to force that duped elder into signing away his village. Uh, the village. His and the village's property rights or right to, to a mining company to leave. It was not quite clear which. The sham, sh the sham shaman starts attacking me, so I force him to drink some of the 
run off. He admits all, promptly loses his mind, and I'm waiting around to be treated like the hero I am, or not. The village is playing the curse. At this point, he left them to the dreams of spectres. That's so funny. He's like, the hero I am. Like, oh, Arthur, you know you did a good thing. Good job. Um, things went from bad to worse with the army. I was not wrong. The local regiment's colonel despised Captain Monroe and planned to destroy him. Charles and I rescued Monroe and probably ruined his life in the pro process. I hope he can find peace someplace. Oh well, he was gonna get hanged, you saved his life. After putting him on the train, I bumped into that nun, Sister Calderon, bound for Mexico. She gave me a few home truths about existing in this world and perhaps the next. <sighs> Maybe I've got uh, something to hope for. Anyway, it all sounded very pretty and took away all the dread I've been feeling. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Arthur. It took away all this dread. Oh, I'm, that's so... I wish he had drawn her. I wish he had done like a drawing of her. Oh, he scratched something out there. What's that? Got a letter from Mary. What did I expect? What did I want? Weren't never meant to be and never really was. And yet somehow in the end, I discovered I had a heart because it was broken. Oh, you fool. You sad, deluded fool. Torn in two by different ideas of who you were. And it turns out you weren't neither of them. Oh, fuck. What did he scratch out? Oh, he just didn't spell neither right. <laughs> okay. The way this journal entry is so messy, like he's he's slipped his pen on the his pencil on the page. Why? <laughs> I'm I'm mentally ill, love. <laughs> Mental illness. The pain started early today. I I had a feeling it would. It's all right. I'm stealing myself. I can't believe that. I discovered I had a heart because it was broken. Oh, you fool, you sad, deluded fool. Oh, that hurts. I feel like the luckiest man alive, but I feel like a fool. Oh, Jeeves, Jeeves, help me. <laughs> Saw them weird boys again with the equally weird names. This time they asked me to give them a beating. I cannot even try to understand them. <laughs> oh, the boys, right. <laughs> all right, Hanging Dog Ranch. Does he mention stranger missions at all? Well, he just did there, yeah, the boys with the weird names. Lou, hi King Cobra. How are you? I still remember the first time I played that mission, it fucking broke me. <laughs> yeah, no, he hasn't written anything about Charlotte, which is upsetting. So we saw Colmo Driscoll swing. Indeed, we did the law's job for them, as his boys were lined up to spring in, but we dealt with them. Dutch back to being himself, at least for a moment. Sadie like a dog with a bone, although she ain't done with them yet, I don't imagine. Wonder if this will calm Dutch down and we can get back to surviving ourselves rather than just killing them we despise. I didn't feel too much. Bastard wanted to kill me, but he didn't want to that. And But he didn't want to that much. And I guess I felt about the same. He won't ever accept my fight, really. Now my fight is real different with a different enemy one I cannot see nor put a bullet into. Arthur, stop it. Him and his boys <laughs> was our fault, all right, but did we ever exist or were we just a group of individuals falling for Dutch's dumb bluster? I feel like I don't know nothing anymore. That whole life of certainties is over. I'm so glad, though, that he recognises that the whole O'Driscoll fight meant nothing to him, you know? My whole life, my whole code that I lived and killed by, was it true? Was there a bigger truth I was too dumb to ever see? Did he just, like, write that? That's not even related to a mission. All right, that's the end of the journal so far. All right, everybody, time to go. Time to go have a cute little date with John on a bridge somewhere. Exciting. Let's get out of here. Time to go, boy. Time to go, boy. So remember the first time. Wait, which mission were you talking about, Jeeves? The one that broke you? The, the Monroe one? When the nun talks to you? Is that what you were talking about? Yep. Or the Mary? Oh, the very first Mary mission. Yep, yep. The Mary missions have all been very, very special to me. <laughs> very special. <laughs> but yeah, the Monroe mission was insanely... Insanely sad. <laughs> I just got an out of a breakup myself at the time. Oh, that would have made it sting. That would have made it sting so bad, Jeeves. 
I'm not gonna deal with that. I just wanna go see John. I'm not gonna deal with the weird strangers I find along the way today. I just wanna... I gotta go see John. So since I'm assuming today is gonna be a rather long stream, um... I'm gonna probably need a BRB later to go pee and to go get some food. Otherwise, um gonna be ending short, but I want to finish it all today. So fucking like everybody sit back and relax, you know? Settle in, we'll be here for a while. Short like, short short like who? What? What? What are you saying, end gamer? Also, hello. Keep in mind the epilogue is in two parts. I don't know anything about the epilogue, <laughs> so I can't. I, I I don't know. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it all today. I just might need to do uh, a couple of yeah. BRBs. I'm so cozy in bed with a hot water bottle. Ah, oh, yay, Choco! That sounds so nice. I thought I heard you say short. Oh, I think I was saying um, if I don't have BRBs and eat something for lunch, I'll probably stop the stream short because I'll get a headache from not having eaten. I'm good eating hamburger helper. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm all right, you know? I'm all right so far. <laughs> but nothing's happened yet, so. <laughs> I'm good. I'm, I am excited to play. I'm, I'm this weird mix of like really excited to finish but also really apprehensive and really like nervous in my tummy to finish. I'm nervous in my tummy tummy tum. That tiny little pole on, took us down. All right, come on, let's go. God damn it, Guga. One more for the road, Guga. All right, two more for the road, Guga. Arthur, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Guga, you're not yourself today. You are not yourself today, oh, Guga. <laughs> Stop tripping over little tiny rocks. We've, we've, we've <laughs> visions of what to come. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Guga is not feeling well. Maybe I should have got fuel. Fucking hell, Guga. You feeling all right, buddy? Three days of gamer of the end. Ooh, thank. Uh, congratulations on your three-day watch, Jake. <laughs> we wouldn't have it any other way. Wait, Guga got TV. Don't say that about Guga. Don't say that about Guga, Choco. No. Please. Excuse me, misters. Alright, we must nearly be there. Oop, don't go off road, Guga. We can't be trusted. Wait, John's over there. Oh, John's over here. Johnny boy, there he is, my special, special little guy. I'm gonna miss you. As Arthur. I'm gonna miss you so much. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. Me too, that's exactly how I feel, John. I've been thinking that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. Yep, yeah, agreed. And this plan to get us out, it just feels I don't know. Like you're stringing us along. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you idiots! <laughs> you dumb boys smoking by the dynamite. He seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. Yeah, I know. I know. I feel like in Saint Denis when I got arrested, 
Maybe he could have done something. He didn't My even try. Take your woman and child and get lost. Did Agreed, you? yes. You can you could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Thank you for saying that, what Arthur. Loyalty. Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But listen to me. When the time comes, yeah. You gotta run and don't look back. This is over. Agreed, John. You gotta go. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> but after this, yeah. John, you gotta go. For me. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. <sighs> oh, we're doing this. This is fun. This is a fun little thing to get to do with John. <laughs> Damn, nice coat, bro. How do you make it do that? Why is it hanging like that? <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. We for chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Oh, this is fun. Yippee! <laughs> it's really hard to time it, actually. The timing is awful, but it's fun. We We couldn't have just carried the dynamite over here, you guys. It's not that heavy. It was a very short walk. Or, I mean, wait, which bridge are we? Yeah, right here? We couldn't have just carried it? You sure got a lot of stuff. <laughs> we just felt like being silly. We felt like being a little silly, I think. Right, oh, John. Alright, where are we putting it? Oh, I'm taking it to him. Alright. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. You want me to drop it down to you? That's crazy. I could just like. That's the spot. Lower from there. Let's get moving here, Arthur. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. Yeah, no, I got you. I'm careful, John. I'm careful. They're really making me lower this rope manually. That's so funny. <laughs> the train's gonna come. It's gonna scare me. I'm gonna be on this thing when the train comes. Oh, I'm scared. This conversation means Lou is more than likely getting the honor ending. Still depends on the choices she makes, not the honor itself. Well, I've been I've been quite honorable, and I've been making good choices. I feel. All right, okay. I got you, John. I got you. I got you. I love I love John's voice. He's so croaky. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. All right, come in. We should probably move that thing though, John, but all right. Wait, the game audio is a bit quiet? That's interesting. I haven't lowered it since yesterday. <clears throat> Hold on, let me... Let me check the volume mixer. Oh, it's maxed out. I haven't changed anything. Specifically the dialogue. It's just John is further away, so he sounds lower. Yeah, it might just be that, because I, I haven't changed anything. Also, we are getting an ad break starting in 50 seconds, so I'm not going to start the mission until we... Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, John, but I'm just I'm going to pause. I don't want to start the mission until uh, the ad break is finished. It's been quiet since last stream, too? Really? What? You guys need to tell me if there are audio issues. <laughs> I can't hear the way my stream sounds. If, the, if it's been quiet or sounded wrong, you guys need to tell me these things, please! I'll turn up the desktop audio just a little bit. I just don't want it to be too loud either. All right, well, I don't want to start the mission yet because ad break is starting. I'm listening to my phone earbuds, so maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe. All right, have ads started? 
uh, the message went away, so... <laughs> You tried using dynamite arrows? I didn't know there were dynamite arrows. I haven't really crafted. I haven't really done any crafted. Watch the game is gonna suddenly get real loud. Yeah, well, we're about to blow up a bridge with dynamite and I'm sure a train's gonna come along and we're gonna accidentally blow it up or something crazy. So like, it's gonna be loud in a second. As soon as I <laughs> unpause the game, now that I've changed it, it's gonna get fucking loud. <laughs> Okay, the ads just didn't appear, so, alright, well, let's just keep going. Stupid fucking Twitch. Confusing me. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. No, you're right, John does sound a little quiet. What's up with that, John? Can I fix that? John, are you just not feeling very good today? Voice chat, I don't care about voice chat. Mm, there's, there doesn't seem dialogue balance? Yeah, we want the dialogue up a bit. Yep. Maybe that'll fix it. The bridge is wired to the detonator. Nah, John does sound a bit quiet. Into those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they I hope John is okay. Come, nothing will. Dialogue balance just makes it so the dialogue drowns out the surrounding sounds of music. Ah, okay. Well, that's still better than nothing, but... Oh, now you got ads? Ah. Oh. Twitch fucking making me angry. Well, I won't play the last bit of Dynamite until, um, everybody comes back. Hello? Right here? Maybe he got laryngitis. <laughs> okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Yeah, go yeah. On. Go on, I can handle the rest. I can handle the rest. This better work. Are people getting different sets of ads? Because that's fucked. You shouldn't be. I don't know. Twitch is very, very, very confusing. <clears throat> right there he sounds lower, but it makes sense. He's on the other side of the bridge there. Yeah, exactly. He was further away. Oh, I feel bad about blowing this bridge up. It's so nice. Look at this lovely, lovely view of the Twin Falls. All right, well, apparently the ad break is over. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just go. All right, I'm a coming, John. Shit. I think I hear something coming oh shit! I knew it! I knew a train was gonna come. I knew a train was coming. I knew it! I knew! It. I predicted it. Train! I, I knew it! I knew quick. it! Yeah, the bridge got TB. Choco, be quiet! <laughs> right, come on. Uh, I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! This is as fast as I can come, bro. I've got TB. A train! Okay, let's go. Come on, quick! Pump this I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it as fast as I can! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Oh my god! I'm going as fast as I can, John! That was ridiculous. Why didn't we just go underneath the bridge? Why didn't we just go underneath the bridge? <laughs> Would it not be quicker to run? Exactly. Just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Oh, John's so Let's funny for that. Thing up. <laughs> John be like, we gotta use the hand cut. Like, what are you talking about? Just come back underneath. We'll be fine. <laughs> Silly boy. Um. I think the line held. Well, that's good, John. You want the honors? Sure. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. Let's go. I love John. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I want to look actually as it happens. Let's go. Detonate. Well, that'll do it. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. 
And now how do I get across that side of the river? away from us? I guess we'll see. I need to go over there to do a Charles mission. Sure, I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. Yeah, you go, you go. Loyalty to, to everything. You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Yeah, he hasn't been loyal to you, John. All that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It's all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Yeah, Arthur. Not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Oh, he looks so unwell. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you tell him. You tell him. You know just what I mean. Listen to me, John. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life. I've got money for you. I've got money for you. Me? I need a vacation. I have money for you, John. And Dutch has all the money. Well, I got three thousand dollars. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. <sighs> Oh my god, wait a minute. Are we gonna rob? Oh, she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out oh. just who and what we should be loyal to. Oh. I, I don't know. Oh. What do I? We gotta plan a coup. A lot more clearly now. Oh. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. That's true. That's true. It's not our fault. You and me, John, we're real. Yeah. Don't start coughing. I thought that was John coughing. I was really, <laughs> yeah, I was really worried for a second there. <laughs> oh no, is there blood? Oh, John. Oh, that was so good. There he goes. He's so fast. <laughs> that was really good. Oh, Arthur. I can't even make him get up. He just needs to rest. Oh. I love them too, Chuckle. I love them so much. Yeah, have a rest, buddy. Have a rest. We gotta get up now, Arthur. Wait, we really still can't. I can't. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. They were really driving that home. They were really telling me that he is ill. He's not well. Come on, let's eat some beans. I bought a lot of food so that we could eat a lot of nice things before we die. Here, sweet corn. Yummy! We'll get some beans in you too. Where's the beans at? Some beans, yummy! I know you're already full, but uh, I just think you should eat as much as you want, Arthur. Fun fact, a house and I think land would have cost about 10k USD and yeah, yeah, it wasn't that much. I mean, it was comparatively like, we, we all know, inflation. Inflation does things to a motherfucker. <laughs> Fatten him up, I really wish I could. He's underweight, he's as skinny as he can possibly be. Where are his Beefy legs gone. They're gone. I need him to be beefy. I need him to be my big beefy boy. Alright, that bridge is out. Uh, yeah, we can go up that way. That equates to like 350k in 2010. Wanted? Oh, for the bridge? That makes sense. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Alistor6531. Thank you so much for following. Welcome to the circus. Hey there, mister. 
Hey, mister. That's a nice horse. That's a nice horse. Yeah. Anyway, all the best. Bye bye. <laughs> Tell me how I obtain 10k in half a year, please. Yeah, I would love to know. If anybody has the secret to success, yeah. please, 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 please. Like Jeebs, <laughs> with a job? <laughs> yeah, if you have a job that pays well and full time, and you don't have any bills or have to pay rent. People got expenses. Full-time job with decent pay it literally couldn't be me. <laughs> I was thinking about this last night. I had a little depression moment last night and I was like, bro, <laughs> I'm never gonna have money. I was like, oh, I've just realized. <laughs> but let's not get into that. I need to go talk to Charles. Hello, cow. Mary Rich. I have, the problem is I don't like people. <laughs> Palmer wants a wife? They're not real cowboys. They're not like Arthur. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't be the same. The chief, he's a, he's very, maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Sure. All right, we got to talk to Rings Four. Let's go. Arthur isn't real, bro. Don't fucking say that to me. But that's the point. Arthur's not real, so what, what's the point of ever getting married? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Hi, Rainsfall. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I understand. I know your son. A little. He's very brave. Very angry. Yep. He's me. Yep. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. Oh, he had a My bad father. He wishes the same to me. No. I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. I won't treason. let that happen. I won't let that He's happen. The chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. I agree. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No, than any chance we had. Your friend, Mr. Vanderland. He's not my friend. relations between us and the army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure you Yeah, Dutch that. fucked it up so bad. Matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. 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 I ain't got much to lose, and you got I'm doing this. Yeah, exactly. Charles, let's go, Arthur. Let's go. Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. Just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. Is he in prison? I think there's a way. They, they're gonna hang him. Are we doing another prison break? Let's go. Simple. If you get a job with sixty dollars an hour, and if you assume the income tax is fifteen percent, you'll gain about forty eighty by weekly. Yeah. If only it was that simple to get a job that was sixty dollars an hour, <laughs> without a degree, and without experience. I don't know. I love Charles. Yeah, I love Charles. He's been like a quiet. He's been very quiet this whole time. I haven't done like a lot of so, missions with I've him. I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out. But if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. A lot of noise. He'll be dead before we get close to him. Just guns, uh, just, oh, just knives and arrows. Two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Canoes again? Last time the canoes bugged out, I couldn't get in them. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. 
We all went along with it. Well, yeah, he but the flies burned hot, and he fanned the flames. Oops. He's not helping that tribe. He's helping himself. Agreed. Or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. Sorry. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Yeah, kill Micah. Well, it's so easy. I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch, <sighs> I gotta try. Thanks for liking, oh, Alex. Have fun with Lethal Company. You yeah, we just need to murder Micah. It's literally so simple. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. Oh, Arthur. Oh, come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Oh. <laughs> Any day we can die. Hmm? That's true. We're fighting to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. I suppose. I don't feel like that. We could look at it like that. We still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them. They didn't. That's true. <laughs> boys. Both killed trying to escape Blackwater. A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. I like the way you think, Charles. Maybe. You make sense You're to me, lucky. baby. You got the chance to to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. I like the way he talks. I like that. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. Charles is reassuring. I know. I like. I like the, the way he looks at all of this. Retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors, some women were taken. Elders oh, beaten. really? Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. Crazy how he got mixed up with the Vandalin gang. He's such a good man. I mean, yes. even when we were in Camp Coulter, he was like, "I haven't been here long." Like he's still quite new to this group. I'm sure he'll move on in his own time. He clearly has better morals than a lot of us. All right. You should be fine. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that <sighs> All right. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully, we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Be quiet, then, Charles. They're right there. They're going to hear us. Deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. All right, bow and arrow time, baby. Oh, I know. Good. <laughs> That's sick as fuck. Let's go, Charles. Yeah, we just murdered two men straight, like. <laughs> So 25 an hour is good pay, right? 25 an hour is like minimum. I would not be happy with 25 an hour. He's moving. I mean, I'd be, I, I'd be like, it, it's just what it is. You know, that's normal. I would prefer something like 30 an hour, but Let's keep moving. you know, you're not going to get that when jobs only want to give you 20 uh, minimum. 
This is Australia, by the way. Wait. Two more. One in the tower, one on the ground. Same as before. You take one, I got the other. Okay. Very good. Oh, he fell out too. Come on. On the back. This is the spot. Twenty-five an hour minimum in Australia. Um, I think twenty-one is the minimum. Actually, it depends on your age. If you're a teenager, um, if you're a teenager, I think they can pay you eighteen. But yeah, keep in mind that it's not like 25 US dollars, it's 25 Australian dollars. So the exchange rate is still, you know, factor in that. Oh, we're doing so well. Keep crouching though, Arthur. Got it. Let's move. Come on. Careful. Two more. One each again. Yeah, we got it. Me and Charles work well together. Let's go. Wait. I'll make sure the tower's clear. Okay. I love Charles. Go ahead, bruh. Come on, we're good. Another one out there. You got him? His voice is kind of doing something to me. <laughs> I got him. All right, good. The jail should be just down here. Yeah, just don't cough, Arthur. We're trying to be sneaky and quiet. Okay. That's fine too. There's more out front. Go up the tower and see if you can cause a distraction. Alright, you got it. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. Okay. Where is it? Over there? Ooh, I gotta kill this guy. Wait, where's the lantern? Oh, there, I see. Fire! We gotta find any ammo! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Get down here! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming! I'm coming, Charles! Here. Charles ASMR win! It's right now! <laughs> Let me get my knife out. Yeah! Oh, Charles, you're sick as fuck, right? Charles, is that you? Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. Keys, keys, keys. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Yeah. All right, let's go. Strung up and everything? That's fucked up. Oh, his poor arms. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that, he Of course not. There's nothing wrong with that, Eagle Flies, that he doesn't want to kill people. Clears the mind. If you say so. Alright, alright. Calm down, calm down. Fine, I'm fine. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They've started to notice. Uh-oh. Time to go. Alright, gun time. I don't think we're sneaking out of here. Ah! The prisoners. All right. We got this. We got this. Let's push up. Yeah. I warned you. Oh shit. Wood, for 
sure. Yeah. <laughs> Look out! There's some up top there! Up top? Easy, I got it, I got it. I'm a I'm an expert. Spawning from. <laughs> oh, that's sick as fuck. The lightning! Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Wait, this way? They must have fixed it. Deal with it? I got dynamite. Let's go. Uh, easy. What do you mean, how, Arthur? Let's go. Foolish man, come on. Yeehaw! Okay. We're through, let's go! Guga, where are you, baby? Come on, guys! Let's go, let's go! You got rings full? Okay. Oh! Flies dies, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna fucking scream. It's not okay if this yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll lose it. That's alright. Alright, okay. <laughs> We're all good. Let's go! Yeah, let's go, let's go! Way too close for comfort, Jesus Christ. Stop it! Alright, we fucking did it. Kind of. There's still a few of them. Hold on, let's get the rifle back out. Get off him! Get off the horse! Get off the horse! Time. It better let me get in the canoe. No! <laughs> no! What's going on with this game? Please, please let me in the canoe. Please. <laughs> please let me in the canoe. <laughs> this happened last time. I, the game doesn't want me to use the canoes. <laughs> Why? Oh, yes! Yes, Arthur! Good job! Let's, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it worked. Fucking kiddos. Ah, oh, let's go. White water. Oh, what's it called? R rapid river. White rapid river water. <laughs> Something. Well, we're having a good time, basically. Believe me, that ain't my plan. Watch out for the current. Look out! On the shore, they're coming after us. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. White water rafting, thank you, that's what we're doing. Ooh, Arthur, don't crash! Ah! Stop shooting my canoe! character that lets Arthur ride their horse? Really? Oh, that's so funny! Oh, they're in love! I do see a lot of Charles and Arthur ship art. John X Arthur, which I do not like. Um, I 
and Charles X Arthur. A remarkable lack of any, um, any Mary X Arthur. I never see that. Alright, let's go. When I was on Kitchen today, the whole gang was getting with everyone. I know, there's so much ship art! <laughs> Oh, so much Dutch exosea, but I kind of agree with that one. They are married to me. I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> How are you? I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. That's good. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. No, you need to stop you know fighting! No big fight with them. I mean, like, keep you know standing up for fight. yourself, but like... Where would we go? I don't know. Fighting with Friendly. weapons and violence, it's not gonna help. I understand, but it's not gonna help! Thank you. No mention. <sighs> yeah! Oh, Arthur. Damn, like after every mission now, he's just gonna be sitting down having a little cough. He ain't got much time left. He ain't got much time. What do we got now? Dutch. Back at camp. Dutch needs to speak to you. Oh, why is the mission called My Last Boy? I hate that. I really hate that the mission is called My Last Boy. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. All right, let's get back to camp. Let's just do it. Let's just fucking go. Look what they did to my boy. My last boy. Ugh. <laughs> Arthur having a fucking Kendall Roy moment and breaking down being like, I'm the eldest boy! I'm the eldest boy! Alright, let's go. Um, where are we going? Beaver Hollow. Getting close. Oh look, he's at Moonstone Pond! Ugh, that makes me sick. For reasons you guys don't understand, Moonstone Pond is very important to me. <laughs> I went to Beaver Hallow. It was hallowed by beavers? Oh wow. Oh wow. A very special place for the beavers. All right, I see them up there. Moonstone Pond? Yeah, it's just very special to me. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry about why. Hey, John, before I talk to Dutch and fucking Mocha over there, I'm going to talk to John and Charles. Hey, boys. You guys don't feel like talking? I guess the mood's not great, is it? I'll sit down though with you for a bit. They really don't feel like talking. I can't even target them. Like this is this is literally like the good guys here. Look, Charles, John, Sadie, and Uncle. And then over there, Bill, Javier, to oh shit, they kind of outnumber us a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, who are those other guys? Who the fuck are they? We got Bill, Javier, Micah, Dutch, but who are those two? Did you bring more people to camp? Who are you? Am I being stupid? Am I supposed to know them? So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's oh. getting real comfortable. Micah's friends. For what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> Cleet and Joe. It's lucky I bumped into him. What is going on, Dutch? I don't what like is this. What's happening to us? 
What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Hey, shut the fuck up. I'm talking in Dutch. Oh, look, my friends are coming over. My friends, my friends. They try to kill my people for oil. Oh. For oil. Today we ride once more. Whoa. Ride with me. Ride with us. Ride with us against the factory. I love your courage. Uh, no, Eagle Flut, no. Great beauty. Stop. Everyone yes, stop. yes, yes, Rainfalls. My son. My last son. Oh. Don't. When Please I was don't. Your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. Oh. Uh. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. Oh, Jesus. I made peace. I knew not to trust. Yet I had no choice. Listen to your maybe father. You are, maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not no. die from pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy. My only boy. Do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. What the fuck, Don't Eagle Flies? Stop. Please. Oh, this is so sad. What the fuck? Please, Mr. Morgan. After you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people will all die. Yeah, I know. Can you help this fellow, Arthur. Of course, Please. I fucking well, helped him, what Dutch. What have been doing behind Dutch's back? What? Behind his? I'm helping over. people. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do. Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, come on, right, come on. Arthur. Oh, you? Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. You? Who You're else? not fucking invited. Yeah, well. And me. Say, yeah, John, yeah, John, yeah, John. And me. Well, yes. fuck you, Bill. I don't like you All very right. much. Let's ride out. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hi, Molly, how are you? Jesus. All right. Well, at least we got John with us and Sadie and Charles. What else have you been doing behind my back? Arthur? It's not about you, I was Dutch. To stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. It's not fucking about you. They attacked the oil fields. Oh, what John. Do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea. What? Partly, the army, the government, <gasps> the industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, yeah. Show some goddamn respect. Shut the no, fuck no, up, Bill. Showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still Shut the fuck up plan. about your plans, bro. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Thank you, John. Thank you. Tahiti. Mm -hmm. Tell him. That's enough. What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah. What did? Thank you, hot air, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. Oh, sorry. I'll reach out in a second. I I'm going crazy right now. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose, because I am tired of this constant descent. Descent. Tired of it. Then stop now, come on. being the way you are, you fucker. Doing good? How are you? How are the cowboys? Oh, the cowboys are fighting, Molly. The cowboys are fucking fighting. Oh Look shit. My dog is outside. I need to go get her. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. My dog. My dog. Um, I, I sit at the front of the house. My house, uh, my room is at the front of the house, so I can see, like, the street and the, the cul-de-sac and our front yard. And there's a gate that the dog is not meant to be able to get out, but somehow she opened it. So she was wandering into the street. I had to go get her. Oh my God, my last dog, my only dog. <laughs> I got her, she's good. Silly Maple, she's not allowed out. It's one of them. All right, let's go. Oh, oh shit. He needs help. They all need help. Quick. Yeah, it's go. almost like go, it was go. a stupid idea. Hurry. Come on. <laughs> it's almost like this was a terrible fucking idea. She went into the what? Into the street. She started walking to <laughs> my dog. She's for the streets. This is gonna be bad. We have so many important like cast members with us right now. I'm really worried someone's gonna die. It's a massacre. We gotta help these men. And anyone see Eagle Flash? There, going across the walkway. Oh, this is God, terrible. You, you coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. You go and distract them and let me get to him. Have it your way. I will Rest have it my way. Fuck ride you. With me. Let's meet up at the factory. That's right. Yeah. Go with him. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on then. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, I That's love right. that. I love that. We're coming with you. Oh, look at this. This is everything to me. Oh, the 
There's so many of them. A whole train full more? No way. Ah! That's fr in insanity. I'll get him though. Stay with me. Where is she? Where the fuck is she? Oh! <laughs> didn't see. Didn't see that happening there. That water is cool. Do you, my PC or what, what? The PC's running well today, so far. You bastards. I can't aim. Oh, that was the one of ours. Okay. from the very start though, surely. <laughs> no, we're good, we're good. Ow, Jesus. Get off me. How many of you does it take? What's going on? Get my gun out. Let's move up. Alright, we won't be as messy this time. We'll be, we'll do it proper. soldiers by the way these guys suck we've killed like a thousand of them and they they, they can't do shit to us Quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. Same as what always. You, Arthur? What you? I don't get you. I don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. 
the doubting. Come on. Shut, shut up, Dutch. Shut the fuck. Come on. Let's go finish this. Dutch is huffing Let's the run. fucking copium at this Dutch. point. Like you, you're a bad you know, man. Accept it. Attack this place. I have no idea. Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. <laughs> Why is he... It's <laughs> meant to look like he's holding a gun, but he wasn't holding anything. <laughs> oh, not the choco copium. We need to find the orphan. The choco copium. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for eagle flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money. You fool. The money. The state bonds. I'm not here what to steal them? money, bro. I'm here to save Eagle Flies. Had a deal with the state. You're annoying, being Dutch. Paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. If we're right. And we're not going to be right because we're times. never right. The toughest of times. Oh, I remember this place. This is oh, this is the oil field. Oh, right, right. I've I've been here. Search the place. They gotta be here somewhere. No, I've been here before. Yep. Check that cupboard by the door. We'll do. I'll take me some health cures, that's nice. Might help me feel a bit better. Um... There you go, 20 bucks. Pretty good. Not much. Not much else. Oh, you found him, did you? I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. And what does that mean for us? How are you gonna sell them legally? A few thousand dollars worth? Maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. A few thousand Arthur, dollars worth? I have three thousand dollars I can just give you. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. If if all you want is a few thousand dollars, I've got that, bro. Get like here, that was not worth it for a few thousand dollars. I was expecting it to be like twenty thousand or something. I should just throw him into the fucking oil fields. <laughs> Arthur, pull your weight. Arthur has been pulling his weight this whole damn time. Add more to the box. No, they never appreciate it when I do. I'm saving this money for John. <laughs> this is John's money. Gentlemen, we're here for you. Hello? Get in there. Shoot him. Find him now. What? More fucking soldiers? Come on, Arthur. We have got to get out of here. I've had it with you. Cover me? How about you fucking cover me, bro? Can can the can the aim not force me to look out the door? Thank you. Twenty dollars be seven hundred forty-one today. Well, that's pretty good, actually. Dutch, you better come for me. A white one. <laughs> Dutch! You fucking rat, Dutch. You fucking rat. He just left. I'm... Ugh. No! No! Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Eagle flies! Oh no! Oh, you, you silly fool! Oh no! That's that's yeah. fatal. Oh. Come on. You saved my I can't life. fucking believe it. More than once. To give mine for yours. It's as it should be. Come on. Oh, would we you look? Go. Oh, hey, we need to go. You ran away. You I left me. No such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. You heard me crying for help. 
And with the train job? Punch him, punch him, punch him. Got a whole lot of money. Just fucking slug him. Everything is coming together exactly as I planned. Oh, really? This is how you I wanted it to go? Water to his father. As you wish. Usually is nowadays. Oh, shut the sure. fuck up. Come on. We gotta get back to camp and prepare. Let's ride. I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me. Thank of you. Course. And so will I. No, get out of here. No, Please. stay with me. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Oh, the way they all want to stay with him. Oh, that's so... The way they all want to stay with him. All my friends, all the people I've helped. Men. Uh, At least I got Charles. Go I don't know where John went, but I think he's okay. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry. I'm new here. Hi, Zippy Moopy. My name's Louette. I'm Duchess. really emotional about cowboys right now. I guess my thinking is he used you. Yeah, he used you, Eagle he Flies. Wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. I'll, I'll, I'll introduce myself after this. Nobody One second. Do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and yeah. We couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. They should never have gone this far. You've seen the situation on the reservation. Better to die fighting than sick and weak. No. Maybe, but you. I disagree. Your people deserve better. Well, I mean, I, I get it, but I, I disagree with the way you went about things. Not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some, some reason to it. Lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. Yeah. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Agreed, Charles. Go That's a there. good point. I swear, back there, the Dutch just stood and watched. He did. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who Ooh. he really Ooh. is. Ooh. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. Yeah, it's not worth it. Blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. Mm. Anyway, let me introduce myself, Zoopy Moopy. Friend <laughs> My friend. He's a brave man. Yeah, he's a brave man. Fearless. Always has been. My name's this Wet. Won't be in vain. <laughs> I can't introduce. I can't. I need more men from the north. Wherever we can, many are ready to fight. All right, we're back. Oh. Hi, Isaac Ruby. Thank you for deeming I'm new here. My name is Lewet. I'm an Australian clown girl. I'm a full-time artist and part-time streamer. I like to play Nintendo games, AAA games, horror games, indie games, and obviously Red Dead Redemption. Maybe one of my top three games of all time at this point. Um, I hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you for hanging out. I'm gonna keep going though, because it's getting intense. This is over for all of us. I know, Charles. I know. Ooh. Low at one pop, low at one pop, low at one pop, low at one pop, low at one pop. Thank you, Zero Rush, for resubbing. Hi, how are you? Oh, but we got him back alive at least. He may be able to survive. If you guys take a look at him right now, get that bullet out. He might be okay. Bring him to me. Ooh. Stay with us, cowboy. <laughs> Stay with us. I don't think he's gonna live. I'm really worried. He's gonna die in front of his father. The music is not boding well for us.
Oh, he's died. He's died. <sighs> My son. His last son too, I know. Do now. We must move. And fast. This is Dutch's fault. I know Dutch Eagle flies. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Thank you, Charles. Good people. Thank you, Charles. But the fact that Arthur wanted to stay and help too. I'm sorry, but we must pack and move. The fact that Arthur wanted to stay. And he would have. <laughs> I gotta help everyone else get the fuck away from Dutch right now. John better be leaving. He better be packing his bags. Oh, what is this cinematic bullshit? No, stop it. Stop. What is this cinematic? Arthur, please don't pass out right now. <laughs> Arthur, please not right now, buddy. No. <sighs> People found me? Who are you? Who are you all? They gonna take me to a doctor? Like, they can't do anything for me. Please, drink, drink this. Thank you, I will, I will. Rest a minute. Who are you? Bin ich besser Englisch gekannt? Oh, the German family? They just happened to find me in a way. Oh my God, the German family. Wait, is he hallucinating this? I'm so confused. Arthur? Did he leave them and then collapse again? How the hell did we even get down here? Is this Ansberg? Totally forgot about this. Did that happen? Uh, yeah, I, I. Why does it? Why is it telling me about the gang? <laughs> it's telling me when you do work for the gang, half is set aside for gang savings. The other half is split between gang men. Why are you telling me that game? I've been here long enough. I know that now. <laughs> what are you? Damn. They tried to help me, but Arthur like ran away from them and collapsed again somewhere else. Is what I'm guessing. Where are we now? What do we got? We gotta go see Dutch in Fever Hollow. And that's it. There's no other... <sighs> Alright. This, I feel, is the big one. I feel like... Uh, whatever I have to say to Dutch now is not gonna be good. Yeah, he basically ran away while he was still delirious. Except for help, Arthur! I mean, I guess he didn't want to get them sick, and he knows he has no chance, and he just needs to go. He's got people he needs to help. Hello. It's you! Huh? My friend! What? Guys, your mysterious savior. What? Uh, howdy. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Oh, thank you. That's all right. I don't need it. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. Thanks, Jenkins. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Thanks, guys. I got places to go, though. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> um, Dostad, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the circus. I gotta go. I gotta go have some words with Dutch.
Google, are you okay? You seem tired. Okay, boy. Do you have TB yes, like sir? me? Yeah. No? Come on. <sighs> I was so like empty in my stomach last night when I went to bed because I knew I was gonna have to wake up and play this game. <laughs> I feel a bit better having been, been here and playing it, but um, <laughs> last night, bro, I was okay. so, like, I cried a little bit last night in bed. I was like, no, I don't want to play, I don't want to play. But I do want to play. Apparently got TV from a sick old man who coughed on him. Yeah, he did. Doing one of the missions for Strauss, we were collecting money from Mr. Downs and he had TB and he coughed in our face. I, I, yeah, I know that now. Thank you for the love heart, Molly. Yeah. All right, uh, we're nearly back. Sadie. It's me. Welcome back. Thank you, Sadie. The love you, Sadie. Good. We need to find out what's really going on here. Yeah, we do. John, I see you up there. John, let's have a chat. John, let's talk. No, that's Micah. Fuck off. I thought it was John's little red shirt. Okay, Fuck off. I see straight through you, Micah. <laughs> You're cracking, cowpoke. You might have Dutch fooled. What's your problem with me? Uh, not me. I thought. Oh, you, you want to fight? You want to fight? Oh, you push me? You want to push me? Come here. Come here, bro. I'll fucking knock you out. I will clock you. I'll fucking get those teeth out of your mouth. Where's John? I need to talk to John. The fuck is John? Kill my guy. I really want to. All I'm saying is something happens. We get split up. Oh, yes. He's talking to Abigail about it. Oh, one Dam. All right. Oh, one Dam. All right. You ain't leaving right now, are you? Just making sure we got a plan. Good idea, John. You never know how these things are gonna turn out. I'm trying to look out for the boy. Good job, John. I agree with you. Good job. See, Abigail, he loves you. I'm working on it. Let's keep talking, okay? Just be ready to go, Abigail. I'm so glad John said that to her. It's good you're thinking about this. I don't see things turning back around at this stage. Agreed. Nope. Well, try to keep your head straight. Be strong. I love you. I love you. Okay, I gotta go. The others should leave too. Like, what about Karen? She's just, is she even here anymore? She was in the bottle something fierce. Javier. Javier. Javier doesn't feel like talking to me, apparently. Next to me no more. What? I was coming over to talk to you. What the fuck? Can we talk? I don't have much to say to you right now. Oh, you're gonna be a bastard? Fuck you off. Always have been an arrogant son of a bitch. Oh, here we go. Yeah, fuck off. Don't wanna talk to you, bro. What about you, Bill? Williamson. Why are you prowling around? Prowling? Prowling? That's the best you've got. How many times do you need to say it? Hey, I'm only trying to improve the mood a bit. Come on. Well, this ain't really the time. Fuck off. Where's Dutch? And you, whoever the fuck you are? As dumb as you look, you got a big Well, at mouth, least you ain't run you? off. No, nah, sounds like you're even dumber. What's wrong with you? All right, Dutch, let's talk. What you talking about? Pearson left, old uncle. The traitors, both. Oh, gone. Pearson left. They said the and uncle. Tilly, they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. Good. So it goes. Good. Those goddamn cowards, Arthur. Cowards. Of all the time we spend to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time, and you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we. Our community, community? will survive. Ugh. They will not crush us. I hope so. But 
If we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe no we can freedom for what do you no mean? one in this country no more, Arthur. One more. Maybe to Thanks. you. Oh, we got enough money to leave. One more. Oh, this oh. has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. And I've always a goddamn train. Or fuck. Oh, Plum's here. Plum, you can't. <laughs> one more. He's insane. He's insane. He's insane. He said one more like seven times. I'm so angry at him. Hi Plum, what do you think John is talking about with everyone at the campfire? I don't think he's happy with them either. We just had a really good talk with John actually, Plum. You missed it. I'm glad you missed it because you gotta see it for yourself. But we had a really good talk with John. John is uh, oh I'm John's great. John is really great. <laughs> yeah, you literally said that was it. Exactly, we got the bonds and he said that was it. He said, look at this, it's done. We we can go, we got it. Fuck! He's a liar and a snake. I'm gonna unpause now, Plum, so, you know, at, at your own risk. Different. We know this is full of cash. Army paid oh, fuck off. spies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. You've said that like seven times now. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? You're insane. It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but... Don't do it, Arthur. You know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. Thank you, Arthur. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Ooh! Of course, pal. Whatever you. Oh, I don't like that tone of voice. I don't I like. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. I hated that. Oh, I really survive. hated that. We have work to do, my friends. Let's Ooh, go. Oh, I really Come did on. not like that. Okay, I'm leaving. Get out of here, Paul. Uncle Sam, and be out of his hair once. And for all, he insists upon it. Oh, fuck off, Dutch. Insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. I'm yeah. scared. I'm scared. You're scared. I'm scared. I'm fucking scared. <laughs> oh, the way he, his tone of voice, so scary. <gasps> Does he have a god complex? Yeah, pretty much. He's got something. Okay, let's pick up the pace. Train John's not coming, is he? In an hour. Oh, John is coming. Train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys head home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. Fuck off. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. <sighs> I hate this. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. Okay. John. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going with John. I'm going with John. Come on, it's this way. Okay, John. Now that they're not listening anymore, you should just run. <laughs> you should just take Abigail and go right now. You should just leave. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. I love to spend time with John. Dutch has never stood up for us against Micah. I know. Not once, but anytime I say something to Micah, he gets pissed off. I'll get the dynamite. Okay. No, I can do it. Sure. I'm fine. Yep, okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Back. John, you don't need to be putting yourself at any more risk, my baby boy. I like that he covered it with a little tea towel. Love seeing how the characters in this game evolved. I know. This is so crazy. 
Got it. All right. Let's get this done. No point in putting this off any longer. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. Of course it is. It's in the caves. All right. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today. Oh, the coughing mid sentence. Now I'm going next. We're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Yeah, you got to go. You got out. Well, maybe all of this is still mean something. Tilly and Susan too. I'll do whatever. Well, honest to God, I think Susan's a bit of a Dutch apologist. Perhaps not always. But Tilly, we get Tilly out. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. Yeah. One last train. One last fucking train. Oh lord, oh lord. Too bad you can't just give John your money. I know, it should let me. I love Susan. I feel like she's on Dutch's side a little bit. I'm worried. I don't think it would be good to tell her what we're gonna do. Yeah, we got it. Don't be having no attitude with me, Dutch. Off we go, indeed. One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So like, long as it isn't Guarma, like nobody oh, wants to go to to to. I was gonna say Tibet. What about? <laughs> nobody wants to go to that okay with Tahiti you with you, bro. Or do you insist on something different? Oh, shut the Sounds fuck up. good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she... How the fuck did we get to St. Denis so fast? We did not do that whole ride. We teleported. We did not do that entire ride. I went off track with John for like two seconds to get some dynamite and we're all the way down here? How the fuck... We didn't even have like a cutscene that... Was there a cutscene? Am I crazy? <laughs> All right, we're insane to me, apparently. <laughs> I could just see her in a little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Yeah, John, Boys. tell him. Okay, now let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, Sandy. Uh. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Shut the fuck up, Micah. That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Did we just collectively blank out the ride? I collectively- I blanked out the cutscene. I don't- <laughs> Not much further now. Remember what he said about Abigail before? I know! I hate Micah! Why does he say disgusting shit like that? That's John's wife. Say he's happy letting got, Jose got killed. I know, happy memories. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh! <laughs> Mike had just ran over someone. Or, I don't know, somebody just got ran over with a horse and it wasn't my fault for yeah. once. All right. All right. Please, say, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you. Follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. I don't want Sadie to be alone with Cleet. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Yeah, it's not stopping. Everybody mount up! We're still going through with this! Of course we are! <laughs> All right, well, this, we gotta catch up to the fucking track. When it disappeared, oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We gotta get on that train. I'm coming, John, I'm coming as fast as I can. Sus that we're separated from the rest, yeah. 
He did not plan whatsoever. Did he even check to see if the train was stopping in St. Denis today? Oh, John, you're already on. I'm coming. Google's a bit slow. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm trying. All right, I'm on. All right, John. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. We gotta push forwards quick before we run out of track. Sorry. There we go. What the fuck? Why? How many times do I need to shoot you, sir? Who's coming? What did you say? Wait, wait, huh? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good, John. I can't aim very well right now, but I'm good, John. I'm good. Keep moving! You're dead. Let's get to the next car. Yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God. There's I'm sorry, reloading, guys. Can you just wait? <laughs> okay, I, I couldn't. I could Oh! He's off the train. I couldn't reload fast enough. <laughs> Neighbors must be glad the walls are not thin. No, I'm good. I don't have uh uh I don't have direct neighbors. I mean I got neighbors, but we don't share a wall. We gotta push forwards quick. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right now, that's him. How you doing there, Arthur? I'm, I'm doing good, I'm doing good, John. Can you help a little bit though? I've killed everyone so far, bro. Can you like help a bit? <laughs> I love you, John, but like a little help might be nice. There we go. The spider's off the rails. Well, so much snaking on here. You feel like ditching? Of course not. Well, I do feel like ditching, actually, John. That's a good. Let's get to the front. Come on. What's going on up there? Oh, is that clean and stuff? Let's go, Arthur! Where are Dutch and Marker? I don't see them! Who knows if this was their goddamn plan all along? That's more like it. Yeah, I wonder if this is on purpose. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm worried. Oh! What the fuck was that? I only had one second. I, I had less than a second. What the fuck? Come on! It, it, like, they hit me and I got the remedy option and then it just instantly killed me. Okay, it's fine. Money's in the front carriage. We gotta push forward quickly before we run out of track. Watch out, John! You're in my gun! <laughs> Us to ditch, yeah, something like that. Although Cleet and what's his name are here, and they're Micah's friends. But there's not gonna be any money on this train, I feel it. We're gonna get to the end and there'll be nothing. Why aren't you shooting? Fuck off her? Get 
Maybe they're here for a different reason. Oh, don't say that. They're here to like assure that we die or something. Oh, I'm gonna be angry. Let's keep moving. Reload, reload. Oh my God, come on. John, why are you missing all your shots? <laughs> like, come on, you have to be, you have to help. Just like the old days, huh? This don't feel nothing like the old days. The audio aim is being really annoying. All right, we're almost through it. Come on, <laughs> that's gotta be it. There we go. There we go. They're honestly screwed since you make most of the money and kill the most. I make the most money. Yeah, yeah. I'm the, I'm the best man they have. Get through the smoke! Come on, John, let's go! We're jumping off? Come on! Oh, well, there's Dutch! Hi, Dutch! You gonna let me on? Oh, let's go! Get going, Bill! Haha, <laughs> me and Dutch! <laughs> Old friends! Alright, let's get back on there! Go on, Arthur, now! Alright, I'm going! <laughs> you know, Dutch, why don't you I'm ever do anything? Before it blows us all up! Morning. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> a Gatling gun. Good job, John. Good job, Johnny boy. Woo! Oh, John! No! You fucker. Will you? I doubt you'll get. Jo I don't trust you. I don't trust you. John! Stop the train. You secure up ahead, but keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. Shit! We got a lot of rabbits on our tail, Arthur. Yeah, I know. I hear you. You sure you can handle that gun? Yeah, I. Shut the fuck up. Work together on this. Look left. Left? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Fuck the right! The right now? The right? Hold on, I gotta get this left guy first. How the hell am I gonna tell you, little lady? Watch your goddamn mouth. Shut the fuck up, Cleet! All right. There's so many! Get away! Look out on the rack! How do, how do they actually get this many people to show up, right? Like, this is just... I am Sadie, please! Listen! I don't take orders from you! Sadie, I am doing all that I can, my, <laughs> my lady. Okay, get off the goat! Alright, well, we had a million people on us, bro. How must the driver up front feel? Oh, dynamite time. What's going on? Plant it, Arthur! Plant it, Arthur! Plant it, Arthur! <laughs> Why? 
Why? Why? What's going on? Why did he throw it? Oh, what the fuck are you saying to me? <laughs> What the fuck was that, dude? Come on! The money should be in the front care. I think I'm a little confused. It's the TB. We all have to feel- we have to be nice to him. It's just he's being- <laughs> What the fuck was that? Okay, quick. It's below our home. Okay, do you want me to equip it? The money's in their care. Alright, I've equipped it. Plant it. Plant it, Arthur. Plant it! Plant it! We ain't got a <laughs> he won't plant it! What is he doing? Arthur, I'm so serious. I'm, I'm clicking the plant button and he won't- Oh that. my god. Here we go. <laughs> He's just feeling a bit silly. <sighs> Let me guess, nothing? Oh no, okay. We got something. Get. Oh, bags of money. All right, that's something. There's more. Morgan, All right, this is a lot of money. It's staying ain't stopping. We got to get off. Okay, then. Let's go. Well, uh, at least we actually got something. Oh, ow. Oh my god. That was close. Well, let's move. Well, you got some money. Did you get John? Where is he? I don't see him. Where's John? I tried. What? I tried. He didn't make it. Shut the fuck up. The troll killed him. They're lying. They had to run. Come on. Let's the go. way they're lying. The troll turns up. Ha, ha. The way they're lying, because I know he's alive. Because he's the protagonist of the first game. You liars! You liars! Oh, oh, Arthur doesn't know though. Arthur's pissed. Oh. I can't believe it. Like, they're not even just saying, sorry, we couldn't get him. Oh, it says Red Dead Redemption in the bottom right corner. Ah, the music! Ah! They didn't even, like, pretend, like, sorry, we just didn't have time to get him. They just said that he died. They lied. They're just lying. This is insane. I say check. We what? Did, but they took Abigail. Who did? Agent what? Milton and his men took her to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. No! I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. Oh, John's fuck off. Well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But I will kill now. you. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. No, he's not. Come on, boys. Yeah. Oh, Tilly! I guess that's that then. All them goddamn years. Yeah, Come that's on, it. Sir. Let's go get her. You Thank know, you. That's all we need. Thank you, Sadie. Miss Tilly. Hey. Yeah, give it to Tilly. That is all for Tilly. You take this money too. Holy shit, that's a lot. Jack, and you wait a Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. Good girl, Tilly. Oh, I'm so. All right, Arthur. Oh, I'm so angry. I'll miss. Me too, sweetheart. I'll miss you, Tilly. Jack. And Jack. Yeah. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. And your daddy. He's Don't fine, worry. Man. He's he's alive. <laughs> he's fine. Ride with me. Let's go. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. 
So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. Oh. oh, I can't. Oh, God damn. This bastard. game is making me ill. Just follow me, okay? Let's go. Oh, Let's go, killed. Jugger. Let's fucking go. Oh, this is so. My heart's like pounding. Now he don't care if he orphans his friend's child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Oh, Arthur. He went crazy. What a mess. Sure. I guess he began to believe <sighs> he was God or something. That scene with Tilly makes me cry. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm sorry you got dragged. I'm too angry to cry right now. I mean, I'm a little bit. I'm a little. <laughs> Listen. If you hadn't shown up in my house that night, uh. I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way. John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. You can. You, you have. You will. Life. They'll have a life. Seems I left it too late. Fuck. Can we can still get Abigail. Ugh. Maybe her and Jack will be okay. John. <laughs> Stop lying to me about John. Davey, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <laughs> <sighs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this. Yeah, life. we Maybe should just you leave. Just you and I, Sadie, let's go. Now, come on. We're gonna get the good ones out. Tilly's gone, Jack's gone, they're all good. I can't believe he gave her a whole bag of that money, though. Dutch would be pissed if he saw that. Say to you and me, it's you and me, girl. Oh, this is so right. fucking epic, though. <laughs> the music. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Yeah, and we'll have a real plan. Not some bullshit. Sadie is so like on my side. I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. She's trying to spam me. <laughs> I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Oh, I love you, Sadie. Get someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. You are a good shot, Arthur. You are. I know, because I'm the good shot. <laughs> Sadie had better be safe. <laughs> if anything happens to Sadie, I'm going to bang my desk so fucking hard, I'm going to break my hand. Like, I'm going to be so angry <laughs> and upset. I'm gonna be really pissed. Promise? Yeah, I promise. I'll bang the- Ah! Stop jumping off ledges, bro. Get on the ladder. <laughs> okay, Mr. Milton. Where are you? Alright. Well, there's- Covering you, Sadie. Okay, it's really. Uh, can I zoom out? I guess I should just stay on Sadie. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. I'm watching you. So tough. Oh, fuck off. Go, Sadie, my lady. This rifle has good accuracy. It's me. I have good accuracy. 
Stop moving! Stop jumping around, you fucking asshole! Where's Sadie? I got you girl, I got you girl. I can't help her in there though, she's gonna have to... Can't help you in there, Sadie. Oh shit, Sadie! Sadie! I'm coming. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Could have shot. It wouldn't let me. I was clicking the shoot button. I'm a coming. Are there more men now? Suddenly. What's wrong, tough guy? Scared to die. I am not scared of shit. Fuck you. Where did you come from? Ah! 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 
Arthur, please, please, please. Christ. Enjoy watching you bleed. There we go, there we go. Alright, put my hat back on. Let's get out of it. Get out of trend. Alright. Put your hat back on. Let's go. Also, give me give me this rifle just in case I need it. <laughs> I will spit in your face, dog. Sure. Tuberculosis. Yeah, it's I'll be dead soon. it's an awful thing. And you wish me, Mr. Milton. You'll be dead, sure. I'm gonna spit in your face. I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have. Quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea. I knew it! I sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up. I knew the it! Boys came back from the Caribbean, and he's been a good boy ever since. I fucking knew it! Okay. Okay. It's not even a surprise, I knew it! <laughs> Kill him, Arthur! Kill him! Careful, buddy! Kill him! Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. You oh! Happen, dog, Mr. Jesus! Oh! Sadie? Abigail! Yes! Horrible man. I fucking knew it. Now come on, both of you. The fact that he said, like, Mike has been a good boy ever since, like, what a pathetic little fucking dog he is. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. More people! Jack, where is he? Jack's alright. Thank God. <laughs> alright, get on the horses. You ride mine. Wait, did you take Guga? Why is she? Oh, she's taking Guga? <laughs> All right. Let's go then, Sadie. Come on, Sadie. Let's go. Oh, she's riding Guga. I love it. I love it. Where's that rifle gone that I literally just got? How about repeat? Let's do Oh, I can't. Google will be in good hands. Yes, yes, he will. You see those on our right? I see him. Hope you came ready to jump. You all right, Abigail? I think so. Cuckoo combo. <laughs> white hats typically associated with good characters or lawmen, and Michael wears a white hat. But well, he is a terrible, terrible man. I guess that's a hint that he was working with the law. Morgan, Fucking rat bag. Oh shit, there's so many of them. Dutch isn't gonna believe us though. If we get back and tell Dutch, he's not gonna believe us. You still okay there, Abigail? I'm good. Can you I'm Arthur hit <laughs> your shots, buddy? There we go. I miss Hosea. I miss Hosea so bad, Choco. No. Oh, wait a second. Where? Where? What are you saying? Wait a second. I don't see them. Bastards grabbed me outside camp. I was with Tilly and Jack. It happened so fast, I couldn't do anything. It's all right. Jack and Tilly are fine. Please. Please. I'm fine. Hold up a moment. 
Arthur, there's no time. Oh, he's reaching out to her. He's reaching out to her. I don't know. I'm down, darling. Oh. He. What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No. Abigail. Abigail, it's not true. I'm sorry, Abigail. It's not real. No. <laughs> Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to oh. him. <laughs> John. I want you to know this. He loved you. <laughs> he he loved, loved you, and Jack. He did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. He's fine. Stop lying to her. You gotta go get that boy. Oh, Abigail. Oh, what? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No more. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. You gotta go, girls. You gotta go. <laughs> I've got to settle this. You got to go. Good, women. Good people. <laughs> the best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, <sighs> take this. I don't need it anymore. Who's that? Key. There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Why do I need it? Abigail Roberts. <laughs> oh, he's a good thief. <laughs> yeah, Abigail, you look like your best girl. Yeah, get out of here. <sighs> like, I know John's fine, but it's so... <laughs> the fact that they think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the many miles oh, fuck off. <laughs> the many things we learn. <laughs> building of a shrine. No, this is not okay. <laughs> this is not okay. Only just to burn. <laughs> More though, that's guaranteed. I know, I know, I know. It's gonna get so much worse. 
<laughs> All right, okay. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. I'm gonna kill you. All of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We've got long. I'm gonna Hurry. kill you. You just got plenty of time, Micah. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Ready. Kill yourself, Micah. <laughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you. Oh, you that. tell him. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? Oh, yeah. You talked. Like, I don't That's know. A goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? Dutch isn't gonna... Oh, makes sense now. He's not gonna believe no. me. He damn well doesn't. Oh! 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 Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! Dutch, John. don't be stu- John! You <laughs> left me! You <laughs> me to die! My boy. My boy, I don't call him that. Don't you call him that. John, I didn't... You... I didn't have a choice. Left me! <laughs> All of you... Pick your side now, because this is over. Oh, them years, Dutch. Ooh. The snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, oh. Mr. Bell. So is it. down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Miss yeah. uh, uh, Grimsh. Jesus. Is uh, uh, with me. Uh, and who is betraying me? Micah betrayed you, you stupid psychic well, shit. I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Oh, God. Push your guns down. God damn it. Move. You ready, John? Oh, John, it's you and me, baby. You and me. I should just kill him now. Fucking kill Micah. And they're ditching me again. For fuck's sake, hold on, I need some snake oil. Where's me snake oil? That'll do it. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Explosion? I know, John, I know. It's just us anyway, John. Believe it, Miss Grimshaw is just dead. We gotta go, John. Oh, my turn, John. Oh, John, I'm sorry. John, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Ah, into the caves. Into the caves. Into the caves. I didn't mean to, John. I didn't mean to. I thought we were trying to escape. <laughs> I'm coming, John. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. 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 We gotta find the money under the wagon. Is it not here? Money under the wagon? Come on, Arthur, with me. You're finished, you oh, John, I love you. Those left me for this dead. is the fight. I had to pause because I was sobbing so hard. I know my eyes are like really stinging, <laughs> but I gotta go. I gotta keep going. Michael was the rat, John. Milton told me. We should have killed him months ago. Exactly, we should have. We should have. just up ahead. We gotta go, John. We gotta go. Are you all right, Arthur? No, I'm not. Oh, man, you keep going. Just keep going, John. Hold it right there. Keep going. This is crazy. We didn't even get the money from the back of the cave. What about the money? It's in here. There's no time. We'll have to come back. Come back? I don't think we're coming back. Come on.
Oh, John, I'm so glad. Like, I knew you were alive, but the way you came back was so epic. I love you. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie at Copperhead Land. Goodbye, John. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I want you. <laughs> not look back. Yeah, go. I Just go. I'm never going to see him. He's never going to see us again. Goodbye. Arthur, we gotta go. Just go, Come John. On. Just go. Just ride. There's Pinkerton's up ahead in the tree. I'll take care of him. You just go. You don't look back. Come on, Guga. Oh shit! Dismount! Fuck you! Why can't I shoot them? What? I can't shoot them? All right. There's an army of these sons of bitches. Yeah, how many fucking people work for the Pinkerton Detective Agency? This is ridiculous. <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh shit! Micah and Dutch and shit are all riding out with us too. I'm trying! Guga's not going faster! Guga! No. No, 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 no! <laughs> My heart's... No! Guga, no, no, no! You're fucking joking! Just like that? I can't fucking believe it. I can't even see these fuckers! John, no, Guga! <laughs> Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a sec. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Arthur. Let's go. Well, what about the money? <laughs> Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. It is, John. Uh, you're right, but, uh, it is you important. You head down. I don't want the money. Go to my family. I don't care about the money. I'm helping, John. We're getting you out of here. Fuck the money. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit. Yeah. This last goddamn thing. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Let's go! Oh, shit. Let's go! We need to find higher ground! The money's not fucking important! They'll just be going back for the money! We need to get the hell out of here! I care about you, John. I care about your family. I don't give a fuck about the money. You can get a job. You can, like, go get a job. <laughs> you can be, like, a rancher or something, bro. <laughs> like, I don't... <laughs> you need to get employed. Ugh. <laughs> Let's get up this cliff. Yeah. There's no way to go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. There's no way to go up here, John. Christ alive. <sighs> Can't stop crying. I hate my guy. I know. Get me out of the rock. Fend off the pursuers. I don't even know where they are. They're. I'm with you. Come on, we need to get go. I'm with you, John. Oh no. Right, Arthur, come on, let's go. You go. That's gonna be it for Keep me, John. Push it, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. No <sighs> now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. Get out of oh, here. Come on. <laughs> no way. It will mean a lot to me. Please. <laughs> I don't answer. 
Ain't no more time for talk. Whoa. Arthur, go to your family. He looks Arthur, so good. Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. Go! You're my brother. I know. I know. I love you, John. God damn you, bastard! Take him down. Oh, Arthur. Jump off, that would be so fucking epic. <laughs> Go, Arthur. That gun. Go, Arthur. You ain't. Go. Do it for John. You lost. My sick friend. Do it for everyone. You lost. Man, Despite my best efforts to the country. Go! Please! He's not gonna 
gonna get it. Oh, he got it. No. Dutch. It is over now, Arthur. It's over. Dutch. Oh, Dutch. He's right. Can't you, you see know, that? I know it. Touch, please. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Don't even start. Are you realizing? Oh, come on. Dutch. Arthur. Let's go, buddy. We made it. Don't you call him buddy. Uh, we won. Come on. John made it. Yeah. We're the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. I tried. In the end, I did. Let's go. Come on, Dutch. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus, man. Come on, Dutch. You're just leaving? Come on! You're just leaving. Sales. By we, you ah! mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seems like he deserved to shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? Oh, John. So. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> he looks so bad. <laughs> we should just go into Tahiti. He looks so bad in his little hat. Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. In strawberry! We know about strawberry. <laughs> I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. I like that he got a haircut. I'm always honest. 
My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral code. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes? He looks weird. Books. It's the hat. It's well, just the hat. <laughs> silly. The book is Jax. Oh, I guess it's please, John. Maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're, <laughs> You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. <laughs> Sorry, sir. What was that? <laughs> Bad influence on your mother with your books. It's pretty when you take your time, ain't it? Which book was that? What do you expect to play as a deer? No, I like knew that I did. I already knew, but <laughs> it just feels whatever it was. You'll never get there at this pace. It feels crazy. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Yeah, you like them? Western tales? You like westerns? You've lived it, boy. You don't need any more westerns. Tales of the Wild West? Not so much anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. I'm so happy they're all fine. What's his name? There's King Arthur. King Arthur, shut the fuck up! Lot, and the little lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Oh, I love this. Ugh. I can't. I think I held off on the epilogue. I was so sad about Arthur. I'm. Hold on. Let's just let's just get to where we're going, and I'll talk about. It. John, I love you and <laughs> your little paperboy cap. It's because he's not a cowboy anymore. <laughs> he moved on from that life until uh, the events of the next game happen. <laughs> he'll he'll re he'll re cowboy himself, but for now he's. <laughs> Yeah, he's leveled up to paper boy. He got a job. He delivers papers now. <sighs> like, so I'm obviously sad about Arthur. Oh, fuck off with the stags. I'll talk about it in a minute. I can't. Been a long time. Oh, strawberry. My head hurts. My head is pounding, Choco. It's Why not good. <laughs> it's not good. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Good man, John. Good, good man. man. Polishing some rich fella's boots or some such? Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Good man, John. Good man. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pause for just a minute. We're gonna play this epilogue today, but I just need a minute. I need a minute. I need, I need me a minute. The hydrate and the stretch. I'll do those. Oh, that's some cold water. All right, let's stretch. I'm gonna do that before we start the epilogue. We're just gonna stay paused for a couple minutes. I need to talk about everything and I need to pee and I need to calm down. <laughs> I need to calm down. When I played the end part, I was storming and it made it so much sadder for me. Yeah. Oh, just crying everywhere. I'm fucking, I'm fucking, you know, I'm, a, I'm out of sorts, bro. <laughs> I'm out of sorts. I might get some food. Yeah, good. Everybody take a break. <laughs> Everybody go pee. Everybody take a little break. Ugh. I knew it would break you. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I knew it would too. I knew it would. I should sleep though. That's okay, Mega. That's fine. That's fine. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for hanging out. Listen to me fucking sob my little fucking cowboy fucking heart out. Fuck. Ugh. 
Thanks for my nose back. Yippee. I, um, I'm gonna go pee and cool down, and then I'm gonna come back and talk about how I feel about that ending, and then we're gonna play the epilogue. Um, it's gonna be our B for like two minutes, don't go anywhere, we're continuing for, we're finishing this epilogue on stream as well, so I'll be right back everybody. Hello. I'm back. I pissed. I splashed my face with a little water. I'm good. I want to talk about piss and cry and shit. Yeah, no, I don't want to talk about piss and cry and shit. <laughs> um, I want to talk about the way that all ended. I know we still have this whole epilogue. But it's a few years later, it's a little separate, so. I'm so glad we got to beat the shit out of Micah. I can't believe Dutch just walked away. It's oh. for your tears, Lulao at heart. Thank you, Emmy. Thank you. Thank you for 300 bits. Thank you. It really does help, actually. <laughs> we added 30 bits to Emmy's oh. cheer. Bonus bits unlocked. We added 90 more bits. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Twitch. <laughs> they gave me. Why did it say we added ninety more bits, but they cheered one hundred and twenty? I don't. All right, I don't understand how that works. But thanks, Twitch, and thanks, Emmy, for the bits. <laughs> Interesting. I just. I'm so glad we got to beat the shit out of Micah. That felt good. But Dutch just walking away, saying nothing. Like, I'm sure we're, we're gonna see him again in the epilogue. We still have to get closure on all of that, but I'm so, like, I'm so upset about Arthur, but I'm also, in, in a weird way, a little at peace. Like, he did everything right, and he did everything he could, 
It's over, girl. It's not over. I still got a fucking epilogue, bro. I got an epilogue. I'm, I'm, I'm like, although I'm so upset, I'm like, I'm happy that he did the things he did. And he went out the way he went out. You know? He helped everyone that needed help and he, he killed folk as need killing. And he saved folks as need saving. <laughs> I have the deep tummy said, uh, yeah. I, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> it's bittersweet. It's like it's mostly bitter, but it's also so like enriching. fucking sad, obviously. But he helped everyone. And I feel like he made peace with God. I'm trying to eat lunch and you're making me laugh. <laughs> Sad. He didn't deserve to die young, but I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. Thank you for hydrate. I'll have another one. I'm so proud of Arthur. You know? I'm proud of him. That's all. Let me stretch. Oh, welcome back, Straw Hat. Yeah, we finished the game. We're at the epilogue now. Oh, Arthur, he's a good man in the end. He was a good man his whole life. Even if he made some wrong choices, he was good. He did a lot of good. Yes, he did. When it really mattered, he did good. And that's awesome. I'm so proud of him, <laughs> like really. And now I get to be John in my little hat. <laughs> His little hat is so cute. <laughs> okay, let's let's get a let's get a move on. Let's get going. Help wanted to play within. Yes, John. Uh, I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but. Uh... You're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Yeah. Honest. Yeah. Days. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim. Jim Milton. Milton. Let's go. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh... Oh, excuse well, me. We need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. a wagon by any chance? Yeah, I do. Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. I can do that. You know, I can do uh, that. Head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. 
I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. He's so honest. I love him. Why you go find your wife? Okay. He just seems so genuine right now, being like, as long as the work is honest and the pay is good. Like, <laughs> oh, I love him. I love him for that. All right. Oh, I get to run around as John. I mean, I get to do that in the whole first game too. I'm so excited. Remember you told him to be a rancher? I did tell him to be a rancher. I said, John, go work on a ranch somewhere, please. You'll love it. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, how you getting on? I found some work. Me too. Yay! Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. Ah, he's so happy. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. Enjoy. All right. I love you. I love you. Don't you forget that. Yes. Whatever now. Yes. Yes, I'm so happy for them. I love you, Abigail. Can you tell her you love her back? Oh, John. Oh, John. Yippee! He jumps for joy. Yippee! Yay! Yahoo! I'm a man in love! <laughs> oh, John. <clears throat> By the way, uh, uh, Behodge, you might know because you've played Red Dead 1. Does he have the same voice actor in Red Dead 1? I love his bootcut jeans. I know, he's got them, like, bell-bottom jeans. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, John, you're so funny! Does he have the same voice actor? He does? He does? His voice actor. I'm so excited. Of course. That's really exciting, actually. Oh, up you get, Johnny boy. <sighs> West past Owen Keela, then follow the road north. Okay. All right, we got this. We're gonna be a good, honest cowboy. We're gonna be a rancher one day. We're gonna deliver all the goods we can deliver. We're gonna feed our wife and our son. We're gonna provide for our new family. <laughs> I love Bell Bottoms, they pants for when you wanna be a draft horse. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it is, I double checked. Thank you, Choco. Yay, I'm so glad. Also, isn't it late for you, Choco? <laughs> <sighs> oh, my head hurts from crying so much. Choco's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Choco's nuts. <laughs> Hi, Dugan. Thanks for my nose. It's late, but I am invested. <laughs> I hope you get enough sleep, girl. He's muttering to himself. Oh my boy. Now wait, do I have like a satchel? Oh! Wait, don't go off the road! Up we go. Alright, I just want to check my satchel, see what I've got. Oh. Wait a minute, he has Mary's ring? Wait. Wait a minute, look! 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 He's got a ring! He has it! He has Mary's ring, the one that I wanted Arthur to give to him and to Abigail. Oh my god. He's got it. It's the only thing. It's the only special thing he has. Oh my god. Sell it for money? No! Okay. He has a journal too, but I guess I can't look at it right now because I'm on a mission. I want to look at uh, John's journal. Honest living. <laughs> it's important. We gotta keep that ring. Tell B Hodge for money? Yeah, honest living. Honest living. I guess I ain't much of a 
Wait, what? Something just fell out of the back. What? Something just fell out the back of the wagon. <laughs> you should go pick it up, John. <laughs> it's gone. All right, maybe I'm not supposed to go too fast. Something fell out. John, that was stupid. If it falls out, go pick it up, buddy. Was it dynamite? No, no. No dynamite. <sighs> Alright, now don't crash the wagon, buddy. He's still getting used to being a good honest man. He's, he's, they said not to go too fast. Well, I've got... <laughs> I'm in a rush here. I want to get back to my wife. There we go, no. <sighs> well, at least, like, I thought if something fell out, they would at least let me, like, pick it up and put it back. In. <laughs> this is very peaceful. I've been reading, obviously, in the chat, you guys have been saying you get to see people from earlier in the story, like, in the epilogue. I'm so, like, I'm so excited to see who we see first. Because as far as I know, Micah and Dutch are still alive, so that's concerning. You feeling better, Lou? Yeah, I cried it out. We're gonna cry more later, I'm sure, but... No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Well, hello there. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. You should get your own ranch, John. I send everything? Yeah, I think so. so yeah, part. don't mind the stuff that fell out earlier. You looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. Lancelot! Hey. <laughs> you been around, boy? Lancelot, that's, uh-oh. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. Get off my hey. wagon. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put Get that down. the fuck off my wagon. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, I'll fuck Jesus you up. You don't know who I am. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not walking. That's my Get fucking down. wagon. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! That's my fucking wagon. Here, help him up. You can use that horse. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. Oh, I'll go easy on him, all right. Fucking take my wagon and my horse? I already lost Guga. That's my damn wagon. Yeah, that's my fucking wagon. Come here. Yeah, I do actually. Can I have it back, please? Hey! This is your last chance to come out of this breathing! Stop. Oh my god, green. Can't take the joke, mister? Tell Gaddy to take that offer off Mr. Abel. We get a whole 
Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you guys get off my fucking wagon. Oh my god, it keeps going. It's really knocking and knocking and knocking. <laughs> Is it always that long? I felt like that was longer. Took my fucking wagon for a joyride. Damn it. Mr. Mr. What was your name? I chased him off for you. I chased him off. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Yep. Those yep. boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got I can do anything. We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. We work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. Well, yeah, a little trouble, bit, a little desperate. No trouble, sir. I'm just broke. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lance. He's talking about Dutch, I think. Mr. Getty's need with a boy. Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. Oh, come on. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Give Thank me a you, job. Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting huh? late. We'll go get her in strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. That's kind of weird. Get you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. All right. A, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank That's you. weird. Why would they, why would they go and get her? Yep. That's weird. You'll get yourself settled. I mean, I don't think they're sus or anything. They're not like evil, but <laughs> just let me go get my wife. <laughs> She's my wife. Part one, Pronghorn Ranch. Woo -wee. Woo -wee. I'm gonna save the game and relaunch it because it's getting a little framey. But other than that, uh, we are good to continue. We are good to play this fucking epilogue. All right, hold on. I can't save it right now. Why? We're free though, this is like our new camp. We have a mission up there. This is my horse. Is this old boy? Your name is Rachel. Where's old boy? You're not my horse. <laughs> Where's old boy? Listen, you're real nice, Rachel. I'll give you a pat. Took a long while for it to get framey go. today, huh? Yeah, well, I lowered the graphics settings a little bit, which I don't think anybody could even really tell because I can't even tell. But yeah, it's getting a bit framey. So let's um see if we can't save now. There we go. I don't want to save over my other file. <laughs> I'm making a new one. I don't want to save over my other file. I just don't want to. I wonder what the map looks like. Oh yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, we still got it all. We still got everything. At least I'm not as wanted. Oh, I'm not- I'm no longer wanted in Blackwater! <gasps> okay, we are going down there soon. We are absolutely going down there soon. Alright, um, let's- Okay, so we saved. I'm just gonna relaunch. Jimmy is safe. Oh, Jimmy John Milton. Jimmy John Milton, my baby boy. I'm so happy that he's... I'm happy he and Abigail are safe. I'm very happy about that. We gotta find the others, though. Only the good others. I don't want to find the bad others. Fuck Javier, fuck Bill, fuck Micah, fuck Dutch. Um, but... You know. A big fuck yeah to Sadie. And a big fuck yeah to Charles and 
and Tilly. Susan died, which is, I couldn't even react to that when it happened. It was just kind of like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, who else is good? I don't know if we'll find people like Reverend Swanson or like uh, Strauss or, I don't know if any of those will be around, but we'll see. We'll see who we find. Right. So I heard that this epilogue was about three hours, right? Maybe more if I spend a lot of time exploring and shit, but I'll be here. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do the whole thing today. I don't care. I'll just go as long as I can. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. The game's relaunching also. I'm gonna open my bag of chips. I got a little bag of chips while I was gone, just so I could have something to eat. Some people are online saying closer to five hours. Well, fuck it, you know, let's go. Let's do what we must. Is the head feeling better? No, I need to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat these chips. <laughs> Actually, it is a little better. It was pounding mostly when I was crying. It's all good. I'm ready. I'm settled in. I'm playing this fucking epilogue. Thank you for the hydrate, Sakuna. <sighs> Yummy! <sighs> what a good game this is. I think the excitement of being able to play as John right now um, has really like helped me to be okay. <laughs> I want to see the journal. Yes, journal time. I'm like slightly more okay than I expected to be. I'm very upset, but like I said, I'm mostly. Oh, I've only got eleven dollars. Whatever happened to Arthur's three thousand oh. dollars? Hello. Oh. Arthur who? Not, it's nothing like that, bro. Absolutely nothing like that. I will always remember him, always think of him so deeply. All right, what do we got? Beaver Hollow, my whole code that I lived and killed by. Was it true or was there a bigger truth I was too dumb to ever see? Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is Arthur's journal. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have Arthur's journal. Oh my God, we have Arthur's journal. Oh, John. Arthur passes satchel to John. Oh. Can't believe it. All right, so what's this? Oh, this is some of the last uh, journal entries that, that, that Arthur wrote that we didn't get to read. Oh my God. Um, blew up a bridge with mast and either stopped the army killing us quite so easily when we attempt to rob this last train or because we want to encourage Uncle Sam to send another train full of payroll for us to rob. Whole thing seems even more ludicrous and moth-eaten when I write it down. Dutch is now acting crazy and I'm acting crazy back. I'm facing death and acting foolish. I hope mast uses his brain. Oh, John reading this. <laughs> Uh, the time for heroics and loyalty to people is over. The time for acting right and saving the innocent, not the guilty. Yes, I agree. I agree. I couldn't play the epilogue for a bit. I'm so, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm so like, I need to do this right now. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. Arthur drew the explosion. You're a funny man, Arthur. You're a funny man. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he draw the explosion like that? Oh, I love him. I love him. Arthur Fentart. <laughs> I love him so much. 
So plenty. Can I share this money details since you've reached this point? Do you remember donating to the construction of the place earlier in the game? Because that place is built now and Arthur's name is among the others on a plaque. I think I remember them saying something about putting my name on a plaque. But I thought that was in Saint Denis when I was um, donating money to the church and the people. I don't know if it was building a place. Fort Wallace. We went with Charles to save Eagle Flies. They was gonna hang him, I think. Rescued him out from Fort Wallace in a storm. I don't feel so good. I see clearly and I see nothing at all. The whole place has gone to hell. Dutch talk nonsense and folk undecided as if to see, as to, as to if they see him as the only hope or an anchor dragging us to the bottom of the ocean. Hope John has more brains in his head than I sometimes <laughs> John has more brains in his head than sometimes I fear he does. I should have. Well, it's a bit late for regrets. There's a whole lot I should have done and I even more I shouldn't have done. Oh, fucking Arthur. I suppose every man has enough regrets as to let him die happy. Just hope I did some good once I learned to see the world for what it was. Ain't my fault the process took quite as long as it did. Oh, Mary, be happy, please be happy. Oh, the way he wrote it with an exclamation mark. Oh, Mary, please be happy. Tilly, Mary Beth, save Karen if she ain't too far gone. That's true, I don't even know what happened to Karen. John, protect Abigail and Jack. Rains fall, save your son as you could not save your people. Dutch, start listening to them as we, wait. Dutch, start listening to them as really loved you. Yeah, listen to the people that actually cared about you, bro. Oh, this is crazy. Arthur hit hard, but didn't hit me as hard as the Yakuza series. Oh, that's really bad news for me because I'm playing Yakuza next year. <laughs> uh oh, am I gonna. <laughs> Great, am I safe? I'm going to play the Yakuza series next year. <laughs> I bought them all. It's next on the docket. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, I think this is uh, John's handwriting now. The way he underlines all of his lines. He's so cute. Pronghorn Ranch, being back in this country made me dig up Arthur's old journal again. Odd few years wandering. Now back here, this country that we ran to when things went crazy all those years ago. My mind is full of ghosts. It's been a tough few years. Jack don't like me and Abigail can't, cannot stand me. Or is it the reverse? She loves you. What are you <laughs> Why did he write that? Is he stupid? Is he a little bit stupid? <laughs> to say Abigail can't stand me. She was literally like, I love you so much, John, when we were in town. <laughs> and I don't know about Jack, but I think he's just, he's got his head in his books a little bit, which is fine. Abigail loves him. <laughs> I like the way he wrote, or is it the reverse? He's just a little stupid. Killed a fella because he looked at me funny. Abigail wants me to settle down. To what? Everything I've tried has gone wrong for so long now, and now I'm back in the old country. Guess the North didn't turn out so good. Wonder if there's anything in these treasure maps. What? You drew a little treasure map? What's that all about, John? So now I'm a farmhand until I lose my temper again, I guess. Working at a place called Pronghorn Ranch. They seem to like me because I'm big and nasty and sure, and they surely ain't. Some local tough guys seem to know they ain't. I guess Abigail can't have everything, but she won't be able to deny at least I've got a normal job. <laughs> Why is he acting as if Abigail's complaining? Abigail's like totally fine. She, she's literally so happy to be in Strawberry. <laughs> and she keeps saying like, I love you, John. Like, <laughs> he's so sensitive. Oh, he hasn't drawn anything yet, except the little map, which, let's see if I can figure out what that is. Probably not gonna figure out where that is. Look at the map. Unless it's literally like right here. It had like a triangular point going off. I don't know. I only really played 3, 4, and 5, and a little bit of 6 from Yakuza. Actually, I think I missed 5. I know nothing about those games, only that they're really funny and really silly. 
Hello. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Wait, okay, so I want to go into... I want to go into the, the the room and see if I can change my clothes. I want to take John's little hat off. <laughs> I got to put Arthur's hat on. Right now. All right, can I change my clothes anywhere? Shave, I can shave. I don't want to shave him. I take some cigarettes, that's nice. Um, can't change clothes at all? Come on, John, you surely. Wardrobe over here? No? I want to put Arthur's hat on so bad. Well, where was the shaving kit? Maybe I'll just see what I look like. <laughs> I need his hair to grow long. <laughs> need his hair to grow long so bad <laughs> I don't mind John without a beard though that's how I'm used to him maybe I'll just trim it a bit shorter but I need his hair to grow long <laughs> get that yeah you look good John you look good with a little stubble <laughs> doesn't look like John yeah he needs his long hair But I understand he's hiding out, and he's cleaned himself up. He was pretty dirty before, let's all be honest. He's a dirty, dirty man. Alright, we got a job to do over this way. What do we got? Is that on the ranch? Yeah. John's looking good, he's looking handsome. Damn thing. What you got? What you got for me in here? Milton, get over here. Uh-huh. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. Uh-huh. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you. <laughs> Jim, John, sir. that was stupid of you. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. John, hey. that was stupid, hey. bro. Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. This guy sure, sucks on me forever after that. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say. Is Don't people sometimes there? say Jim for John? Up there? Ah, believe it is. <gasps> if we go well Abigail! Hey, is it John true? Jim Jingleheimer Smith? Exactly. It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, <laughs> sure. Yeah, of course, Mister. She don't want me getting up to no trouble. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Hi, Abigail. You look so good, girl. Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. Yeah, ranching work. This is what I wanted for him. Kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Hey, 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 hey. Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. Come on, come on. Don't yeah. fight. When you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Don't fight, guys. He needed to he needed to do that. He needed to scare off the I was robbers. Up the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. He's learning. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh. I'm a ranch hand. 
A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Yeah, it was my wagon and my horse. Nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Uh. Well, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. Uh huh. Ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? No, no, no. <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand. They don't believe me. I mean, he's got huge scars on his face. Like, he <laughs> looks... <laughs> a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That they don't believe me. him. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. My good cow time. Got clawed by a, a horse once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the pain. <laughs> You serious, mister? Sure. Yeah, I moved the house Jim, cat. <laughs> Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. <laughs> Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Back on my farm, you know, we used to milk. <laughs> oh, he's doing pretty good. Good I job. Pull them teats off. Good job, John. This is the gameplay that I am here for. Cow milking. Now this, this is everything. The other gym, that's how it goes. Almost got a pail full. Damn, that is some frothy milk. <laughs> Good job. Good job, John. Hey, Reminds me of meet the parents. Hey, exactly. <laughs> hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're going to make a dairy maid of your Lance a lot like why did you choose that as the fake name? I never thought I'd see the day. Don't laugh at me, John. I mean, Jack. We all got to earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Let's go. Bonding with Jack. This is the best day of my life. Now, Lancelot. Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> Jack, I love you. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Jack does not want to be here <laughs> doing this. He wants to go read his little storybooks. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Oh, the music that's playing. <laughs> this is the music that played when we were in the bar with Lenny. The silly music. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. <laughs> we love a silly music. Moving up. Oh, don't step in it, John. Look at this horse shit. Literally. That stinks. I'm so happy that this is his job now. I'm so happy. <laughs> They're lucky it's getting picked up so easy. John Marston. 
terror of the turds. Well, don't say your name out loud, buddy. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. <laughs> Lancelot, <laughs> Jack, Jack, you love it. Be quiet. It's so wholesome after the stuff at the end. I know, this is such a left turn. <laughs> John Jim Milton. John Jimmy James Milton. Right, Abigail, don't be too upset with me. Why are you baby raging? <laughs> you talking about Jack? He's baby raging because he don't like his name? Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Oh, don't blame her. Same Come on. Mm -hmm. Won't do him no harm. Oh, no. Don't be that way. Last year. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Yay! Yay! Kiss. Please kiss. Oh, this is so cute! Yes! They didn't kiss, but that, you know what? That's something. Oh. Look at his little PJs! His little Jimmy Jams. Oh, he's got his normal hat on now instead of his stupid hat. Yay! Normal hat and new clothes? You look good, John. You look good. Alright. What do we got to do around here? Work for Tom Dickens or David Geddes wants to speak to me. I can go cow milking. I can literally just go cow milking. I'm going cow milking. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Morning to you. Morning. Wait, do I have an honor level? I do have an honor level. Let's get that shit nice and high. <laughs> yes. Wait, where was the cows again? Over there. Puss. That's not going to let the animals out, is it? No, it's good. They don't mind me running around this fucking ranch like a psycho, hopefully. Oh, there's no cows available for milking. Oh, hello. Would you like a good milking? You're so pretty. Wait. You have horns and udders. Wait, are you? You're not a woman. Wait, but you have udders. Wait, I'm a little confused. Why do you have horns? Do female cows have horns? <laughs> I'm a little... They don't, right? Just grab on and milk anything? Some girl cows can get horns, I think? Okay, maybe they can then. All right, I'm just... <laughs> Whatever you are, lady, I love you. Just like... Ah! <laughs> All right, John's not very good with the animals. John's not very good. <laughs> Run away, nobody saw that! <laughs> John! That's so funny. Oh, funny, funny, funny. Alright, let's go see what Gettys uh, wants. She heard what you said, she got pissed off at me! I'm coming. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly Ooh. more, a mare about to foal, sir. and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. I can help! Chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. 
Abe, sir, you and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today. You hear? No, oh, are you guys trying to clip on mobile? <laughs> Good luck to you. Uh, we can always clip stuff later on the VOD. Oh, Come Molly. On, I'm good. Molly, thank you so much for you subbing. Go find them horses. Enjoy the ad-free viewing and the emotes. Since you showed up, spend the cowboy emote right now, everybody. <laughs> and I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh heck! Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Huh? Yay! Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, <gasps> We gossiping? Business. We gossiping, Abe? Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. So what, I have to retrieve the horses or what? Oh, there he is. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Settle down, okay? Oh, I love that. Ooh. No. Oh, careful, 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 careful. You sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's, That's all right. Calm. Okay, Jeremiah? Jeremiah, shh. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right, Jeremiah. Now. Easy now. Come on. Easy boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Oh, I wish you would make me respect you and behave. Sorry, I got a little. I'm sorry. Help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. What? <laughs> yes. Yes, is there? Take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Come on. Let's go, Jeremiah. We got things to do. Calm down. Calm Come down, on. baby. Easy there. <laughs> there, there. Easy. Calm down now. It's all right. Good horse. Good horsey. All right, let's get up. <laughs> Listen, John is just real special to me. All right. All right. Deplete his stamina. Let's go. Where's that big mean horse? I can do that. Just spam the A button. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah. Yeah. So being sussy, chat clip that. <laughs> Just Let's get a ladder up. Woo! Good boy, Jeremiah. Let's go. I miss Guga. You got some energy? Show me that. Oh, careful, Jeremiah. Gee whiz. You got that horse lick, Mr. Milton. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. Everything you got. Come on. Come on. Ride, 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 ride. I wish I was that horse. I wish I was that horse, girl. <laughs> let it all out of you. Come on, let it all out of you. I wish you would say that to me. Oh, my lord. I need to, like, read some insert your name here, uh, John Marston fanfic. <laughs> Like desperately. <laughs> All right, good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. Hey, that's a good boy. All right. Where's Duncan? Oh, Duncan's in. Oh, Jesus! These cows don't like me much. What are the cows doing? Why are the cows all running away? What the fuck is going on? Stop! All right. Well, we're gonna ignore that. Somebody all else right. can deal with that. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. There you go. Stay calm. Oh, he's pooping as he's walking. That's crazy. The horse. You're calm. 
My heart's beating a little. <laughs> Aww. Your voice calm. I wish this was Jack calm. instead of Duncan. Don't this would be such a nice right. little Jack bonding moment. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. Yay! Oh, pony yeah. for Jack! Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. Yeah, calm you down, calm down. About all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, okay, I got a snooze note from Lou Chucko. Thanks for hanging out. I love you. Horse. Yeah? Have fun with John. Oh, I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> uh, let's sleep you well. Might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. He's just going in circles and circles and circles. You, Mr. Milton? Oh, hello. I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. Sorry, I'll help I'm you. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Right, I'm coming. Duncan, sorry. What have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. Well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You I'm coming, Mrs. Geddes. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. This is so nice just to live a nice, quiet life. Are you coming? I'm right here, girl. Come so, out. You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. I am concerned about your it's relationship. Not too hard. You just to stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Uh huh. Go on. All right. Whatever you say, ma'am. <laughs> all right, John. <gasps> okay, now hold on. Didn't come. Get a hold of it again, and pull. This is crazy. Oh, I lost it. It's coming out one way or another. <laughs> Grab them again. Hold them, Milton. Oh, jeez. Okay, All right, we did it. I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. We birthed the horse. Right. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. John is experiencing so. so many new, like, life <laughs> experiences. Oh, I'm so happy for him. Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. What? Perhaps even now. What? A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> what? I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? She fucks the hands. I didn't know we had any married hands. That's why yeah. they don't have married hands we, because she fucks them. Boy, maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Holy shit! Good day, Mr. Milton. Well, she really tried. <laughs> Oh my goodness. She really tried to proposition him. Oh look, his hands are all dirty with um horse blood. That's a nice touch. Is John left-handed? He must be. Look, he's left-handed. He's got blood horse blood on his left hand. I didn't know that. Luet ain't the only one hitting on John. <laughs> Alright, let's go see Abigail. And Jack. Hello, Jim. hello. Jim. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John, I don't know. Run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. John, why are you so grumpy as I soon mean, as you get back in the house with Abigail? You seem you know. fine while you're out there. How's he been? I think you just complained for the sake of it. 
been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come I'll on, take boy. him out. Come on, Jack. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Take him out with like a rifle. <laughs> Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Yeah, I got you a pony, son. Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. Let's go, Jack. Let's go on a ride. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. But we got like two You're... feet away from home. Stay calm. This Where is would you nice. Like to go ride? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is so nice. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. I hope it lasts forever. Well, <laughs> well. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Go on. Good job, Jack. See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mite? Okay. Whoa. Good, that's good, that's good, that's good. You're doing a good job. Slower. Slower, getting Whoa. a bit fast, a bit fast. Good job. Easy. Good job, Jack. Let's just keep at this pace. But yeah, the, the epilogue can't stay happy and wholesome forever. <laughs> like, surely something's gonna go down. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Good job, good job, Jack. Plum! Hi! How are you? Hi! We're too hi, how are... I don't even know what I should say, girl. How much did you cry? So much. So much. So much. Easy there. But I also laughed a lot. And I I feel really good actually, Plum. It's it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I feel good. We all cried. <laughs> yeah. Let's bring up the pace again. All right. She did love? Yeah. I think somebody could it was creepy. Shut up. It wasn't creepy. I had a little giggle attack. <laughs> I couldn't stop giggling. I felt really good about John. It wasn't creepy. It was after the ending and before I really started the epilogue. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, I shouldn't have gone that fast. Sorry, sorry. I'll wait for you. It's against mod rules to call her creepy. I wasn't creepy at all. He's <laughs> just saying that. <laughs> In a demon came out. <laughs> no, I was just a bit. <laughs> I was feeling people, people, people. Can you show us, John? I sure can. I sure can, girl. I gave him a little shave, but here he is. He needs his hair to grow long again, but I gave him a little shave at least. He had a big beard before. <laughs> Oh my god, John, I know, I know, girl, I know. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? A race? He's gonna get kicked off his horse, John. That's not a good idea. And up to the ranch. Okay. You seem to have dressed him like Indiana Jones by accident. He did that to himself. 
Let him win? I will let him win. Tease! I can tease! You know how old my horse is. I can tease him! Oh, that's so cute. You won't be in front for long. Oh, that's so cute! Hey, come back here! <laughs> you have to catch me. Oh my god, bonding! Bonding! No worry, I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna slow down. Oops, I hit a tree! Oh no, John overtook me! I mean, Jack! It feels like I'm flying! Oh, he loves it! Pride comes before a fall! A big fall! <laughs> I'm right behind you! We're doing it, boy! We're doing it, boy! Oh, this is so nice. Oh, shit, I actually can't catch up. Jack, slow down. <laughs> oh, shit! Last straight. Come on! Hey Don't get cocky, boy! Nah, let him win, let him win, let him win. It'd be so funny if the cutscene forced me to make John win. <laughs> Like his pride, he couldn't. I beat you. I beat you. I. Well beat... ridden, son. I beat you. Yay! Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. He's <laughs> he's so nice. Fuck. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You too. <laughs> Jack, you little shit. Game over. You let Jack win. <laughs> the mission failed. <laughs> Oh, John. Hey. Mm. I'll get the coffee home. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself. I'm so Jack. emotional. <laughs> Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Abigail. Yes, okay, Pa. I'll see you later. I love that he's got a new outfit every day. Really feels good. He's not sitting around in his dirty ass clothes all day anymore. <laughs> now the other mission I had was... Is it the same one? I didn't miss anything? Yeah, that's cool and good. <laughs> She doesn't even kiss him awake. Hello, does she know what she has? She has no idea. No, but she did earlier say that she loved him. It was really nice, actually, Blum. Oh. Hee hee hee, I'm so happy. Oh my God, John's a little run. I know, look at him. Wait, look at this, Blum, look at this. Wait, wait, come on, John, do it, do it. He's not jumping. Why? Why won't he jump now? Earlier I was doing it. I was running around town and he would jump for joy. He's not doing it now. Come on, yippee, yahoo! Maybe I need to exit the camp area? <laughs> he was- There he goes, yippee! Yay, I love my wife! I love my wife, yippee, yahoo! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Alright, good job, John. Let's get back in there. <laughs> Me when I love my wife. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? I surely can. Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. I built a fence can't once. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Listen, I guess um, we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What were you doing before you came here? told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. All right, well, just let me prove myself. Please don't be suspicious of me. I was raised to take a man at his word and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. I like your gloves, so John. It don't much matter what you believe, <sighs> but I will work hard and I learn fast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Man's gotta prove himself. I built a fence like this once. Like this, with the three slats in it. 
big yep. wooden pole fence. There's plenty more to do. Me too. It's so fun. I mean, my dad did most of the work. We don't want to come down. I love that I get to do all these chores with John. Yay! Good. Ranching Grab simulator. Line, line it up with a notch and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. I gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. I mean, that ain't too hard. Let's go. You're doing all right. That's it. Explaining to John that they have to line up is so hilarious. I know, like, he's not s that stupid. <laughs> like, come on. Give him some credit, please. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. We'll do. We'll do. I hope you've grasped the basics. It's really simple, actually, bro. To attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Oh come on! I can build a fence. Damn, he's got a long way to build that, actually. Oh, he's such a hard worker. This makes me so happy. This makes me like so happy. His little haircut is kind of cute, but I want him to grow it out a bit. <laughs> Jim Milton, over here. Coming. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Hey, I'm coming. What's going on? What's you, what's you, what's going on now? Oh, I'm not very good with the cows. They don't like me much. What do you want? I'm here. I'm here. What do you need? Give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? No. Yeah, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Hello. Mr. Milton. Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. All right. Okay. I'm not helping at all. Oh! Guys. Oh, Lord! Oh, I'll get him. Do I have it on me? Lasso time! Oh my god, yes, John! Yes! Alright, alright, alright. Woo! Woo! No, no, no. Oh, John! <laughs> Get away from the house! Get away, get away, get away, wait, wait, quick! Come here. Come here, you big thing. Hey! I gotta build that! That's so funny, John! Don't do that! I gotta build that! He's so funny! <laughs> Come here! Mess with the bull, you get the horns. Ah, oh, shit! Gotcha. Alright, come on. Calm this thing down! You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> it doesn't help that he's wearing red. It ain't so bad. That's an easy You have to mount him, I sweat. No, you don't. <laughs> I gotta calm him down. There, there. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Hey, there easy, you go. Easy. There you go. All better? Okay. Good, good. Now, come on, you hunk of Chuck. Don't get no ideas. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. What the fuck were they doing? What are they talking about? How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. That's seriously so funny, John being like, no, don't break the fences. I have to build those. <laughs> <laughs> My special guy. Oh shit, are these guys back? You look just fine nailed up on that wall. Because this is private property. This what now? Was that so? Yes. Oh. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh. Oh. oh careful, boys. Careful! Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for Oh, you don't know who I am. He was paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems Ooh. with Berman. Ooh. Listen to this. Ooh. Real 
funny. <laughs> no! uh, oh, good one. Yeah, you wanna you wanna go? You don't know. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. You don't know, bro. You couldn't clean my boots. I wouldn't clean your boots. Alright, okay, alright. My hat! It's cause you're stupid. It's like that, huh? Here. Oh, he's licking you, boss. I sure am. I sure am. Come here. I just had plenty of practice with this a few hours ago. Fuck you. That boy can punch. Yes, I can. Beat him. Smack him. Silly. You good? You good? You done? Boss. Huh? Oh, Get Abigail. Off. Get off that man. Abigail's not happy. Uh-oh. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? You stay away from her. My wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong? Fuck Daniel? you! Leave my wife alone. Leave Welcome my wife's name Valley, out Jim your Mary. fucking mouth. You both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will They were shooting Mr. him! Yeah. Plenty, you moron. Abigail! Plenty. Oh, Abigail. If this was the good old days, we would kill them all right now. I know, we would shoot them in the head, Abigail. Be glad he only got into a fist fight. Shoveling shit. Oh, his beard's back. Eventually, John. Oh. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Ooh. I gotta shave that there beard. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. What? I kind of don't want to interrupt them. I want to go shave first. BRB, I have to shave. John, take that fucking hat off me. I know, I can't figure out how to change his clothes, but at least every day he uh, changes outfit. How are you getting on? Oh shit, this Surviving. is a mission. I didn't mean, I wanted to shave. Think. Here, I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is- mm, Jack's not happy. No. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. You birthed the horse five minutes ago. Nice you did a good job. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. Bank you... loans? Oh, I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I don't call her that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom, you act like the big man with the gun. Fire, <laughs> John. And I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. He was just. She was dreaming. You're doing better. Milton? Oh, I'm coming. Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? I sure out. can. I surely can. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. 
One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come Why out. are you being so sus, Abigail? Oh, yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you. Oh, you <laughs> Jack's hat is so big. Boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Makes Come you on. wonder why he takes the asshole surname as... Yeah, I was wondering that. Why did he pick Milton, of all people? That's crazy of him. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. <laughs> Come on. Only that you aren't so happy here with us. No, it's not so, that. I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. Oh. You'll understand someday. Yeah, it's not like that, Jack. Yeah, I'm just dealing with years of trauma, exactly. He's been through a lot, Jack, and you were too young to really understand the depth of everything that was going on. Here. You wanna take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. At least he's well, teaching uh, you things, Jack. What do I do? Well, just hold him and pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster, give him a little switch, and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. All right. You got this, Jack. Let's go. Papa John is trying. Papa John! <laughs> John goes on to create one of the most famous pizza chains in America. He may not be good at it, but he tries. That's good well, enough, you know. Strawberry, hey kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look. The way he calls his dad, sir. To attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Jack's so cute. John has history in Shrewsbury. I know, girl. Believe me. Believe me. It was the first thing I thought about. It was the... Yeah! All right. Here we are. Believe you me, Go girl. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. Don't oh, worry, visionary. We have okay. secrets. We... <laughs> All the best Thank cowboys you. keep secrets. Might let you drive us home. Can't wait. All right, Hi, I'm here to- Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Is it under John Marston? There's no way she would have ordered stuff. Nope, <laughs> under. nothing here. Oh shit. Maybe try Marston. John Marston. Oh, John. John Marston. Okay. John Marston. Don't say it out loud. Marston. Oh shit, that guy. Oh shit. Nope, nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail. Oh Roberts. fuck, John. Why would you be so stupid? Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn. Yes. Er. Uh, oh. Er. Uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. Uh, I will help you out. He's going after your son? Oh god, Jack, be okay? You get the rest of the stuff. Is the wagon gone? Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Oh no, it's good. Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. He shouldn't have said important. that. He shouldn't Take have said his name. Give oh. regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. 
I hope so, at least. Oh, John. Yeah. You take the reins a little. No, you should just sure. drive. Just get out of here. Oh, Quickly. Son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Kind of didn't have a choice. He just said okay, wrong Paul. place, wrong time. Yeah, I know, but still. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? He could have said something stupid like, it, uh, it might be under my brother-in-law's name, John Marston. <laughs> like, he could have said something. <laughs> like, think on your feet, John. All the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the? We just happen to have the same name. <laughs> We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon. I don't know how long. Not that long. Keep on driving and watch the road. You've yes, been in the wagon for like five you. minutes, bro. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. <laughs> Who is that up ahead? I'm worried. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down. He's looking at me real funny. Uh, oh, I don't like that. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah. Get. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, until we get onto a straight road, we'll keep this pace. Oh my god. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep Oh, going. speed up, Jack. Speed this up. Oh Jesus, speed up, Jack. They're following us. Oh Jesus. Fast. Oh, the music. Oh! Slow down a little bit. That's true. Okay. Whoa. I don't like driving across here. It'll be fine. Just do it. Just do it. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. We still being followed? Yep. Oh lord. Oh lordy. getting skittish. will be all right. I'm so scared. Don't you start with those castanets video game? I know. Uh oh. Just keep driving. How did they get this many men together already? Oh, I'm fucking scared. One person heard my name and they already have people out here. Wait, oh God, oh God. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men. Shush, 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 shush. Just, just stay calm. Chillsburn, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the circus. Stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. No, it's all right, Jack. It's all right, Jack. It's all right. Here, now! Stop the wagon. Oh, where does hat go? Come on. Quick, now! Go on, go hide. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. Do you I still have a gun yes, on me, sir. though? Head down. I would be stupid okay, not to carry a gun, me. surely. Yep. See what you come calling about. All right, what's what going on? What's with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Oh, do ya? Are you John Marson? Are you sure? No. No. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? It was not my choice. It happened while I was not in control of John. Sure. He had it coming to him. John, all right, maybe John, you shouldn't have said that, John. Oh, John, maybe you shouldn't have said that to him. Oh, fuck, we'll just antagonize. I see the resemblance. A pair of goddamn morons. Okay, John, okay, John, okay, John. Oh! Oh my god, he can do it too. He's got magic powers just like Arthur.
Jack, before anybody finds out about this, <laughs> we gotta go. Abigail's gonna be real upset. Why? We gotta go. What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. <laughs> Abigail's close. not gonna be happy Let's with go. us. Come on. Get oh, up. the way he hugged him. <laughs> yeah. All right, turn this bitch around. This is slow. I'm I'm having trouble. The horse is stuck. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? Don't look, don't look. You saw that? Compose yourself. All right. Shush, Jack. The wagon is really not making this easy right now. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Why? stuck here. What are we gonna do? Don't stop. Huh? Hold on. <laughs> John! I'm leaving. What the fuck am I meant to do? It's fucked. It's like lodged on the fucking thing. <laughs> Why did it stop me with the wagon getting stuck up against some trees? I was just gonna say, did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. This is fucked. If you had come, on, listen, come on, come on, come on. This could have gone real wrong for us. Okay. Where are you going? I gotta leave. Maybe if I get far enough away, it'll be like, you failed, you abandoned Jack. <laughs> I need to die. Bye, Jack. You gotta go. <laughs> Can you walk away and whistle? Oh, maybe. Also, Flame Boy. Thank you for uh, resubbing. Enjoy the emotes and add free for your wing. I don't know how to restart the checkpoint. Is there actually like a button that helps me do that? Because I don't know how to like fail the mission. Stupid fucking wagon getting stuck on the goddamn. Also, John won't whistle. I'm clicking up and he won't whistle. <laughs> Blow yourself up? I can't use dynamite. I can't use dynamite for some reason. I don't have anything. Got no weapons? You you were gonna tell me. Oh come on! <laughs> come on! We have to kill John. We have to like go jump up a cliff! <laughs> we have to like go die! <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh come on, there's no cliffs anywhere! Hold RB? While I'm on the wagon? To reverse? Okay, alright, let's see. Let's see. Oh my god! Yes! Thank you, you saved my life. Alright, sorry Jack, sorry to ruin the moment there, but we're all good, we're all good, we're going home. <laughs> let's just cut across. It's all good, boy. Don't worry. Thank you so much for that. Totally not a lurker. <laughs> you saved my life. <laughs> I think that's like canon of John, though. In a panic, if the wagon gets stuck, I think he would fall off of it and then run around in the field for a while, panicking about what to do. And then he'd come back and be rational <laughs> and just back the wagon up. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Jack, he's so scared. Peter's home. That's right. Peter's home. Over by Blackwater. I feel like Jack is having a little bit of PTSD right now. Because, like, he, he was he was there in shootouts in the, well, like, when the Pinkertons came home and stuff. He was there. I feel like this is scaring him. Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Jack has been through so much, yeah. Arthur would just back the wagon up. Well, my Arthur blew the wagon up last time it happened to him. He threw a stick of dynamite at it and <laughs> killed everyone so it would restart. <laughs> Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. 
Yeah, that one was a little rough, I'll be honest with us all. I'm gonna have to tell her the truth. The... Oh! What happened? Yeah. It's. Eh. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, we Abigail. Got shot, at. shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then. We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. I'm Our trying. Son. I'm trying, Abigail. <laughs> It was your dress that caused all the problems. What was a dress? It was a gift for you. Oh! Oh! A gift for me? For John? What did she get him? Look, just do one thing or another. Don't give me Arthur's Don't voice right now. People at once. That's all I'm saying. Don't do that to me. Don't ever fucking do that to me. I need to go shave. <laughs> Just shave. At least John's hair's getting a little longer. Fuck, I know, that's fucked up, but they would do that to me. Oh my god, Flum! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare y'all. Hmm? How you holding up, boy? Doing okay? I'm still a little shook up, if I'm honest. You're, You're a good boy. boy. Stronger than you think. Hang in there. Good. Well, you take care now. Take care, boy. I gotta, I gotta shave. Back down to a two. There we go. I want to let his hair grow out a little bit longer. I like it. Like that. Wish I could change my fucking outfit. So, okay, before I continue, Visionary, should I be just doing all of these farmhand missions or should I be leaving and exploring? Because, like, technically I could, right? Technically, I could take my horse. I could go anywhere. Or should I just be, like, mission-friendly right now? Is there anywhere we want to see? Should I? Should I, like, just do the epilogue? Well, that's what I'm doing, but... I've been told that there are some uh, side missions that John can go and do. And find people. I would explore, but you can do what you want. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying being on this ranch and like doing all this stuff, but um, you said I could find people. Are they going to come up naturally in the story of the epilogue or are they optional? I don't want to miss out, you know? If you want to explore, go explore. I, well, I'm not sure if I do want to explore. I want to see if there's a point to exploring, <laughs> you know? I've explored all of this area already with Arthur. Um, but I'm wondering if there's a point to doing it with John. Is there extra stuff that happens? Should I? Like, I, I still got to go down to New Austin. Still haven't been down here at all. Some are optional and some are part of quests. Okay. I want to go up to the PT Indian Reservation again and see what they all have to say about everything that happened. Everything that happened. <sighs> okay, um, and I do want to go to Saint Denis and see that show that I never saw. <laughs> now you're being creepy. I was just feeling silly, Plum. I was just feeling a little, just feeling a little silly. <laughs> All right, let's just continue with David Gettys for now. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. 
You won't hear any of it. Hello, can I interrupt? You toad. All right, smile, smile. Hi. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. Yeah, John, good friend. man, good man. He's fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. What's for dinner, Abigail? Why was she looking at that fork? Oh, it's stew. Anybody want some more? The classic. Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. <laughs> no, I'm not. You're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, girl. <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Her cooking is shit. <laughs> So sad. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. <laughs> that was funny. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Oh, this sweet little family. Oh, Lordy. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? Good job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh, there's pajamas. All right, we're going out now, PJs. Something. Two of them. Oh fuck! Who's this? Oh, did I stab someone? Hey! Don't you fucking dare, bro! Dumb hicks brought this on you say. Ow! Hey! Fuck off! Burning this place down. It's so lovely here. Where's Gaddy's now? I lost my wind. Yeah, get down. What the fuck? They killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get John looks really cute out. right now. Oh, I know that oh, this is serious, but me, son, we need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. Ooh. This is the land of second chances. Thank you. Okay. He looks so yeah, cute. Great. What was it? Nice PJs, bro. Yeah. He's so. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. Suit up, suit up. Hi. What are you doing? He asked me to, Abigail. Abigail. My goddamn job. Yes. Holy fuck, he put off his hat on. Let's go. Let's go, boys. They're down in Hanging Dog Ranch. That's where the O'Driscolls were too. Oh my God. Ah. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. Well, that was a short ride. All right. So. That's the place up ahead. Ah, oh, this hat paired with the cows. onesie is elite. I know he looks so good. <laughs> yeah. Couple guards out front. Couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Alrighty. We don't want to kill. Oh, okay. You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. Yeah, yeah, you know. That's so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. Oh, you gonna do that? 
Holy shit, John, this is really bad. <laughs> this is like, the law is gonna come after this, bro. <laughs> this is not... Oh, the music, I know, it's so good, it's so good. The trumpets! This is just like when I was here with Arthur and Sadie. Come on, Johnny boy. Where the hell did you learn that? Right, who is this now? We all know what we do it now. Oh, this is so good. No, no, don't die, don't die. Get behind the tent. Get behind the fucking. Okay. Yeah, drink some juice. Look out, huh? Let me deal with this. What? Bullshit, that didn't hit him. Thank you. shootouts again though <laughs> like as much as I enjoyed milking the cow earlier <laughs> this is great where are you down there get in the barn John get in the barn <laughs> now we got it Oh, you see me? Where are you? I know you're up there somewhere. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. The fuck off me, Laramie. And don't you dare knock Arthur's fucking hat off my head ever again. Fuck you! I'm getting into a lot of fist fights today, I will say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Johnny boy. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride what? in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Ooh, oh, it's like the cover of the first game. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh, Arthur's hat sitting over there. I'm gonna walk up with cinematic like. Arthur's hat! Yippee! Oh my god, this makes me fucking crazy! Ah, oh, very good, very good. It's a nice hat you got there. Thank you, Navia, thank you. I thought so too. Can't take the cowboy out of the man, or whatever it is. <laughs> you can take the man out of the cowboy, <laughs> you know? You know what I'm trying to say. The way he exited the barn, I know. Fucking cool! Oh, he's so cool! Wait, where did our friends go? I think they rode back. I'm assuming, anyway. Wow. He's not a cowboy, he's a cow man. He's a cow man. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> hey guys, you good? I did what I had to do. Hey, you guys think of me any differently? You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Uh, In the dim light and just others hat. I know, girl. I know, uh, I know. Oh, you. Uh, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but 
How about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Three times. Uh, well said. It's excessive. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be a service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Thank you. Bye bye. Abigail's not happy with me, for sure. What? What? I had to do it, Abigail. What choice did I have? Just answer me that. Don't fight. What was I supposed to do? Oh, man. Like, I understand, Abigail. I get it, but... What could he... What could... What could he do? Hey, Mr. Jim? Stop growing Mr. your Jim. beard. I need to hey. shave every day. There's <laughs> a telegram messenger for you. Over there. It, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. She's being pissy because he fights, but if he didn't, the farm would have been ruined. No, no I, I understand why she's upset, but... But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Telegram for you, John? I see him. Thanks, the fact Abe. that he only wears Arthur's hat when he goes out, like, for a fight is crazy. That's crazy to me. Oh, that's insane. Hello. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. <laughs> Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Who from? Who from? Who from? Who from? Who could it be? Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, <gasps> stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. Sadie, I don't... Here most days. Stop. Sadie, my lady, I don't... Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. If you're the JM, I know. Oh! Uh, I really shouldn't. I'm trying to have a new life, Sadie. I really shouldn't go do a job with you, but, like, hmm... Time to do some writing, yeah. We've got to go ask our wife if we can first, though. We need to go ask Abigail. Abigail! Abigail! Well, she's not here. She left a letter? Oh my god, Abigail, where did you go? Darling John. What did you do? A kind lady in the village helped me write this. What the fuck is this? I had problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. Holy fuck! I tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do Abigail! This. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. He's trying. I hope to change. Ooh. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Oh, the way he freaks it out. Damn, this is the present that she got for him. What is it? Oh god. New pajamas. <laughs> New PJs. <clears throat> oh. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. And the bags, oh, you know. On? You married, no. Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? 
I hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I'm a family man, aw. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money well... and get what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? <laughs> I'm trying. Stop. I'm Stop. trying my best. Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Turn to work. <sighs> All right, got plenty of jobs as need doing, I suppose. Let's go milk the cows. Hey, darling. You try exploring too? Oh, I will, but I'm still in a mission, so I have to do this work first. Goop. <laughs> He's real good at what he does. Oh, here he goes. Building fences, milking cows. Look at him go. I'm so proud of him. Like, why did Abigail have to leave? Why couldn't she see the hard work we're putting in? We just protected this place that we're trying to call home. Abigail. Why couldn't she understand that? I didn't take no joy in it. Look at him working. Oh, my boy. Months later, oh lordy. Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance. No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Time for the beard time lapse. I know I need to go shave it again. Gotta go to Getty's house first, though. Never shave? No, I need it. I need him to shave. What do we got here now? Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure, I'll just get him. Okay. Pa, I'm right, right here. John's kind of got sexy little hips. No, he kind of oh. does, and his little bell-bottom jeans, like. What's the problem, Milton? He's got a figure. Sorry for the disturbance. <laughs> oh, no He's problem. got a my figure wife about him. Just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife. My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. Oh, he's really determined on making that happen, though. I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. Oh, a he's going to get a loan. So oh. I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope. Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. After complaining to her about not wanting a bank loan. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. 
to go to Brazil and forget. No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about I'm just joking, voting son. to Tahiti. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. God, look at his little yes! Did you see that? The way he did, like, a little fist pump, like a yes. <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed with him. Where's Arthur's hat? Why the, the fuck isn't it sitting where it's meant to be? Oh, all his old gear. Ooh! 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 It's not- Oh! This is his Red Dead 1 gear, baby! Oh my god, the music! I'm gonna stop it! Ride, John! Ride out! Oh! He looks so good! Alrighty, so I got a couple things to do now. I guess like, I guess all the ranch work is done now. I'm glad I did that. I can obviously still go back there, but they don't have more jobs for me at the ranch. Now I've got missions, baby! We got that mission in Blackwater. And we got Sadie. Ah! Alright, let's have a look at his journal first. I want to see if he's added anything. So now I'm a farmhand until I lose my temper again. Alright, I got that one already. But he hasn't added anything new. Surely you would add something new. That's fine. That's just fine. Now before I head out, I'm gonna go shave. <laughs> Real quick. Let's just head back, even though that was really epic. Um that was really, really epic and all. I just want to shave. <laughs> oh my god, the music? What? What is this? This is beautiful. What? Unexpected. Why did that complete the mission motherhood? I don't even know. <laughs> what? Wait, that was really weird. All right. Well, that was nice. <laughs> really interesting. Um, let's go shave. Down to a two, baby. Leave that hair nice and long. Now he's looking like my John again. All right. All right, now let's go Sadie first before we get down into Blackwater. Like I'm so interested to see Blackwater and get down that way, but um, I want to see Sadie. I want to see what she's up to, my girl. Wait, what, 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 wait, what? Commit a crime <laughs> before applying to a loan, are we sure? <laughs> oh, they won't hear about it. They won't, it'll be fine. She'll be right. All right, let's camp. Can I make camp actually? You can make camp, very good. Giggy Beard John is best John. No, I'd love to be able to see his scars. I love to see his face and his scars. I think he looks great just like this. Off to Valentine. Like his mom? I just love to see his handsome little face. <laughs> 
get your hair out of your face. We love to see your beautiful eyes. <laughs> I love John so much. Really, really, really bad to show my face around these parts. Like, really, really not smart at all, but you know what? Luckily, I love you, John. You should check out the station in Valentine. Okay, let's go do that first then. What's your problem? I got no problem, mister. Let's see, wait, where's the station again? It's down here, right? Yeah. I like John's little denim vest. Very nice. Alright, what's in the station? Morning, partner. Morning. Nice little map. Who's that in the corner? Anybody I care about? No? Hey, mister. Good morning, sir. Just thinking. Maybe our problems aren't all that bad, huh? <laughs> what are you even talking about, John? What are you saying? Hey, partner. Morning to you. Can you tell I'm having a terrible day? <laughs> you just said that the problems weren't. <laughs> you just said problems weren't that bad, John. What are you talking about? If you would give me a minute, please. I don't think I have any bounties to pay. No. Um, there's nobody here. Be of service. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Sorry, bro. I was I lied. I don't need anything. Hey, what's on the wall? Anything cool? Ends They're out on the platform. Oh, this way? Really? This guy? Mister? That's a good tune. That's a good tune. <laughs> Thanks for playing it. Oh, <gasps> Mary Beth! Mary Beth. John? Oh! John, is it you? How the hell are oh. you? I'm very well. Oh, yay! Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I right now. Silly oh, romance. Oh, yay! But it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is <laughs> Leslie Dupont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. <laughs> That's so nice! You. I'm so proud. Oh, he's proud of her. Oh. I still think about you all. That was. Uh huh. That was quite a time. <sighs> yeah, it was. Arthur. Don't talk about it. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Oh. Me too. And Dutch? Uh, we don't talk about Dutch. Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last call. Well, anyway, John, better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. A book? Take care now. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye, Mary Bales. What did you give me? I like to the lady of the manor. Oh my god, some some romance. Let's let's read it. Let's read it. Chapter six. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Let's read it. Let's read it. <laughs> Susan Gray, the lady of Leicester. Wait, is it? Le it's less Le Leicester, right? I don't know. Stared at the highwayman, her bosom heaving. <laughs> Her bosom heaving, her heat, her heart in her chest, her flintlock dueling pistol ready to put a bullet clean between his eyes. David Vincent, the infamous Black Knight, the most wanted man in England and France, smiled. <laughs> 
He was not nervous. He was never nervous when faced by beauty. The woman's anger and rage excited him. I'm sorry about your husband, my lady, he said mischievously. This is in England, so they're probably British, but I'm gonna just be cowboy. But it was a fair fight. A fair fight, she gasped. You shot him in the back. I never did, but we shall come to that later. He winked at her. <laughs> she raged, yet even in her anger, she felt something else so welling up inside her. A pain even worse than grief, a reality that love, well, that has punished women since the dawn of time. Love. Susan was in love with a murderer. Her husband, bad man that he was, lay not yet cold at her feet, and already she was in love with this black-hearted killer. Feelings were too much for her. She would never admit them to anyone. Vincent, with his infinite reserves of cunning, saw these truths written on her face instantly and knew entirely. I knew everything entirely. He smiled. I know someone who would love the story. I know! <laughs> This smile angered her and she decided at that moment that rather than give in to love, she would fight it. She would destroy David Vincent in order to stop loving him. She looked calmly at her gun. I'm afraid, Mr. Vincent, that I can forgive many things in a man, but shooting people in the back is not one of them, she said calmly. Yet just at that moment, the moment of truth, a man and a woman stand before each other, there was a shout from outside. Both the widowed lady and the handsome highwayman looked at the door. This is Her Majesty's police force, said the voice. I love that John is standing here like a gape, like <laughs> reading this. <laughs> um, this is Her Majesty's police force, said the voice. It was, of course, Mr. Mellon, the dogged, soulless embodiment of all that would crush a person's spirit, the king's worst enforcer, the most hated and feared man in all of England. <laughs> Mr. Vincent, if you do not come out from there, I shall kill you and everyone you hold dear. The voice made them both shudder. They knew it to be true. Calmly, David Vincent proved beyond all doubt that whatever else he may be, he was no gentleman. Take off your dress, he muttered. Now, she gasped, while my husband is not yet buried in the law await outside. I will marry you and make a real woman of you yet, my lady. What? Went to the highway, man. But right now, if we need to escape the gallows, I just need to borrow your dress. Do not worry, I will not look. Holy shit! Quickly, she slipped out of her elegant yellow silk gown and was left humiliated in just her petticoats. Mary Beth, this is crazy, girl! The highwayman stole a glance at her beautiful figure, then grabbed the dress. Holy shit! Madam, drape yourself in this cape while I demonstrate that it is not me that our dear friend Mr. Mellon wants to kill, but you. Me, she gasped. You, with you and your husband dead at my hands, he can install himself as the Lord of Leicester. Leicester? It's just Leicester, I think. Your beautiful niece shall become his wife. This is getting crazy. He spoke and she saw that he spoke the truth in the way that people who speak only truth of truth know of truth. But she hates him, she blustered, her pretty petticoats blowing slightly in the beautiful evening breeze. All the better. Now watch this, said the handsome highwayman knowingly. While the beautiful and imperious lady shivered in her petticoats, her hair disheveled, her bosom heaving, her spirit unbroken, the handsome highwayman took the dress and put it on a mob that was fortuitously lying nearby. This is kind of a weird way to make your point, bro. <laughs> he stuck to the mob and dressed out the- wait, he stuck the mop and dressed out the castle's window. They're in a castle now? So that in the darkening light, the mop's hair resembled Susan's own beautiful head of lavicious- uh, lascivious curls in the darkened light of night all that would be seen were the elegant folds of yellow silk from the beautiful gown standing proud and erect only not draped across the heaving bosom of Susan Gray, but attached to a mop at once five shots rang out from the window and the gown was reduced to rags Vincent turned to our heroine now will you trust me madam I am a thief a murderer a sinner and your only hope of survival follow me this is insane how much longer does this go for I don't believe a word of it, the lady sputtered. But in her heart, she knew it was true. England was in the grip of evil. A madness had got the people by the throat, and she, Susan Gray, born a peasant and risen up to a lady of the manor, she whose heart was that of a proud woman, bowed to no man. She must save the nation. This is, uh, this is insane. <laughs> to do so, her only hope was to trust the man whom she most hated as much as she loved. There was no choice. It was that or have her head cut off and give up her family in the manor house. Yet still part of her wavered, then a voice from below made her mind up for her. 
Is she dead, Vincent? Called out the treacherous police inspector. I know you're up there. Come out calmly and we can avoid too much further nonsense. I will spare you if you come out forthwith. The king has said I may pardon you if I so choose. Soon this whole castle will be mine. David Vincent smiled and led the lady away across the rooftop of the castle to safety in the islands. That's the end of that chapter. Oh my lord, wait, is there more? No, okay, it's all, <laughs> all right. Wow, Mary Beth! <laughs> John is like transfixed. He's like, oh my goodness, I need the next chapter. <laughs> Watch where you oh, walk. sorry, sir. Hello, miss. Sorry. That's crazy. I'm so glad we read that, though. Hi, Mackie Gold. Thank you so much for following. Welcome to the circus. Oh, that was really good. John's so distracted now. Yeah, he's like, where was I? What was I doing? Oh, my horse. I wonder whatever happened to old boy. Ain't nobody got a heart. Cause this is Rachel. I'm real hungry here. Sorry, somebody's starving over here? Where are you? Can I get a few cents? Yes, hello. Partner? Hey, brother. Oh, you're the same guy. Hey there, mister. Hey there. He's missing an arm. Arthur you, used to give him money I, all the time. If I talk to you. Yeah. Fellas sometimes mind and sometimes they don't mind and ain't no way of knowing. Yeah. I don't mind. Oh, I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. Yeah. I ain't so kind. Now. That ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. I have a question for you? Sure, you shoot. Did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Yes, we can hug. Oh, um... <laughs> I got a woman. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. <laughs> That's funny, John. I Come on, he just wants a hug. I just kind of like folk but most folk don't like me ah uh, no harm done ain't ever harmful to be held mister only most folk find me creepy and, and strange uh, which ain't nice i think you're nice sir guess not all right i'm going now though what's your name oh okay um jim 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 you don't know that's it's funny. Jim. <laughs> used oh. to know a fella. A bit like you. A few years back. He's talking about Arthur. Kind of fella. But he had a heart on him. They need to stop doing this what to me. I forget. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Alan. Or something, I think. He didn't like me much neither. <laughs> he was okay. I think he died. Oh, the way John knows. They always do. The good ones. What is the saddest movie slash show you've ever seen? Um... He was... Well... He was good and bad, and it's... Hard to say quite what he was in the end. He was good, John! I had the maximum That's honor so. I could. <laughs> sure. That's so. Alright, bye now. See that. Can I go now? Well... It's been fun talking. Yes, it's been fun talking. It's been great. My name's Mickey. Goodbye, Mickey. Rachel and I gotta go. <laughs> I love that Rachel came over to get me. Alright, so the saddest movie slash show I've ever seen. Um... Man, I don't know. This game has me kind of by a grip at the moment, so I'm inclined to be like, fuck movies and shows. This game is where it's at. <laughs> but... I mean, I always cry when I watch Interstellar. Every time. Every time, Interstellar is probably one of the saddest, um, makes me sob. Oh my god. You crazy? What the fuck, you crazy? No, I'm good. Alright, before we, um, before we continue, I'm gonna go on a quick PRB. I just need to refill my water and get a little headache pill. Um, and then we're gonna continue.
I'm literally not stopping. This is this is it. This is the stream. It's going until we're done. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go quickly over your screen. Uh, won't be long. Where's my BRB button? There it is. Yeah, and Estella hits hard. Yeah, it does hit hard. It's true. All right, BRB everybody. Hello, I'm back. I got some water and took a little medicine. Ugh, I'm getting a little hungry, but these chips are kind of tiny, you know, but I think we'll be fine. Let's go see Sadie. Ma'am. Hello, sir. Hello, that's a nice horse. Oh, this must be Sadie's horse. His name is Hera. That seems like a Sadie kind of horse to me. Here we go. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything Ooh, to? Ooh, she I looks good. Drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? Ooh! <laughs> Sadie. Get the hell out of here! Holy shit! You, you, get out of here! Holy shit, girl! Oh, Marston. Shh. Don't say that name out loud, Sadie. Say I, Jim Milton. I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Thank you. I do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You. You killed feller up by Roanoke? So everybody keeps talking about that. I, I don't even know what I did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? Uh, no, gone straight. Yeah, I don't want to do any crime with you, Sadie. Oh, oh it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on then. All right, we're doing a legal bounty, okay? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Strawberry. I just came from there. Good price for him. What do you do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. That face when it's fucking Strauss. A bit of a ride. I know. All right, we're going back to Strawberry. I just came from there, girl. You could have met me out that way. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? What? Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him. The 
about a year back? Thanks. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. Uh. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Listen, I do want to kill him. It's true. It's true. Hey, you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Well, different kind of bad folk, but yeah, sure, John. Ugh, all of this music they're playing in this epilogue. It's the music I kept hearing in the YouTube compilations of Red Dead's relaxing music. <laughs> Making me feel crazy. By the way, she pick up a paper sometime? I don't actually know how to get a newspaper. I know I got one once when I was in Saint Denis because some kid was walking around selling them. And check the stables? I'll check the stables, yeah. What can I do for you? Alright, see what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You hit up that way. Alright. I'll meet you in a bit. Hello. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker? Nathan Kirk? You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Alright, thank you. Excuse me. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? <sighs> no, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here... Yeah, why do they keep getting New Yorkers here? Down, say, the... Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it, but <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. <laughs> Fair enough. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Okay. Season. Good lord. All right. Well, the post office is down here. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Well, she's a woman. Well, that's not Kirk. That's not the same. Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay. Thank you. Feels strange that there are even tourists in Strawberry. Like it's so small. <laughs> I like it here, but it's small. Oh, there's Sadie. There you are. Hey, man, He's in here. In the welcome center. What do you know? Wow. You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. And grab him if he tries to run You'll do. Enough. You, uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. S sort of. Sort of. <laughs> His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. This guy doesn't give a shit, John. Just go. Come on, upstairs. Room three? One, two. Why would three be here? That's Mr. kind of Kirk. a weird spot to put it, but all right. Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just... Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Wait, where did he go? He jumped out? That's Nathan Kirk! Sadie! No! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, Joe! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> John! You're a funny we fella, John. Alright, let's go. Want him alive, though. I know! Get it! He went right! Oh, 
Oh shit! Watch out! Stay on it! I'll catch up with you! Where are you going? Shit! Where the fuck did Sadie go? Holy shit, he's fast! Mr. Kirk, real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how are you married, sir? None of your business. Hey. You what? <laughs> Whatever, you man. The money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon of Blackwater. Cool, so I can go to her for bounties from now on? Yay! Bye, Sadie! Nice, alright, so I guess I can go do that if I... Well, how much money do I have? $20. It's not looking good for John. <laughs> he only has $20? How many months was he working on that ranch? $20? All right, well, I'm going to go back to Strawberry and uh, see if I can get a newspaper. Oh! Hello! Welcome in, Nika Mika! Thank you so much for raiding! Hi! How are we all doing? Welcome! Christmas karaoke raid? Oh my god. I hope you had a good stream. I hope you didn't uh, hurt your throat belting out the tunes too bad. Well, welcome! Hi! Uh, if you guys don't know me, my name is The Wet. I'm an Australian clown girl. I'm a full-time artist and a part-time streamer. Today we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. We have finished the game and we are currently in the epilogue of the game. So if you've been interested in playing this game and you don't want spoilers, I recommend dipping. Because uh, otherwise you're going to get spoiled for the, the post-game kind of content. But otherwise, welcome! Settle in! How's Red Dead? It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. I cried buckets earlier. I sobbed and sobbed and sobbed. And um, I'm feeling better now. <laughs> it's, it's been a really good, really good stream. I hope you had a good stream too. And uh, La Noza Mantequila, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the circus. Saying many Christmas songs now, I think I'm Christmased out. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I still have to think about what I'm gonna do for my Christmas stream if I do one at all. I'm too uh, cowboy killed at the moment. I can't think of anything except Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> all right. Oh, sorry. Stay there, horsey. Looks like I can buy a newspaper here. And this guy. Buy something? Yes, please. Oh shit. Wait, fuck, which newspaper do I buy? The most recent one? The nineteen eighty nine the eighteen ninety nine volume or the nineteen oh seven volume, which is now I guess. Yes, wow, that's it's been a while. I'm also a cowboy fan. Ooh, have you played this game? All right, 1907. Paper, I'm gonna take the 1899 one too, just to like see if there was anything interesting. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Let's see. Let's do 1899 first. For Wallace, a bloodbath. Yep, I remember that. Well, actually, I don't want to read that because Plum's here. So let's read the other one instead. I haven't played it, but it seems fun. It's really good. If you like cowboys, this is like the most 
a hot, enriching, deeply emotional, like, you have to if you're a cowboy fan. You have to. Also, by the way, if you need to head out after your stream and go relax, feel free. I'll be chilling here. Thank you again for the raid. Uh, hum, alright. Stock market crash. Don't give a fuck about that, to be honest with you. Pump jack sits silent. No oil found a Wapiti. <gasps> hey, mister. Have you seen my dog? I I've been looking everywhere for her. Can you fucking, like, not talk to me right now? She's I'm... She's been gone for hours. Can you help me find her? I'm trying to... Sure. I'll, I'll keep an eye out for your dog. Just, I'm trying to do She's something. Foxhound. You know, white and brown. Can you go Did away? You I'm trying to read the paper. I'm the house on the edge of town. Thank you, mister. Hey, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'll find your dog. Just let me read the paper. Going to head out and have a fantastic root and toot in time. I will, I will. Thank you so much. Alright, I'm gonna read the paper. Say something about Wapiti. The oil reserves discovered in land near the Wapiti Indian Reservation have turned up dry and all drilling operations have ceased and packed up. There were high hopes for the location following a detailed exploration by the Leyland Oil Development on behalf of Cornwall and Tar. Uh, Cornwall kerosene and tar and a number of petroleum outfits had sought to develop into a well-paying field. Workers uh, flocked to the area in anticipation of jobs that would pay as much as 22 cents an hour. Companies sank. I don't care about the company. Many members of the tribe were gunned down in Wyoming, but a few members that are believed to have escaped in can into Canada. It's unknown what will happen to the Indian reservation land moving forward as there are no Indians in the area to relocate there currently. Well, I wanted to go up there and check that out, so... We'll, we'll check that out later. Small farms disappearing. A sense of unease and uncertainty has arisen among landowners as a wave of real estate speculation is sweeping through cow country and large cattle outfits are offering large sums for small ranches. Headed by Abel Atherton, Cattle Association seems intent on remaking the West, having recently acquired Hanging Dog Ranch and a considerable number of acres across Strawberry. Property agents from the Laramie Corporation are visiting small towns. Yeah, that's about the guys that we just killed. <laughs> Oops. Um, let's see. President Waxman hails progress, discusses canal. Um, building the Panama Canal? That's interesting. Um, is this anything to do with my people, though? Author Leslie Dupont's fourth tome proving very successful! Very bad! The early romance novel Lady of the Manor, published under the pen name Leslie Dupont, is difficult to find in bookshops owing to its massive popularity. Especially among girls and the elderly, her novels have arguably been read by more people than anything that has been produced by any contemporary writer, although critics dislike her work enormously. <sighs> Miss Dupont's books are lurid and steamy and weave tales of licentiousness and thievery, love and deceit, murder and mayhem, lust and despair. It is claimed many of her tales are from the author's own torrid past, although Miss Dupont has never commented. It's been alleged that she has once consorted with outlaws and gunslingers on the frontier. She has always been unwilling to corroborate these rumors. Ah, well, I can tell you that it's true. What's this one? Um... Bounties beware, Langton is hot on the trail, James Langton is relentless, cunning and fearless. I don't know who that is. Bookworm plague? <laughs> I don't... I don't... Alright, I don't want to talk about hookworm. Oh, they've invented radio. That's cool. Nothing interesting there. I don't care about that. New railroad through New Hanover. Okay. Alright, there was nothing that great in the newspaper today, but I'm glad I read it. Now I have to find this man's dog. Alright, what do we got? Books on track from an unknown animal? It's probably a horse, but let's check it out anyway. Had to shoot at some kids picking through the wood pile. No respect. Oh, I hear a dog. What up there? Up there. Need my horse for this. Yeah, I hear you up there, puppy. I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, Rachel.
Now where was he? He was up here somewhere. Let's ride. What do you say that for? Horse. Horse. Why do you say that? Hello. I found you. Come here, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. I'm gonna get you home. Oh, your buddy missed you. You gonna follow me if I just take you? You gonna walk with me, puppy? Good puppy. She coming? Can I pick the dog up or what? You coming? Come on. I'm just gonna have to hope that she walks with me. <laughs> Return to the town? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Whoa. I got your dog, boy! I got your dog! thing to a family I got left. I'm glad I could help. You take care of her now. All right, we got to get a move on. Let's head down to Blackwater now. No more stranger missions. I've got things to do. <laughs> I got to get down to Blackwater. My first time. I'm so excited. Not bad. I got no problems. Oh, we had an ad break? I didn't even know. The thing just popped up and told me. Welcome back from the ad break. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh, gosh. Come on, Rachel. Look at us. Good horse. No, oh, you got problems. I know. Why do people like that? Why do they yell at me so much? State Farm is there? Is Jake there? You'll be okay. Alright, I've never been down this way before. Doing okay, girl. Except when you rescued Sean? Yeah, yeah, that's true, but I've never in into black water certainly not freely this is where i got mauled by a bear though in um red dead online right by that tree i recognize it i spawned right there and then there was a bear there at that tree and it mauled me Oh my god, wait, they're dead. Easy now. Whoa. Oh. They have arrows in the back of them. Oh my god. Let's cut the horse free at least. Got an arrow in him. You're okay, you're okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? The wagon, the wagon! <gasps> Oh, 
Now that could not have gone much worse. I was trying to help that horse. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh no! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's get out of here. That would happen to John. <laughs> Tries to do the right thing and the worst possible outcome. Fucking, what the fuck, man? <laughs> God damn. The horse would have died one way or another. It had like five arrows in it, I suppose. Oh, but Oh, this is Blackwater. Okay, let's go. For some reason I was picturing a bigger town. I mean, it's pretty big compared to like Valentine. Well, here is the bank. Surprised that it's going to be open at this time of night. What is it over here? <sighs> Alright, we wait until they open. Gonna have a little nap. Okay, John, that's fine. That's fine. This is so like true grit. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not very life. credible, Mr. John. Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? Why were you I'm honest with him? Mr. Geddes? Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. Why so did he... David hmm. Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, oh sit down. John. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Yay, sorry. that wasn't too hard. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Yep, okay. That makes sense. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. Ooh. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Nice! Where is Abigail also? Like, where is she staying at the moment? She didn't really tell us where she went. How am I going to find her to bring her? Okay, Missy. Well, Blackwater's real nice, but I will be moving on. Oh, they got some things here. Barber, stable, stagecoach, post office, general store, tailor, bounties, poker. Very nice. Is that Beach's Hope right there? I thought it was down like this, like a bit further. I didn't think it was right here. My goodness. There are some scary folk out in the forest? In, down this way? Really? Alright, well, let's get over there. Did you check the stable earlier? No, I didn't. I guess I can do it now. Oh, that's 
it's not it, it's down here. There you go. I kind of want to keep Rachel though. I know we've got Binky in the stable and Buell, but um. You got some place I can take you. You know, like. I I like Rachel. It's John's horse, you know. I don't know where Old Boy is. Maybe he'll be here. But I'll at least check on them. Excuse me, horsey. Binky, Binky should be here, hopefully. Welcome. You need help? Nope, Binky's not here. Nope, Binky's gone. Binky and Buell are gone. <laughs> and no old boy either. Binky died. Binky did not die. I think Binky's free and wild now. Maybe she's just not at this stable. Maybe she's at the stable I left her at. Hold on. I left her up here. Well, it doesn't say one. It doesn't say that she's at the stable. Probs not, hey? Unless they're in the stable you left them in? No, I don't think so. They're certainly not in the, um, this stable. Nah. How long do horses live? I mean, You're a, good girl now. a long time, right? Like, what, 20 years? Horses are pretty crazy. Alright, time to check out fucking New Austin. Let's go. I mean, it's much, it's much what have I, what I expected, you know? It's a lot of open, empty land and yellow dirt, you know? There's a forest at least up ahead. to disparage my my boy Guga, but like that was insane. Can I help you, friend? Hello. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Oh, hello. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy damn city boy. Fancy damn city boy? This land. Or he's gonna oh, a third one. Oh my god. Success. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. I don't want to have to kill you boys, but I don't have money to give them. Intimidate. Get out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. That was not the way to go about it, John, because now if the uh, the banker comes out here to, like, help me buy the land, he's gonna be like... What happened? <laughs> oh well, I couldn't give him money, I didn't have enough. I only had $20 to my name, I gotta say- Ooh, the storm. How's Abigail gonna feel about that? She doesn't have to know. <laughs> what Abigail don't know won't hurt her. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on, uh -huh. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, 
I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. <laughs> well, sign here and here. We fed you awesome leave and they tried to shoot you? Yeah, still, I know, but Abigail will probably not like it. First, we gotta clean it up a bit. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yep. John's just like, what is going on? Now, that we is so Mr. cute. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. Uh, well, I suppose that's how it is. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now you can also use this line. You're making of me real feel good. Improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, thank you. Well, it is you. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> Uncle! You was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Uncle! Come here. Oh, yay! I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. <laughs> you, you didn't rob it? Hell, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Sick? Lumbago. Lumbago. Slow and painful death. Oh, brother. uncle. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> He's coming to the ranch with me? Why is his horse, like... Get on. Hold on. Look at his horse's nose. What's going on with it? Take a photo of this horse. Lovely. Let's go, girl. Follow me. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. You can help me, like, build this place. Good John's expression. He's equally confused. <laughs> what a funny, <laughs> funny little horse. Where are we headed? West. West. I ain't even man a few words. I can see we're headed west. Oh, Uncle, it's so good you to have you. The monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. <laughs> don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing? Don't in laugh at me, Uncle. Don't laugh. Hold oh, on. I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh my lord. Don't laugh at me, Uncle. That's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's uh her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. Yeah, we better Oh, oh. she left you? Uncle, stop oh, saying it I so out loud. It's so mean. Woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you. <laughs> where are they? Yeah, I don't know where they are yet. Well, here we are. 
Nice, John's Ranch. Not much to it yet, though. Don't mind the three bodies that are sitting in the cabin, by the way, uh, <laughs> Uncle. Easy. This is it. Look at her. It's nothing. It's just one cabin, John. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly? <laughs> it's so it? crappy. For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen uh, it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> she Rocks? said she wanted Wait, it. That's all that matters. Here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. Uncle got nothing better to do. Farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Are we gonna build it? Build it. Make it better. Yes, yes. Work, boy. Work, work, work. You know what? It's something. It's home. Epilogue part two? Beach is home. That shot is so true, Grit. I know. <laughs> oh, he built a fence! Oh, good job. It's better than the other one, too. I like the use of nails, John. Oh, it's looking good, John. It's coming together. Nice, nice. Wait, how much money did that say? Oh, I've still only got twenty dollars. Wow, you really built that whole fence. That's a long way to fence, John. Good job. Very <laughs> nice use of nails, John. I like it. I like it a lot. Come on, Rachel. Let's let's take you back to the cabin. It's not so bad out here. I like it. He's learning. I mean, like, like yeah, let's give him credit, right? He's a self-made man. Like, look at this. He's doing what he can. I like his boots, too. Uncle is carrying John, let's be real. I don't quite think so. Hold on, can I shave soon? Working hard. It's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. <laughs> oh, he's wearing the shirt. He's wearing the shirt Abigail got him. Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Kick him! Yeah! I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town and got a little drunk. Yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did, oh, Uncle. Shit. Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. What? Charles. Charles? Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Fucking Charles! Oh, we're taking a train and everything. Damn, we really just went. Oh, sorry, drop something. Here we are. Come on. Let's I was about off. to say that's a big trip. I know, jeez. <sighs> Go to the baba. I get, yeah, I will. I will. I never like this place. Just as soon as I can. Oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. I got to do the mission first. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Nah, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Oh, I didn't mean to run at you like that, Arthur. I just got, I mean, not Arthur. I meant uncle. Uh... 
I didn't mean to say <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe we can go to the bar, but we just gotta run there. We don't have our horse with us, it's a long run. Hello. Hello. Oh, they have a picture theatre now, that's cool. Check out the building with the plaque when you get a chance? Yes, I will, I will. I just gotta remember where that was. I'll go get my beard trimmed and then I'll go find it. Oh, John, running through town. If somebody can find out where the building is, that would be helpful, because I have no clue, to be honest with you. Welcome. Please Hello. Take a seat. Got an idea of what you want? I just want to trim, please. Back down to two. Or even one. I mean, it's not much of a difference. I like him. We'll just go one. That's a bit smarter. That's a bit smarter. His lips are so white. He got white ass lips, John. What about his hair? What can we do for him? Wait, extra clean shaven? Ooh, I don't like extra clean shaven. He's scary. <laughs> He's scary, extra clean shaven. I want to do his hair. Oh, he looks so smart with his hair pomaded. Left part, middle part. Sweat back. Buzzed. No, that's not right. Bald. I think I'll just leave it as is. I like his hair long. I mean, let's see it cut short again. He did look kind of cute with like just. <laughs> make or break his whole deportment. Greasy John Marston. He did look kind of cute with his hair short like this. A little flippy dippy. But I like his hair, how it is. Keep it long? I will keep it long. It looks good under his hat. I guess we're all done here. Morning to you. Morning. Thank you. Alright, so. Um. The building with the plaque. This is the graveyard, I, so I think it's over here, like near the church. Oh no, that's the square, not the church. Um, good times in here, in this square, such good times. Um. There's someone at the harbor and someone in the park near the tailor shop. In the park? In the tailor? Alright, so the tailor is over here, so let's go have a look. Someone's gonna need to tell me where the, the plaque is, because I have no clue. Also, Plum, did you play any today? Where are you? Are you still. Where you were? That's just how it is, I guess. Yeah. You did? Oh my god! Where's she up to? Yo. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hi there, mister. Dutch wants to go kill Bronte, we just faced a massive gator. Oh, you did the alligator mission? My goodness, girl. Hi, fellas. Hi, fellas. Bonjour, monsieur. Hello. Okay, so there's someone in the park here. Not you. Morning. Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias. Hi, miss. Hi, miss. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Who are you in the fucking bushes? What are you doing? Hey, partner. Enjoy the morning, mister. Maybe he's just gardening. Hello. 
Hey, partner. Good day. Spent a lot of time finding missing items and doing stranger stuff. Yeah, yeah. Good, good to do it now. All right, over there. Should be someone at the bench. All right, there's a lot of benches, but let's see. Not you. Hey, mister. Good morning. Bonjour, monsieur. Are you sure? Is this the right park? Mister? Bien bonjour. Bonjour. Ma'am? Bien bonjour. John running around saying hello to every single person in the park. You a long ways from the ranch, cowboy. What? You a nice group. Alright, don't need to be mean to me. Morning, ma'am. Maybe they're not here right now because I'm technically on a on a mission. Like I'm meant to be going and looking for Charles, so maybe they don't actually like spawn. Hey, hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Maybe. Hmm. Let me go find Charles first, and then we'll come back here. So. Go to the saloon. Oh, the other side? Yeah. Alright, we'll have a look at the other side. Howdy, mister. Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias, senor. Morning, friend. You can really play. Yes, indeed. It's a pleasure to hear. They never respond to me <laughs> whenever I talk to people playing music. <laughs> they don't like me very much. John on a fucking publicity tour. I know he's like shaking people's hands and kissing babies. He's like, I'm a good man now, I promise. <laughs> you all you all don't have to worry about my bounty and my history. Someone else says the fa the facing the saloon near the trolley? Okay. The building is like west of the tails, or at least the stranger where Arthur donated. Okay. Okay, um. West of the tailors, so down here. My problem is I gotta run everywhere because my horse is back in the fucking ranch. Building is west of the tailors, okay. Um. We'll go check up this road then. You don't find anyone now, you can always check later. And the... Facing the saloon near the trolley. Which saloon? Because there are two. Am I going to the right saloon? I don't know. Let's, let's find Charles first and then we'll have a look around. Once I'm a bit more free. Just in case this kind of stuff isn't spawning. The hell? What do you mean the hell? I'm just running about. Doesn't say that's okay. That's all right. We'll just we'll just uh, do Charles first. Ooh, John's stamina is going up. Very good. Morning, partner. Morning. How do you do? I always used to meet Sadie here. Good morning, sir. Morning. Gentlemen. Good morning, friend. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian. Sure, I've seen hundreds. Okay, but like recently? Big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Sapphire. He's fighting? He's a boxer Thanks. now? Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Wait, he's like a professional fighter? Oh, sweet. Okay, that's not far away. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I just banished like 10 rats from the saloon. Girl, I know, right? I did that mission twice. <laughs> I fucking loved it. Did, what did you use to get rid of them? Did you shoot them? I used a bunch of throwing knives. 
took you so long? Oh, Uncle. Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. Look still up a surprise. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. Whoa, Charles? Is that you? I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're Yes! You're I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. Oh, so oh yay! He's got blood all That's over him. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just I don't know. Oh, Charles! Throw him fights for a few dollars. Throw him fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. Come live on my ranch so, with me. So let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Uh, <laughs> At least he's me. honest. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself to win. Lone Wolf. How Lone much? Wolf? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll wager. Real red skin brave. I'll wager. I'll wager. Oh, wait. Wait, shit. Wait, okay, wait. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. Do I bet on him or against him? Do I bet on or against? Because he said he was throwing fights, but then he just bet on himself. Why would he do that unless he was planning to win this one? Do I bet on him? I'm a little confused. I think he's planning to win now? That's what I thought, yeah. But now it's given me the option, I'm not sure. John needs the money, guys. He's got $20. <laughs> he needs to pay the bank. I need to get this right. Because why else would he bet for himself to win? He's been throwing fights, and he kind of gave John a little look like, Ooh, let's place a bet, you know? So, I was just fixing up my chair. I think I'll place four. For John to win. I said for Charles to win. Bet on Charles. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? Is he can win? He he was throwing on purpose. Of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules, the savage, the un. Don't call him that. The unbeaten and dare I say unbeatable lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting. No he said he was unbeaten and unbeatable. I thought he's been throwing fights. Everything else goes. You win by knockout. You win by retirement. Or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean. You got it, Charles. You got it. Pretend he's Micah. Pretend he's Micah. Oh, my God. Hit him, Lone Wolf! Don't black out just yet! Kill that bastard! Hit him, Charles! What's he doing? Yeah! Get him, get him! Oh, good job, Charles! Knock him out! Yeah! Good job! Come on, Lone Wolf! Better get you the hell out of here! Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fuss. Mighty unhappy. Yeah, we gotta get out of here quickly. <laughs> Here's your share, partner. Thank you. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. We're gonna take him with us! We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. Oh my god, yay! I got the steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. We're like getting okay, the boys. fucking gang back together. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. What are you doing, Uncle? Useless. I 
And a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Oh, yay, I'm so glad we're getting the fucking band back together. I got $40 now. Awesome, we doubled our income. My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. Yeah. You know that Arthur... Sure. Will got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. You buried I him? Had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. Oh, Charles went and buried Arthur? Where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. Oh, shut the fuck up. satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Oh. Good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind Can we of find where Arthur was buried? What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same. Ken? Oh you. my god. But who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. That's good. I'm glad. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Yeah. Well, the whole time. The fact that, well, that Charles doesn't even know. Before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Ooh. Made a real mess of him. Sorry, Strauss. Died in custody. Oh. Never said a word. <sighs> Damn, Strauss. Yeah, Sorry. Strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that may. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh oh. What? Careful. Why? What? Guido Martelli's men. Who? He. Who the hell is Guido Martelli he's now? Frangelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Right. <laughs> Poor John. What happened to Strauss? It said he died in custody. Uh, custody. Uh -huh. We go left. We go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! We're having a shootout in Saint Denis, really. Get down, John! Jesus! Wanted dead or alive, that's great. Come on, we gotta go to Ben Charles. Christ, why does this always have to happen to us? Come on, come on! Get us out of here. I don't want to kill any more people. Where was Uncle going to meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. No, I don't want to shoot anymore. Enough. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa Denis ain't short on police. I remember that. You just keep oh, getting into way. trouble. God damn. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. I'm so glad John knows. He knows See better anything? now. All right, we're good, I we're good. We're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! Hey, Uncle. Come along, buddy. You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Well, I guess I'll come back to Saint Denis uh, shortly well, <laughs> so I can. They weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Find who is the dark and in the park. Yeah. 
I'll just fast travel back. <laughs> Oh, and the pluck. I really need somebody to tell me where it is, because I, <laughs> I mean, you said it was west of the tailors, but hopefully I can find it. Oh, we chopping wood. How nice, John. You got a beard again? Do I need to shave that shit again? Nah, it looks good. Okay, can I fast travel? Rest by fire. Yeah, I want to rest by the fire and then fast travel away. I can't. I have to go make a camp. God damn it. All right. Come here, Rachel. I got you, girly. You're a good filly. You're a good filly. It's true. It's true. It looks like we have another Sadie mission on the uh, mini-map as well. Go! Back to Saint Denis. What a long way for John to travel. <laughs> like, that's across the entire fucking country. <laughs> John, I'm never going to Saint Denis again. <laughs> Instantly fucking. <laughs> Goes back the first chance he gets. He left a few things behind. He's got unfinished business here. Oh, and I do have a bounty here, which I should clear up before. Well, I don't have money. That's the problem. I had plenty of money as Arthur, but I don't have money for John <laughs> at the moment. Well, we're on the right road to find the building. I just don't- I have no idea what building it is. You guys have to tell me if you see it. It's not- it's completely unobvious to me. Evening, mister. If the tailor is up here... Well, no, the, the tailor's back here, sorry. Tailor is there. So it must be down here somewhere. Is it this one? Hello? Is it this one? <laughs> okay, John. Um, I think it's the one with the cannon. Oh, wait, that one over there? Well, that's a police officer there, so I don't want to talk to him. This one? Quincy Harris Memorial. Oh. Well, hello, old friend. This hall was erected to honor and commemorate General Harris by the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall Committee with support of the citizens of St. Denis. Thanks to the following donors. Yeah, there he is. He's second in line. Arthur Morgan. Oh, the way he says, well, hello, old friend. Oh, <laughs> John. There it is. How nice. Ah. 
<sighs> yeah, you found it? I sure did. Okay. Now we have to find the people in the park. And the person on the harbor too. So let's drop the horse here. Actually, the park entrance is back here. I'm stupid. Whee! Surely they're not going to be here at night, though. Oh, oh my god, watch out, bro. I was running there. Look at the lights over there. It should be sitting on the bench waiting for a trolley. Okay, so out the front. Out the front. Hmm. They're not here. <laughs> Have a good night, sir. More crazy. Hey, mister. Hmm. Across from the saloon. Yeah, I don't think they're here. It's not you, is it? No. Let's go find... You said there was one at the harbour as well, right? John just loves to run. Stay away from that one. Come on, then. So which part of the harbour? <laughs> These instructions are too... Hmm. It's a big harbour, do you know where? Just like head down here and start looking maybe? All the boats seem to be on the bottom part, so I guess not up there. Go start looking. Heading to the bounty area. The whole area is the bounty area. So, the whole area is. See how, no matter where my cursor is, it says bounty $20? That's just the border of the bounty area, because this whole area is bounty. So I think it should be just the same as, the same risk as just wandering around. So someone boarding a ship. I don't know any of you. What the hell? You got some kind of bonding increased how nice um the, the problem is i just don't know where to look if there was like a spot on the map you could point out to me then that would be more helpful but otherwise like it's it's a big dock there's a lot of 
Birds. I got some horses. Stop right where you are. No, I don't think I will. Not seeing anybody. Hey there, sir. Ah oh, well, let's leave. I'm gonna just head back now. Cause what have I got? I've got Sadie. I've got Sadie in Blackwater, and then I got Uncle, and I thought there was a something else to do with Charles, but Apparently they're in the ending clips. Oh, so it's not it's not actually something that I can go and find. <laughs> oh well. All right. I want to camp. Come on, John. Can I camp here? camp here. To Beaches Hope we go. Uncle, and then we'll do Sadie after. What you got, Uncle? Feels like old times. <laughs> Good to have the old gang back together again. It's well, some things don't turn out like last time. There some of the old gang. <laughs> Charles, boy, is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two-dollar whore would stay with hey, you. Hey, hey! Goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. Don't be mean to him. Wine, wine, wine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. You're you the one whining, it, Uncle. No hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Come oh, on, Uncle. Be nice. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. Oh, what are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house that a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. No, it it, no, it needs no an... He's right, actually. He's kind of right, John. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. Okay, but we, do we want to do this in the middle of the night? We need to sleep Good. tonight still. So. Can we just like wait All for right. morning? Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. It's coming. God damn, this is hard work for the horses. Are you kidding? All right. <laughs> See? I told 
Yeah, it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Hello. I'm back. Sorry. I don't know what happened. Internet done died or something. Are we back? Are we all good? Welcome back? Okay, we're cool. We're cool. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you didn't miss much. All you missed was the house coming down and John being like, I'm tired of your incessant yap at uh, Uncle. But we're good. If you have to. <laughs> But the house is fucked. <laughs> it's gone. So now I have to go into town and get somebody to come build a new house. <laughs> All right, girl. Come on, Rachel. Well done. But at least we get a new house. I don't know how John could afford it. I mean, I know the bank said, like, you can do home improvements. What, is it just, like, added to his loan? want to go that way they're taking a real leap of faith with John <laughs> they're really like assuming that he's gonna be okay with this <laughs> that he's gonna be able to repay this loan it's like animal crossing <laughs> that's true may want to explore southwest at some point i will i will i'm just doing the missions as they come we'll have plenty of time in uh new austin when we play red dead one as well Sadly, I have to crash. That's okay, Plum. I love you. You have learned the most important lesson of all. I'm just gonna keep going until I finish only this. One thing matters. And all else is lies. Hey, what matters? All right, Mister. You got nothing else to say? All right, weird. But yeah, Plum, all good. Thanks for hanging out. I love you. I'm going to talk to you more about this game tomorrow when you wake up. Of course, I wish I could see the end. Oh, well, that's you'll get there on your own time, girl. It's all right. You told Arthur to beware the man with no nose. Yeah, I don't know. That didn't come to anything. There was no man with no nose. Jeez. That's it then. No more. Oh, hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Hello. Sure. What are you eating? That looks like shit. You, uh, you got any work? It looks shit. awful. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. <laughs> Which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But, same as most people. 
I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? I thought we were going to get a new house. I thought so too. Killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last but week. But there's no mission He's for it yet. Disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in when I got robbed by a professional rival of mine. James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. He was in the newspapers. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, Maybe we can go. I love her back. voice. I love how high pitched she gets. She's like, hey! Good? <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. I'm coming, I'm coming. Of course we do. That's not my horse. This is my horse. I, I guess we'll get a house soon. <laughs> Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches. Some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. It was the same horse he, she had last time, bro. <laughs> Why are you commenting on it? My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. We ain't had any trouble. It's really, I mean, it is something else. That's, That's true, oh, John. <laughs> That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north. Or Wait, does she live, Sadie? I feel like she doesn't live anywhere. Down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Ah. Uh, <laughs> no, not Abigail. Just yet. Really? You er want to talk about it? Wish you could play as Sadie. No, I like to play as John. Charles Smith. I get that. Charles Smith. Charles. He's alive. Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. Maybe in Red Dead 3? Maybe, maybe. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. You should come see him yourself, Sadie. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. That's yeah, fair. That's fair, Sadie. I'm on my own now, John. Holy moly, you're still alive? I gotta I finish so this game, bro. Uh, the offer I said I would. I gotta finish it. Want. That's kind. Unlike How are you, Flan? What are you up to? Up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang? Changed yeah, for a while yet, yeah, probably. Been. I'll be here for a while still. <laughs> put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. Yeah, I think he's gone criminally insane, to be honest with you. Changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. Yeah, John, was agreed, agreed. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who said it all. It's true, but I mean, Dutch Dutch had problems of his own. But I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday... We can't put all the blame on Micah. I mean, a lot of it can be put on Micah, but Dutch had problems. Not now. Come on. Getting educated with the new Twitch rules and yikes? Why? What are the new Twitch rules? I haven't seen anything about that.
Well, tell me. Is it anything crazy? You can be fully nude on Twitch if you're a VTuber? Oh, sick. <laughs> Alright. Congrats to all of the loot tubers, I guess. Women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though I join and I hear you can be nude if you're a VTuber. <laughs> Apparently, damn, I don't know. It's the first I'm hearing of it. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. That's not true. I haven't done any bounty hunting. I haven't done any bounty hunting since I last saw her. John, you're lying. Why are you lying? This sound cool. I messaged you and just got asking if I leave. I didn't even know you were streaming. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm live. I've been live for fucking nearly seven hours. And I'm not stopping anytime soon. Ooh, oh, look at all that open country. That's a good view. Are you finishing the game today? I already finished the game, girl. I'm doing the epilogue now, which yes, I am going to finish today. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> okay, that's that's true, Sadie. <laughs> that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow him. Alrighty, let's go! Did she cry chat? Ah, uh, yeah, girl. Yeah, I cried and cried and cried. <laughs> Silly question, what's an epilogue? Well, it's like, when you read a book, sometimes there's a chapter that plays, that you read before the main story, that's called a prologue. Um, and then an epilogue is a chapter that you play or read after the end of the story. So we've already finished the main story, and now we're playing as a different character years later. We're playing as John Marston instead of Arthur Morgan after the events of the story all happened. There they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. Follow them from up here? This is kind of crazy, Sadie. How do you mean to follow them? Yeah. This is really dangerous. I feel like we're gonna slip off and die. You don't want to go over that butte. No, I don't. I really don't, Sadie. <laughs> I'll read you. Watch the bud. North through here. You got it, girl. What are you doing, huh? You, you talking to me or like to? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. <laughs> yeah, Sadie's got a bit crazy over these couple of years. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Good thing the stream didn't cut off entirely. I know. I'm really glad. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. I saw the new Godzilla movie last night in a 4D theater. Yeah, was it bad or was it good? Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. They're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. I don't see shit, girl. Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. Don't right, fall down, John. He's got all them men right there. And you work alone. <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. Thank you, Sadie. That's nice of you to say. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Uh, you know what? Let's sneak because that's what you wanted. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. I trust you, girl. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. I miss Arthur Morgan already. I miss him, but I'm also really happy to play as John. You know? John's my second favorite, and actually could become my favorite <laughs> character. So, I've already done my crying, you know, like, I've... I love John. You guys blow us. 
Let's get going. So and I'm really happy with Arthur and the thing she said about John earlier. Oh, I said many things. I said many things about this man. We're gonna sneak up on him. You take one of them, I'll take the other. John is kind of sexy. He's very sexy. Throw a knife. Yeah, I got throwing knives. Good job. Let's move. Up ahead. Another one on patrol. Give me my knives back. That's over. Good job, Sadie. Holy shit, she's good. Damn squeaky bridges might be the death of us. Come on. Let's get across nice and quick then, girl. Look out, Sadie. They're on <laughs> Alright, okay, where are we going, John? Check the red flag! They got mana bulbas! Where is he? I don't see him! Over there! makes for John's dead eye is different to Arthur's. It's crazy. It's kind of scary. They're on the side of the basin. This way. Yeah, I got you. I got you, go. Shit, what are you doing, John? trouble. I can't see them. <laughs> My hat! There are some behind us apparently. I can't fucking see anything. than the four that we saw before. It was literally only four men. And now there's like 20 of them all spawning. Ah, John! All right, that's fine. Maybe I won't creak across the fucking bridge this time. But, uh, it's your call. Oh, again? I'll follow your lead. Let's go. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. Oh. Hey, wait. Okay. Sorry, I got lost. I got a little lost, Sadie. Where are you? Close. I'll be careful on the bridge this time. It won't creak. <laughs> Get my throwing knives out. You ready, Sadie? Okay, Sadie, that's fine. Well, <laughs> well, I think I got sick, unlucky. Oh, sorry, Ben. Plan. side of the basin what the fuck John run across the fucking he got stuck like three times move bro
I need to get closer. So God damn it. I'm getting this done a little bit. <laughs> I want to go back to my ranch and build my fucking house. You know, I'm not here for this. I'm not here for action anymore. I'm past my days of action. I want to go own a farm. John, don't slip. I swear to God, if you slip, bro. Did he hit the rock on both of those? For fuck's sake. him. <laughs> what the fuck? How did you get down there? How the fuck did- oh this way, okay. <laughs> I was like, how did she teleport? Well, I need to get the, the, the guy, don't I? Yeah, get the fucking guy. All this for a corpse? Come on. I used to watch all the Godzilla movies. My grandpa has the, Cam the Gamera movies with my dad. Oh. I've only seen uh, Shin Godzilla and then like the, the Hollywood Godzilla movies. Take him out. We just gotta go. Just ride. Oh shit. Before. I know! <laughs> Monster fucker damn rears her head. <laughs> Last Christmas I gave you my gut, but the very next day you rizzed it away. Alright. <laughs> Godzilla or John? John. John is sexier than Godzilla. Let's be what are you talking about? <laughs> You ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Oh. <laughs> mommy Raid, Mommy Raid. Hi, Gremlin Mame. Welcome in. Thank you so much for raiding. Hi, how was your stream? To you. Finley's dead. 
Langton's dead. I've had a good time playing Oli Oli World. I don't know what that is, but I hope it was good. Listen, John. I have to stick up for Uh, Master Axel Fury, thank you so much for following. They were bad men. I know. I'm Welcome, Raiders. Oh, Mufasa, thank you for following as well. More cut out for this work than ranching or having a family. This one we hang out, it's a skateboarding game? Oh, oh it is! Yeah, I've heard that actually. That sounds right. old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, you gotta pay for it is all. I don't know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. That's what the drink is for. Or fishing. Or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Oh, I like this little place. Is this Blackwater? Wait, where are we? That ain't always been the case. This is Blackwater, right? Oh, so cute. Come on, um, in any case, though, welcome everybody. My name is Luet. I'm an Australian clown girl. I'm a full-time artist, a part-time streamer. Today we are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I've been going for seven hours, and we are in the epilogue. So if you care about spoilers for the game, um, you know, look away. But otherwise, welcome. I hope you have a good time here. And Gremlin May, if you need to head out and relax after your stream, please feel free to do so. Yeah, we are in Blackwater. House. Let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. I'm heading to bed though. Hope you enjoy end of Red Dead. Yeah, thank you. Have a good sleep. Sheriff can call the Undertaker if he wants to. We brought in Shane Finley. Well, what's left of him? I'm coming in. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? Oh well, these you things happen. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> How much do I get? Can I have some, Sadie? You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> Okay. Thank Jim you. Martin. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> you said Be that well. last time, John, John, and then you went and did another one with us. So what are you talking about, my boy? $150, that's gonna buy me a nice house. Which I can go and do now, I believe. Is that what this is? Albert Cakes. Yeah, I can go buy a pre-cut house. Let's go! We get to buy a house for the ranch! This way, John. Out of the way. Stop yelling at people! There's nobody even here! You're doing well. You're a silly, silly boy, John. In here? Lumber dealer. Wait, no, it must be up here. How do I get over here? Climb the fence? They're closed. Let me in! Can I come in, please? It's right there. Oh, there. There's a gate. <laughs> Okay, all right, it was a gate, it's fine. Lumber or lumbago? Excuse no, me, no, sir. lumber. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Oh, I actually get to pick? Ooh. Which one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. 
Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that oh, one. Oh, he just in stock. in stock. Of course you have it in Great. stock. From the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here. <laughs> in and, uh, stock. It's a fucking house. Your name there. And you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. It's Milton. You boys give me or a Or Marston. <laughs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Skinner Lots brothers? I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If this skin is about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. We don't need guns right. for hire. I killed, like, Milton. 20 men just earlier Milton. today. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. All right, good. whatever you you're say. You're get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. All right, after this mission, I have to go on another pee break. Look at all this lumber. Follow me. We're going to need more than that to build a house, but it's a good start. Say. Is your friend a negro or a redskin? I think a bit of both for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. Yeah, why does it matter to you, bro? Man, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Uh, you don't know how many men I've killed. <laughs> about robbing caravan. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front... Try not to be a racist test, I know, right? Jesus. And they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, the... Trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary. I'm <laughs> looking big and scary. You Have you seen me? Horse. Have you seen John? Oh, hi, Dugan. Right. Welcome back. Thank I'll you for my nose, too. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you Skinheads are uh, evil like Murphy, but scarier? Scarier? The Murphy's are fucking spooky. As any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Tell me that again. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. Oh, his wife and the little ones. He better not get killed. <laughs> this poor guy. The kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. Well, I appreciate that, sir. Real good of you. I live with the clown. Hello, O'Brien. How are you? Country well. Good. Holy cow, seven hours you weren't kidding. I know, I wasn't. And we're still not done. I'm gonna go take a pee break in a minute though after this mission. Boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's knows. She's on the grind? I I said I'd finish. And at this point, if I stop. Then the next stream is only going to be like two hours long, and I I just want to finish it all today. <laughs> and a snack for chat. Yeah, yeah, I'll get a snack too. Excuse me, gotta go get some tools. 
acquired taste. Hello. Let me do the talk. <laughs> Nails. Nails, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he was the best. Best Smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. He just says okay all the Have time. You got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nails. Okay. Bye, Nails. <laughs> Bye, Nails. What a weirdo. All right. Off he goes. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on. <laughs> all right. All of that just for some tools? Okay. <laughs> John. Okay. All right then. Beecher's Hope. This is a really nice they forest. Sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it. What's that? World needs. Oh shit! No! 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 Whoa! He had better not die. He had better not die. What the fuck, man? Oh. Stronger what? than you? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They got the they, they took the tools? Wait, they got Mr. Uh, Wayne! Why would they want back. him? Charles, come on! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Mr. Devin! Mr. Milton! Mr. Smith! Why would they kidnap him? Holy shit, there's a lot of you. Many of them, holy shit. We have to get past this. They close. They climbed up in the trees. Shoot the ones up there first. All right, that's more like it, John. That's more like it. In the branches. That it? Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. Come find him, Mr. Smith. Come on, he's come the right way. Okay, here's more of them. Okay, Jesus. Right. They almost had me. Like 
<laughs> a knife? Yeah, whatever, man. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Come on. Oh, I hope we save him. We gotta be gaining on him. I hope so. They're coming out of nowhere. We took bigger parts. No, please, 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 please don't kill me again. We're right here. Yeah, jump. Right, let's bring him down. Christ. I don't care. Just with it, take it. Hold on, Mr. Way. Mr. Way, I'm coming. You want it bad? No, no, no. I can't aim, bro. I can't aim. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Hey, can you hear? Charles, I found the tools. Now where's Mr. Oh no! Shit! I knew something bad was gonna happen to him. I knew it. Fuck. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. <sighs> he was talking about how he loved his wife and kids. Ugh. Why does this shit keep following me? All I'm trying to do is buy tools so I can build a nice house. I am moving, bro. I'm getting. Sh I'm on my way back up there. I don't know why you went that way. Come on, John, keep running. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner. Everyone knows. Uh, he should have been more aware. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on. All right. Oh, look, Let's an elk. Out. Or a stag. Oh, my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. This game loves twisting the feels. It's not fair. <laughs> it's unfair. You good, Charles? Come on. Go up there. Come on, Charles. Come on, Charles. Get on the fucking wagon. John, I'm riding with you. Get on. We gotta go. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. They're crazy the way they came out of the forest. What kind of land have I bought? Damn it, John. You'll run the horses into the ground. It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this. I didn't realize Charles was there too. Yeah, Charles is with us. It was meant to be over with. Oh wait, that is so close to my ranch. That is so close. That's like 20 meters up the road. <laughs> no. It's literally right there. The Skinner brothers are in the forest right there. I didn't realize the ranch is so close. I don't think it's safe here. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle, you good? Uncle! You useless sack of crap. Are you drunk, Uncle? Guard. Are you Wait. drunk, Uncle? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. I wonder why no one wanted the ranch. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Well, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. All right, let's get this shit unloaded and build myself a fucking house already. Good old drunkle. And John, I love you. Oh! Don't you forget that. You're gonna get her back, John. You're gonna get her back.
Oh. Alright, I have to pee. Oh, bank loan received. Alright. Morning, John. Morning. I have to pee, so... Dang it, see, seven and a half. I know, it's going crazy, but we gotta get it done. We gotta get it done. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go on a pee break and probably get a snack. Everybody else should do the same. Go pee, get a snack, um, get some water, stretch, etc. I'll be back in, like, three to five minutes. Won't be too long. Be happy, everybody! Hello! I'm back. I'm just gonna really quick to- uh, toot. I'm gonna tweet really quick but I'm still live. <laughs> because... 
I don't know. It's been a lot longer than usual. Go, close that. Back at it again. Good night, Sugan. Thanks for hanging out. Of course, you got to head to bed for work. Have fun, y'all. No problem. Sleep well. I'm glad you had a good time, hopefully, while you were here. Um, let's save the game too. Got some shortbread to snack on. Ooh, yummy. Um, really quickly, let me just relaunch the game. Just because my VTube was lagging a little bit and the frames were getting, like, not too bad, but we're just going to relaunch. Just do a fresh one. Alright, let's see. Relaunch, relaunch. Right. You know, you were probably right, Visionary, that I probably should have done this in a second or another stream, but I already said this was the final one. <laughs> and I gotta stick to my guns, you know? I already said this is the final stream, so. I'm sure the epilogue can't be much longer. Maybe. It's all right. I mean, I'm having fun. I just don't want to leave it now for another time. As long as you're, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Yeah, I'm okay. Night cha? chat. Oh, <laughs> I have lose us. Sleep well. I also thought the upload would be long enough for another stream. Yeah, it probably would have been, but by the, but but see, when I finished the base game, that wasn't a long enough stream for me. I wanted to keep going. That wasn't long enough for me. Hi, Zachinator. You should give my nose back, though. Charlotte should show up on the map at some point, too. All right, I'll keep an eye out for it. Good morning, Zachinator. What time is it for you? Surely it can't be the morning. Unless it's like the early AMs. <laughs> yeah, by the time I had finished the base game, that hadn't that wasn't quite long enough for me. I wanted to keep going, but now that I've kept going, it's getting quite it's getting quite crazy. <laughs> Twelve AM. Oh, you best be getting to bed soon, my goodness. Are you close? Maybe. It was only like three hours or so? I know, exactly. The epilogue's been taking longer than the base game did. I mean, not the whole base game, obviously, but for today. Um, I don't know if we're close or not, but I, I feel like it can't be a hell of a lot longer. We're not taking a lot of time on anything else. It says we're 80%, so... If I just keep doing missions back to back, I'm sure we'll get there. Hey, Uncle. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning. Wait, wait. You do the building. So they don't build it for me? They just give me the supplies and the plans and I have to figure it out myself? <laughs> it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got. Now he's looking more like John. Mm -hmm. you His hair grew. God, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well... First thing it says, the foundation. 
Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago. Oh, I'm Uncle sure Christ. A six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. Stores used to have houses they were deleted even not that long ago. I'm not confused about that. I know that. I know that you can buy a house and that's not the confusing. The, the, the part that I'm questioning is that I have to build it myself. They don't actually have builders that come and help. Or I think, like, I bought a house and I bought the supplies, but now I have to build it. I've got the fucking IKEA instructions and I have to put it together. That's crazy. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> That's right. We should get on with this. Oh my god! Time lapse? Little time lapse? Ah! Yes! The foundations! Let's go! Damn, the fact that. <laughs> that John is really building his own house. I love it. I love it. This is exactly what Arthur fucking wanted for him, baby! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. you'll stay with us thank you 
How many times you cried in the past seven hours, bro? I don't know. I don't know. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> He's gonna write her a letter. Hi, darling Abigail. Oh. I hope you and Jack are doing well. Yay. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But he looks I'm so strong. Very hard to be something like the man you deserve. He looks like a lot stronger now. I've done something very silly. In an effort <laughs> to impress you. Oh. That is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope <laughs> is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Yay! Gettys kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful. In oh, his own John. Fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Yep. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss oh. you and the boy. More than I can express. He's so sweet. Please, come back to me. He's so Here's sweet. Always, John. <laughs> this makes me really upset. <laughs> Getting a new family together. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Abigail. Show up, baby. Good night, y'all. Thanks for the super long stream. Luke. Good night, Rocco. Thanks for hanging out for so long. Oh, it looks great, John. I'm so happy for you. Uncle, I thought you was. Where the hell? Where's Uncle? <laughs> His house. <laughs> Let me in. Oh, it's great. It's dirty as fuck already. You guys need to fucking keep it clean. <laughs> Let me check out all the rooms. Did he know where she went? He must know, yeah. He must know. I don't recall myself, but he must know. He's got a map of the area. The house looks good on the outside. Well, it looks good on the inside too. They haven't actually finished up here. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't finished, but I'm sure they'll figure it all out. It's just dirty as fuck because they've been stepping in it. <laughs> they gotta get it clean. Keep it clean. Now where's Uncle gone? Uncle, why is he, what's he doing out here? We gotta go, baby girl. We gotta find Uncle. Actually, I gotta shave. <laughs> I can't be seen like this. I gotta go shave. Certified R such male living space. <laughs> That's true. Now where can I shave at? You would think I'd be able to do it in the house, but um Where's my shaving spot? It's usually like around the camp marker, but Maybe it is in the house, I just missed it. We got a bathroom in here? Why is this door locked? This is your own house, John! <laughs> Why is the door locked? It's your house! Are you stupid, buddy? Oh my god, you guys need to clean up in here before Abigail gets here, I'm so serious. Was that noise? Oh, I didn't hear a noise. Um, shit, where do I shave? This is gonna be the toilet. Oh, wait, upstairs? We got a little attic? Cute. Who's been sleeping up here? We have so many bed, well, uncle. You can tell from all the bottles. I guess I can't shave here. That's that room. What about over here? The basin? 
No way to shave? Fine. We work then. Alright, let's go find Uncle. Oh! There you are! Come here! Oh, he's even put like little rocks out, little rock path and like tilling the field over here. It's coming together. He's got a water pump. Oh, looking good. All right, uncle, have you died of lumbago? What's going on up here? Has this horse been named? Her name's Rachel. Hey. Hey, I didn't, yeah. I didn't name her that, but that's just her name. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation? <laughs> what are you talking about, <laughs> Uncle? No. What are you talking about? I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. <laughs> we don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. You gotta plant something. Grazing. Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. I, I cows, don't like I've goats either, John. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut. You don't like build that. a barn. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Falco, hi. I messaged him while I was BRB and told him to get over here. You don't build a barn, dumbass. I've seen that. Uh, I've seen that TikTok before. <laughs> you don't build a barn. How you doing, Falco? We finished the game. I mean, we're, you know, we're, we're still going, but we finished. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. I got to respect him for it. Because if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. <laughs> whatever, Uncle. Ride faster, buddy. Also, hi, Fizzy. How are you? Yeah, you good? All right. Keep talking. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? Sick, but we're chilling. Oh, I'm sorry you're sick. Ah, you're in but I'm happy that you're chilling. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. <laughs> I'm you glad you want to help, so Uncle. Like it, I'm glad. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Yeah, what about when my wife gets here? You gotta move out, Uncle. That's true, we don't have any furniture. <laughs> we sleep it on the floor. I'm both glad and sorry that your life is only cowboys now. Well, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Overall, even if I've been sad, overall, I'm happy. This is him. I need to brush Karen, I think. She's looking a bit dirty. Here you go, darling. Hey, there we go. That took the dust right off you. I'll give you something to eat, too, baby. Get back on, John. Get back on? How about you fucking shut up? He's walking. He's walking the rest of the way, Uncle. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. Huh? Emily? Oh, I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? <laughs> Who the fuck is Emily? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, is this guy think? insane? Uh, 
Maybe that one. Yeah. Well, an excellent choice. We have a couple. Already Wait, did I say Karen? Oh, I meant Rachel. Did I say Karen? When I was talking to the horse? No way. Uh, sorry, of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. No more bank loans? Good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. <laughs> you that's true. Days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I, John! <gasps> Sadie! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. It did say Karen? Oh, oh, I meant Rachel. You? <laughs> well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. I need money. I gotta build a bond. Climbing and I, you up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. I'll right, do whatever then. you need. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. <laughs> Shut up, Uncle. Shut up. Bank, there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Let's go, Sadie. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. Painted Sky, all right. Okay, I'll follow you. I don't know the place. John's lying. John's making it up as he goes. He doesn't know. All right. The painted sky tip is pretty. Also, pretty yes, Miku lover, I have been drinking plenty of water. I'm very hydrated. The salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. So I'm kind of wondering, and I mean, don't spoil me, don't don't tell me, but I'm kind of wondering if Dutch and Micah are going to show up in this prologue, uh, epilogue, or if that's just going to be in Red Dead One. And some Californios. I'm very curious. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Not saying nothing yet. Don't say anything. It's just I, I'm verbalizing what I'm wondering about. It's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tony. Guess you will know soon. Yeah, we'll find out. Of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back. Basically, further than I know. You haven't done the epilogue, fucker. I thought you finished it. For the place. It isn't somewhere I. Okay, sorry, I'll wait, Sadie. I'll wait, Sadie. Can you, like, catch up, go? Don't get confused. It's this way. Can we go now? So, what were you saying? It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about. Was they the Skinner brothers? So I'm assuming that like the Skinner brothers and this Ramon person, the Cortez person that she's talking about, this is all going to be like content for the first game. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Ugh, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow. Was That's all. just what I'm assuming. I wish we'd done better for him. Based on what Fizzy is saying, as someone that's only seen and played Red Dead One, it's interesting to see how this is hinting at the first game set up. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Yay! Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bale? No, I no. built it with fucking tooth and nail. <laughs> I, I worked hard. Cowboys. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid though. Real good and stuff. I'm so proud of John. John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. The name of the game is Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, number one. You know, it sends the wrong message. 
Are you saying I shouldn't call it Red Dead Redemption 1? That's what the bank says. I, I feel like when referring to these games, I think it's fair to say it's number one. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Redemption. You better be here. Let's get down and take a look. Well, it's not like I expect the events of the first game to be all peachy keen. We're gonna be. Yeah, I, I get it. The redemption part. I get it. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm wondering. If they're gonna show up in this, or if they're gonna show up in, uh, just the first one, like the epilogue. I mean, like I'm sure they're gonna have something to do with it. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. All oh, right. Get him. Oh, Cortez! We've come for you. Whoa, John! <laughs> John, you can be a little stupid sometimes. Die. You got him? I think so. Yeah, I got him. I got him. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Good one, Sadie. Yeah, that's him. Come on. No, well, that was easy. Let's it's not gonna sheriff. be easy. Something's gonna happen on the way back. <laughs> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. Oh, my hat fell Roads. off. Can I go get that? Roads. Different there now. Roads? We're going to Roads? We're going all the way to fucking Roads? Sadie, that's a long way. All right, I'm going to get a sunburn since my hat got pulled off my head. That hurt. You want money? Some characters are created for Reddit 2 well, after Reddit 1, man. maybe, which You're is a little sad. Oh, like they're there. not mentioned at all. I'll be you good. I mean, I figured that that's... I mean, this is... Oh, although it's a prequel, cool, it's a... Uh, you know, it, it came so many years later, that makes sense that they would have added more content and more backstory that was not invented in the first one. Check the general store and roads? Will do. Wow, that was it? I really thought we were gonna get, like, attacked. <laughs> Chased out of there. Well, here we are again. Still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. The creeps? He doesn't like it here? <laughs> I feel like it's- the game is just like making me go on a little like... Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? It's making me go on a little tour, you know, of all of the places I used to go. Went to Valentine, I went to Saint Denis, I've come to Rhodes now. Come on! Been to Strawberry. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. Yeah, he was really That's easy to capture, guy. actually, guys. Like, why are you not doing your job, cops? Like... Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> He was easy. Uh, hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> yep. Okay. Rip. Okay. Rip in peace, bro. You think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. John needs to shave right now. It's getting too long. Cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> I don't like the way he's giggling. I think the beard suits him. I think he needs to have stubble and stubble only. I want to see them scars. I want to see that rugged jaw. I want to see that dimple in his chin. He did the Lou creepy laugh. Hey, hey. I was not creepy. I was emotionally uh, exhausted. <laughs> oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. Yeah, all right. You 
have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. I thought that guy on the horse was Micah for a second. He had a handlebar. <laughs> he had a handlebar mustache. Sadie, we got him, girl. They're running scared. There's more of them? Where? I love her voice. I love the way her voice breaks. They're running scared. <laughs> I love her. Whoa! What was that? What was it? Come on. The jail. The jail. Oh shit, they busted him out. Blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. They now, just did it well, five seconds ago. We brought him in. Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. Hey! Don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob? Sadie, Mr. Sadie. Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. Yeah, I do need the money. Ooh. 75 I can't go higher. Done. done. Yeah, done That's deal. Done. Jim Milton. Why you say it like that, Sadie? It's supposed to be my fake name. If you say it like that, they're gonna know that it's not real. I better loot these guys. I need money. Wow, fifty dollars. Oh, they had three thousand. I know. So why, why is it that when, <laughs> when Arthur gave the satchel to John, he didn't give him the three thousand dollars? Come on, I was saving that for him. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting They're so bad at hiding his identity. I know, he's a little Jim stupid. <laughs> I like that in a man. <laughs> yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we Arthur gave it to Tilly? No, 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 that was, that was not his own money. That was the money that he stole from the train in that last mission. My own money that I earned, like my character player money, I wanted to give that to John. <laughs> it's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that either. It's just crazy. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I like you so much, Sadie. For honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put it on. I love her voice! If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of them. Basically everyone in this game has such stellar voice acting. And it's not just because of the cowboy accents. Hold up. Down oh there. shit. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Alright, let's go. She's battle hardened, real raspy lady we got here, I know. I love her little voice cracks. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. 
We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Oh, there's a horse running around. Come on. All right, let's go. Let's go. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. You gotta go me. get them. Yes, Amy. Just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, oh, Sadie. Those bastards don't look that tough. Jeez. I, they look asleep, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. <laughs> Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. All right, say so you whatever you say, my lady. I trust her. Do I just start shooting? Oh, no, that's her. Sorry. <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Damn it, Sadie. Oh, shit. I got you, Sadie. I got you, girl. Stop hiding behind the fucking thing. Oh, you shooting at me? I'm coming, you to <laughs> That was some nice ballet, John! <laughs> what the fuck was that? They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about it. Oh, that was insane. completely Get down. All right, he's gone he's gone oh that's John Marston for you he's spinning <laughs> I mean, never mind. Get out of there! <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time ago. I'm scared. <laughs> all right, now we got to tie it up. It's all good, it's all good. The music was just a little unsettling. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down mouth! Ooh, get him. Why would you just turn around? I know, right? What the fuck? Holy shit! I'm 
might just be. We're done? Okay, we're done. Thank God. Alright, come here, you. Well, that's gonna loot you first. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. <laughs> they oh, say that, but I know I know that he goes to Mexico in the first game. I've been told. Come on! Get on there. That's so that's funny they say that. Collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? Reference to Red Dead 1. Yep, yep, yep. We know John can't stay out of trouble. I wish he would, though. Stay with your wife. Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. That's the kind of thing Dutch would have fell for. If somebody said, I have a bunch of gold, he would have been like, all right, well, let's investigate that. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. I mean, I would like $5,000. I would well, like that. You left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. Remember when Arthur would do bounties? <laughs> yes? <laughs> He would slap them. Time, he would reach friend. back and be like, shut up. <laughs> slap him. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Are they? Are they gonna come for John in Red Dead 1? Ooh, scary. I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fight and the killing. I miss Arthur. I miss Arthur too. But I'm just happy I got to spend so much time with him. And I love John, so I'm not too like I'm not missing like like I am missing him, but not as much as I as I could have been. If I had to play as Sadie, I think I would have not really wanted to play as much. I knew you'd be I love Sadie, but John is really special to me. Come in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. Yeah, our bounty. I'll pay you when I deliver them. No. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> For sure, for sure. For this, John. That's like Red Dead Line. Ooh, scary. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Bye, Sadie. Always love to see you. How's he gonna pay us? He's gonna pay Sadie for the bounty. And then, uh... She's gonna send me the money. I'll send send my money to the bank. Wait, did they get the barn built? That's not the house, is it? No, they built the barn. Ah, they built the barn. Now let's go inside and see if I can shave my damn ass face already. Oh, they did it up while I was out. That's so funny. Uncle and, Ch and Charles, they got a painting. <laughs> they really made it like nice. Awesome. A bed and everything. I can fast travel from here. That's good. That's good. I can. What's in the chest? Some things. All right. I don't know what that's all about, but sure. 
I need to shave. Oh, look at that! Tiled floors? Now we can shave, surely. This is gonna be like... Really? Wait. Is this a kitchen? This is a kitchen. Where's my shaving spot? Is it Banjo? Is this room open yet? It is. Yes, this is the bathroom. Okay, can I shave? No? I can change clothes. Where can I shave? Are you kidding me? Behind here? I don't like that one. I like John's classic hat. And I like Arthur's gambler hat. Put that on him. Oh, well, all right. It's on my horse, I think. Guess you gotta go to the barber? Huh. Surely I should have a shaving kit around here somewhere. You would fucking think I would. Should be able to shave? Yeah, I should be! Is it on the porch somewhere? Is there like a nice little mirror station set up somewhere? <laughs> Against the wall behind the tub? No, I had a look there. It was not there before. Anything over here? Back porch, maybe? Oh, what about in the garage? Cool, this is like my office. Oh no, I guess it's that's a bunch of meat. Against the wall behind the tub, did a quick Google? So it is there. Really? It wasn't there. What? Okay, I'll go back in and have a look. Excuse me, everybody. Um, right, where was the tub again? <laughs> I gotta find it. That's the bedroom. Um Where's the bathroom? Here we go. Against the wall behind the tub? Like that? Uh. I can sit. I don't think there's anything. Definitely not behind here. I guess I just haven't unlocked it yet. Doomed to have a big ass beard. I mean, it doesn't look terrible on him, but it's not my John. That's my John. Now that's my John. That's my John tripping his ass over into the fucking dirt. Hi, Louette. Hi, Taku. How are you? We'll just go for a run over to the barn, see what uncle's got going. Puss. Good barn, good barn. Time's really passing. Uncle, you upstairs or outside? There he is. Was your holiday. I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Mom, that crew did help. The house, the barn. Look at this place. Now we just need livestock. I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Does it, Uncle? Does it? Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Oh. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink, drink about, about and let us, let us merry be. be. 
Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When the horned hands in forest rent, just pack the huntsman cheer. Look at them dancing! The forest rent, his pack the huntsman cheer. I love this so much, oh, John. When we send the broadside to Mount Sears, as loud as Hannah, when the bend of the Sears. Come, bustle, bustle, drink of our and let us merry be. All the boys, all the boys. What's got at sea? Yes! Shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea? We spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. Oh, the boys! The boys I'm so happy. Thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more. Thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let, let us marry be. Our can is full. Let's break it out and then our hands to see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. John, get out here. Uncle's gone. What? He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now. Excuse me? What do you mean, Uncle's gone? <sighs> what happened? That fat man will be fine. What happened? He won't. Skinners? Skinners. Fuck! You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. Oh, fuck. We just had such a good time. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. God damn it! Uncle! Let's go. Didn't even give me time to fucking go to the barber. All right. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. What a nice little like fucking dance, God, though. <laughs> Should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do to try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Blood? Oh, Jesus. Tall trees. Come on. They killed that other guy for nothing. Oh, uncle, 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 God, uncle. Look, we should agree on something. What? If it's really bad. This might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? What do you mean? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. What? Jesus, do you mean to- I mean, you can live a week without a scalp. Oh, Jesus. A, good week. a gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already. What the There's fuck? Come. We get him and we- Did you hear something? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We gotta go, Charles. What's going on on foot? Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. The gift of mercy. I know. What the fuck? I don't want Uncle to die. I, he's a lazy prick, but I love him. Stay. He's my family. To the trees. Come on. There, to the right. Two skinners. Look out. Let's take him out nice and quiet. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. Very good. Very good. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. This is why we should. <laughs> why did we build a ranch right next to these freaks? This is the. Patrol to our left. This is their forest, Charles. I don't know if we're. Kill the patrol or let them pass. How many are there? I don't even see them. Hey. Charles is telling me to hold it, so I'll hold it. Easy, easy. I'm holding it, I'm holding it. Let him go. They're gonna see us. From the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. 
The burning's better if they're awake for it. Stop that, you freaks. It won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. We killing him or not, Charles? Your call. See the state of the property value was the only place that's affordable. I know, it's but mm. come on. They've passed. Let's go. Let's go. Isn't there forest? Charles said they move about there just here for now. Oh, well, still, I mean, they they know what they're doing up here. They know how to hide in the trees, you know? Hold up. You hear that? Is that uncle? Yeah. Wagon. There. Dragging someone. It's not uncle. No. Some other poor bastard. A follow. It might lead us to the camp. Shouldn't we save the guy that's being dragged? You don't think so? Keep on him. This poor bastard, Jesus. Sorry, man, I would have helped you. What do you see? Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, he must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rack. Good job, John. I can hear them. I can hear them. I think I see something. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay. Okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? I'm looking. Binoculars. Okay. Um. Don't get too close. Oh. Is that uncle? My god. We gotta go get him. Uh. Where are they? Where are they? They're coming care. up behind us Come for on. sure. Oh! Charles! Yes, Charles! Yes, Charles! Yes, Charles! Behind you! Charles! Oh my god. Oh, close. The surprise is over! We're here for you! Oh, it's criminy. Okay, this is gonna be bad. See, John cares about Uncle, whether he says he does or doesn't. John, get down here! I'm coming! Oh! Ouch, John! Careful, buddy! Die. <laughs> I got you, buddy. You. Oh, gotta get you down. You're okay, old man. Oh, that looks so uncomfortable. Okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. Ooh, John loves his family. Yes, he does. Oh, he's back. Looks like we got here just in time. Oh, he's been roasted over the fire. Jesus. I'll carry him. Oh, uncle. Holy fuck. Oh. Hey! Got him. Cause here come the rest of them. Quick! There's more of them. I can't see. I can't see. Down that gully. I don't feel. I know. I know, Uncle. Whoa! <laughs> that is not the music that should be playing in this moment. <laughs> Well, Shug, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. <laughs> That's so funny. Welcome. I hope you had a good stream. How is Super Mario RPG? I hope you're having fun with it. 
I haven't played that in a little bit. Hope you're having a good time. Welcome. If you guys don't know me, my name is Luet. I'm an Australian clown girl, a full-time artist, part-time streamer, and I am currently in the epilogue of Red Dead 2. So if you don't want to follow this in the end of the game, um, don't stick around. But if not, if you don't mind, welcome. We're in the middle of some very crazy shit right now. You okay? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, okay, I'm not that good. Done! Woo! <laughs> what are you talking about? That was the perfect music for this tense situation. Oh, yes. It was just what I wanted. It was exactly what I was <laughs> thinking. It's been super fun, we've been having a blast with it. That's good. Get your rifle out, buddy. These guys are so hard to fight because they're so quiet. They just appear. And I can't aim for shit. What? Oh my god, they keep killing him so fast! My screen didn't even go red before that one, they just got me! Damn it, damn it. Got him? Cause here come the rest. Alright, get it out again! Wait, there's more of them. Come on. Down that John's not a very good shot, let's all be nice to him. Does it take, bro? Get off the shit! All the fucking furniture! Ramsey Bolton's for us. Exactly, that's so... <laughs> it's okay, Uncle, it's okay. We got you. Over here. I mean, look how close we are to the forest. They could really just come down and get us again. <laughs> it's okay, Uncle, it's okay. You're just in pain. We're gonna take care of you. Why do I need to get on my horse? Are you kidding me? Let's go, girl. <laughs> Stupid fucking mission. <laughs> Stupid game. Uncle! Where? 
Don't pass out, buddy. I got you. I got you. Come on. Let's get him comfortable. Oh, thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You don't really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. Ouchie, blue punk. Fun. Ow. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. Hey, Lou, how you doing? I'm good. I'm doing great. Johnny Boy fine. Marston. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. That's so annoying. Used to be. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> no, we weren't that bad. Jesus. Maybe we should take up torture. No, John. Jesus. Uh, Don't even say that. Singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You? Your family? I just want Abigail and Jack yeah, to come so. back. John feels weird with the beard. Trust me, I've been trying to shave I it. So. I can't find his shaving kit. I really do. If she ever comes back. She'll come back, John. She will. You wrote her that letter. She'll come. I'd come. Keep working, John. Just keep working. Blue phrasing? No, I kind of meant it that way. <laughs> I kind of meant it as a, a silly little double entendre. I kind of... <laughs> He's a working man now. The way you said that, Lua, yeah. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Everybody shut up. Yes. They have a dog too. You. You're... Yes! Oh! <laughs> oh, I... yay! He always did have that fine way with words. You do oh, right, yay! Son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Of course you can, buddy. <laughs> Just give him some time. He'll warm up. He's quite a place you got here. Oh! It's yours. Ours. I should see about that. Boy. It was all for you, Abigail. It was all for you. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's royal, <laughs> dumb, and angry, so we reminded us of you. That's your idea. <laughs> no, miss. Oh, he's so happy. Come on. Is this the end of the epilogue? No? Not quite? Two more missions? Abigail and Jack. Jack could use some company. Look at all of this. Oh my god. Let's go see them right now. Crit the old one, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the circus. Whoever said it was three hours long is nuts. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Yeah. Hello, hold on. I need to fucking shave and I'm so serious. Where do I shave? Maybe it's in the house now. Maybe I can now. Look how happy he is to see his wife. Yippee! Yay, my wife is here. The uh, puss. Hold on, let me go into the bathroom real quick first. That's not the bathroom. Surely let me shave. What if I sit? If I sit down, is it like now you can shave or something? No? That's annoying. Uh, 
Abigail, where are you, girl? Hey, baby. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. You did real good, buddy. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! They love each other so much! <laughs> You're alive! Sadie! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We've... I'm... Sorry, I you thought look I... well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> Don't tell her that I've been committing crimes, though. Don't tell Abigail. Don't we just got her back. <laughs> no, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation. Ooh, business. transportation. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Abigail, you don't know what I had to do <laughs> to get this place. For her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, Abigail! You said that. What else am I gonna do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Yeah, come on, Abigail. What, what else can he do? You put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's gonna do something better than this. Like what? Right, silly stories. Hey, all right. I'm sorry, Abigail. Don't say that though, John. That's not. I that's not nice. Thought if you wanted to earn some money. How many times do I gotta bury you, John Marston? Don't say never. that. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a. Come on, put a little else. faith in him. Put a little faith in him, Abigail. Micah. Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? Micah! I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> Abigail, you just have to let me. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business you know an accountant or something came down from Rhodes, i believe how much does it pay it pays good now, the soft ones usually do okay then i guess fuck micah fuck micah no all right john marston let's go just you bring him back to me you hear of course Come on, Abigail, you gotta let the man be who he is. Now, he's done so much, you know, like... He's done so much for you. He built this place with his bare fucking hands! He's changed his ways, but bounty hunting is legal. Just one more score, Abigail. No, it's not like that. This is about... This is about being able to earn money and provide. This isn't about glory like it was for John. Uh, for Dutch. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to... Uh, Wait. Marry me. Marry? I thought they were married. It was Arthur's. Oh, fuck off. Of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh. oh fine. I never took you for a romantic. I didn't think no, they were... I thought they were married. But, <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think. Oh, John! I know. I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. Me too, Sadie. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, John. Where are we going, Sadie? What the fuck was that? We're cutting off the main track up here. By Manzanita Post. That's so nice. He's gonna use the ring that Arthur left for ah! where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. What the fuck is what are you doing, Rachel? 
Uh, Golden Warrior, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the I circus. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. They were sure arguing like they were married, yeah. <laughs> Abigail's problem is clearly she just wants John to not risk his life anymore, but she wants it terribly. Looks like a yeah. Bear. Something came through here. Can you get off the horse, John? Fella left in quite a hurry. I understand why she doesn't want him to be um in danger. Like I get it, but Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, well, there's a bunch like of blood going that way. way. <laughs> That's a lot of blood. Both of them. Oh, we're taking the horses? Okay. Mount up. Let's find them. It's that way, I'd say. Great. Hold. Yeah. Damn it! I lost the train. I got you, girl. Oh, maybe I don't got Can you. you. See which way he might have gone. That way. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. I think Arthur taught him to do that. I lost it. 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 <laughs> that way. Sorry, Sadie. I got confused. What you over there for, John? I got confused. <laughs> Yeah, this way. In John Keep fashion, I got a little confused. There's a cabin up here. Oh, he's dead. Is that him? Ugh, well, ain't pretty. Oh boy, that our fella? Maybe. Oh, his face! Ew! Looks more like a local farmer to me. Or what's left of one. Ugh, it's so shiny! Is he gone? You, Marshal Thorwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! I don't think Come he's on. gone. Don't shoot! Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Ah! <laughs> holy shit, John! Holy shit, John! Holy shit! Just get him! Ah! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Ah! Jesus Christ! I think he's gone. <sighs> <sighs> Thorwell! Get out here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! Fuck's <laughs> sake! Pathetic! Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That warrant. John would not be standing right wrong. now. <laughs> come here! I gotta hit the hay and night, Luke. Good night, Shuma. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, boss. Got him. Thorwell. Call yourself a man? Well. It's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. <laughs> Dead eye highlighted the head and three organs, maybe you had to hit them. That just shows the vital points. So I think you can you don't have to hit all of them. It just shows you the points that will get you like I a one hit kill. He didn't kill that bastard. But gave him something to remember us. Jesus. Finally. He had a hard skull, I guess. You alright, John? Yeah, just a little mold. <sighs> just we always find a way to Don't tell Abigail that up. happened. <laughs> Don't tell Abigail. That's kind of the problem. Maybe. Lou, thank you for the stream. Sorry you cried a bunch. Nah, no, it's okay. It's really okay. Heavy things. These things Heavy happen. Man and all. Seeing all this. Uh, I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are a 
your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if that's your fair, wife, that's fair. And your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah. Fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I spend my cash on Who's this up oh, here? Who the fuck are you? Is that? Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. Uh, are you doing what? No, Get fuck off! off. The road. We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Excuse uh, me? Me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was gonna have to take all of it. <laughs> Excuse me! You and your partner are just children. Don't get yourselves hurt now, son. I told you she wouldn't drop it. Like, what do you think is gonna happen, bro? You're dead. Oh, I missed the other one. Oh, oh, sorry, Sadie. All good. There, there. Fucking fools trying to rob us. God damn. You don't mess around, do you? No. Nope. Let's go. Them bastards was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. Yeah, I had to do it to him. Oh no, everything all right, Louis? Sorry, something bad happened. Oh, it's it's just the game. Yep. The game just made me cry a lot. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm good. Detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Maybe I'll hang it up one day. Yeah. Maybe I'll hang it up and. You said earlier you knew something about Micah. Oh, yeah. Tell me about Micah. Tell me what you know. Are you sure you want to hear about it? I do, I really do. All that back at your ranch enough? It is, but uh, he... I will handle it. Your bounties? He needs to die, Sadie. That's your decision to bring me along or not. But... But Micah? That's something we... Well, I... I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to yeah, me. Yeah, you bring it to me, Sadie. Please, please. I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. It is. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? No, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thanks, Sadie. <laughs> How many bounties are we gonna go on with her today? It's bounty after bounty after bounty, my God. All right, while I'm in town, is there a barber in Blackwater? There is, but they're closed at the moment. Let's go down there anyway. Maybe they'll open by the time we get there. Excuse me, sorry. Doing okay, girl. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? I'm not fucking with that right now. I need the barber, thanks. Excuse me. Hi there, come on in. I'm looking for my mate. Gavin, Gavin, nah, fuck that. I'm not fucking with that right now. Help me. Gab? I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Just trim his hair a teeny bit too. Just a teeny bit. Thank you. Oh, looking good, John. Looking good. Oh, 
Hello. Hello. All right, so what do we got now? <laughs> we got to get home to Jack. Jack's got something for me. Has anyone seen Gavin? No, I really don't give a fuck about Gavin. <laughs> I don't care. Every time I talk to him, all he does is go, Gavin, Gavin, and I have to fucking listen to him. I don't want to listen to him. Let's get out of here. I gotta get through this epilogue, man. At this rate, Plum's gonna wake up and she <laughs> I'm still gonna be streaming. Like I gotta <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta get this done. Not doing that. Second. If I recall, Gavin, uh, the Gavin guy is either canonically with PTSD and Gavin dies to repress the memory, or the other theory was that Gavin was schizo and he's now taking meds so Gavin disappeared. I think I heard something like that about um, him hallucinating and him not being real, or that he had died. Hi, Jack. How you getting on, son? Uh. Fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You went with Uncle Arthur, you though. Him, though. Right? Cause we gotta find some food. Oh, do something he wants to do, John. Come on. Let's head this way to the stream. Let him read you a book. Like, <laughs> let's, come on. Do something okay. that Jack wants to do. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But... Let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But... You'd like him to? Yeah, whistle him over, yes. whistle him over. So. Oh, hi, Rufus. There he goes. Care if we don't catch fish. Yeah, I. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> He's trying. Fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Oh, at least he's being honest. Unless you want nothing but beans again. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. It'll be fun, it'll be fun. It's fun being out with you, even though I can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. Sorry if shortening the word schizophrenic seems a bit. Oh, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. It was just auto mod. You're good. I, I mean, yes. I'd like that. Jack, I love you, boy. Pretty countryside, ain't it? I guess. Grass and the light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. I wonder if Jack is John's son or not. Land and light. But to me, it's... He doesn't it's, actually know. It's life. Can't explain it. I mean, either way, it's his son, you know. But like, what are you gonna be when you're older? I want to travel, see the world. That's a good idea. Then, become a lawyer and, and help people. That's not a lawyer. That's a. <laughs> are you laughing at me? No. no, we ain't laughing. Just whatever you do. Do it better than me and your mom. We're at the wrong spot. We need to go over here, apparently. However we had it. 
We didn't make the most of it until now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this'll do. This is a real good fishing spot. Was this your first playthrough? Yes, it is. Yes, that. it is. And hours later, they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. Why is he so mean to me? <laughs> Don't be mean, boy. Let's use cricket bait. Uncle Hosea, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? Yes, he was. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me, though. Arthur taught you how to fish now, did he? He did. He sure did. I suppose he did. Uh, I got a bite. I got a bite. Good job. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. Want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. You got it. You got it. Now reel them in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. I got him. Good job. <laughs> what do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't. You did I it. Oh. I don't know. Thanks, Dad. Oh, thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. And don't you feel better now that you came and actually? Arthur. I remember now. I picked some flowers and uh -huh. the men showed up. Dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. That's a good fish, John. That's a good fish. Why didn't you put it in the bucket? That's what we brought the bucket for. I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is Rufus? Where is he though? I don't know. Rufus better be okay. I'll be pissed off if this kid loses another dog. Alpha Mike, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the circus. Rufus! Come on, boy! Rufus! Here. Jack, you better not. Yeah, I don't want to fish if you're going to walk off on your own. Let me come help you look. Yeah, let's put this away. Um, I'll come help you. Just wait up, jo uh, Jack. Wait up. John, can you put the fucking fishing rod away? Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Rufus! Rufus! It's alright, it's alright. We'll find him. We'll find him. No Rufus! worries. Rufus! Well, this ain't like him, Pa. Can you go search the other side of the track? Alright, I'll go find him. Don't worry, boy. Have we been going to the forest? Oh, don't even say that. Rufus, buddy, did you catch like a pheasant or something? What's going on? Did you get bitten by? Look for Jack. What do you mean, look for Jack? He was just over there. Where the fuck? What's happening to Jack? What the fuck's going on? Rufus. Did you find him? Dad, Rufus, Rufus, no, no, it's a snake. I see. He bit him. Calm no. down, boy. And Jack, you calm down too. I'm gonna save him. It's okay. I'm gonna suck. I'm gonna suck out the fucking the venom. I got it. I got it. Well, suck it, Dad. I am. Don't ever say that again, boy. Well, spit it out. I'm, I'm doing it. Calm down. Dad, Rufus, no. I got it. I, I, stop saying that. I got it. All right, Jesus. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Jack. Be okay. We just gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. Oh man, get the dog home. Get the dog home. Abigail, can I get a hand? What's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him and the boy. 
Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack. Oh, Jesus, Jack. Jack. Calm down. down. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's just, not because we went fishing, Jack. But. But the dog. The dog's gonna be fine. Oh, buddy. It's okay, son. Please tell me Rufus was okay, please. Jack is losing it? I know, Jack's- I mean, listen, he's got trauma. He's got fucking PTSD from all the shit that he's dealt with. Keep going, girl. You're okay. Just because he was young doesn't mean he was immune to everything he saw and went through. He was kidnapped. Like, he's been through a lot. Hey. Hey man, I gotta go see my wife. I got sheep, that's nice. This dog better be okay. Hey boy. You doing okay? Dogs get bit sometimes. I'll get tougher, sir. Life can be real nasty. It's not about so that. Worst things are gonna happen, you know. You stay safe now. If you don't mind, sir. What is Abigail arguing with Uncle about? Hey. You what, woman? Was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. All right. Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Lizard of a woman. Stop fighting! I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a minute. Oh, John. Tell about my health. Do what the lady says. I've worked my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston. Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Oh. Well, at least she has my surname. Stay. He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. <laughs> Who's that? Who is it? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. They have furniture. It's the Gettys boys. The Gettys boys! Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Hello! Duncan. They brought a bunch of shit. Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Ma thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your mom, Paul, we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just that is a here. lot of furniture to not know that was in your attic. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Paul said this is the least he could do. Wow, that's a lot. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> Send your Paul my best regards. Tell him he's got friends for life in me and my family. Bye, sir. Yay. Ma'am. I can't believe this. It's so kind. Sure. But there's still some more things that we need to get. You probably shaved now? I, uh... It's been ages since we spent any time together. A date with Abigail? Let's go get the wagon. Oh, yay! Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. Yeah. We had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we get some to show for it. The rain, this life. It's so nice, John. Come on, Abigail, get up here. May I help you? <laughs> John. Come on, John, you little sweetheart. The next mission is the last one, I believe, not this one. Alright, good to know. That means we'll be wrapping up fairly soon, guys. Any, any other epilogue stuff, I'm probably going to do in my own time. Like, I'll, I'll make a separate save and, like, come back and explore and look around and do stranger missions. I'll just do that in my own time. I ain't had a drink and, well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean, good, wholesome fun, like, uh, decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. We're decent, we're, we're decent. decent. I still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took, for starters. 
portrait. Oh, that's nice. Town takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? No, I'm with you. But you ain't that much to look at. Hey. I want a picture of us. He's handsome. Okay. Okay then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. He wants to propose. Walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. That's fine. You ain't a good cook. <laughs> you ain't a good cook, hey, Abigail. Well, Jack and Charles will eat up. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> so maybe you're right. We'll stay. You know I am. Okay. I always thought Marston was more of a looker than Arthur. I, I I do think that from time to time, John's model in the game is a little more handsome than Arthur. Arthur's got this rugged handsomeness overall, and I think he's a better he's better looking than John. But sometimes Arthur's model can be really stupid. <laughs> Sometimes Arthur's model, I don't know, it's like the, the expression or some something on his face, especially if he's fully shaven. I don't like him fully shaven. I think from time to time he cannot look great. But John so far is constantly great to me. I think they're both incredibly handsome. I think Arthur has a oh, he's he's sexy, but uh, John's got a kind of pathetic thing about him that I like, you know? Let me help you down. Why are you being so courteous? Because he loves you, hey, woman. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? I'll come with after you. After that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Oh, he's so happy. Ah! He's so happy. Oh, the picture of Arthur and Mary. And all the couples in love. Oh, my right. God. Let's get that picture taken. It means that much to you. It does. Oh, John. Does. Oh. You're acting kind of funny. This shit going to make me cry again. A different kind of funny. Am I oh. annoying you? <laughs> no. I like this version of you. It just, it just ain't you. Maybe I've changed. It is him, down I, deep. I don't know. Probably not. Come along with you. All right, let's go. Let's get in there. Are they closed? Okay, no, it was just being weird. <laughs> Hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, okay. our portrait taken. Oh, well, we do that. Yeah. It's wonderful. Handsome couple, quite... <laughs> Something, but you need a background. Background? Yes. <laughs> Why is he we being like that? Niagara Falls. Paris, by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. This is incredible. <laughs> Do I actually get to pick? Let's see the others. All right, so that's Niagara. What about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? Let's see what else they got. The open prairies. Whichever one you want, Abigail. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. <laughs> spooky. She's funny. That's nice. That's a nice Being one. Back home. Was that all of them? This is, uh, mm, this is a bar. Surely there's a photograph <laughs> of you in a bar already. Oh, that's Ooh. funny. This was your idea, John. It's up to you. No, I want the one that's like back home. This one. You've seen all of them. Anything you like? Ah, this one. 
wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River. <laughs> the Congo but, River? Yeah, what the fuck? Skirt, I couldn't afford the... It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy. <laughs> Select a pose. I'm be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I you were a cowboy. Not a poser. <laughs> the pose I get to choose. Learn from the best. That is true. This is so cute. Lovely. No, 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 I haven't decided yet, sir. Give me a minute. Oh, she's gonna stand behind me? No, I don't like that. I don't Ooh, like that. I like it. Wonderful. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be together. No, we're too we're too far apart. No, no, get up, guys. Get up. So natural, particularly you, sir. That's too boring. Very good. Okay, either that one or you know what? Fuck it. I'm doing the romantic that one. I don't give. One. I don't. That's beautiful. I don't give a fuck. We're doing the romantic one. <laughs> Perfect. Use the chairs if you want. No, this is it. How's this? Perfect. <laughs> now, give me a minute. He loves I'm her. Going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. He wanted a nice picture. Gunsling. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, kiss, kiss, kiss. You're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here. Came out beautifully. <gasps> Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that face on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so nice. There you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh, yes. He'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. I did enjoy it. You know <laughs> what? Hell. I did, Abigail. We loved that. <laughs> Now we need to fucking propose to her. There is one thing I hadn't done. Hey? I never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Oh, okay. No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. It's right across sure. there. Let's go. Of course. It's the Marvel of the age. I love Marvel. She loves Marvel. <laughs> Put her down. Put her down. Let's go. <laughs> she loves Tony Stark. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. What's wrong with Marvel? I'm just being Get silly. <laughs> okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Alrighty, well, let's go see it. Come on, Abigail. Go see a movie together. Let's go, baby. Thank you again. Come on in. Mystery awaits. Toby Stark. No, I said Tony. Tony with an N. My God, a moving picture. It's a speed paint. Damn, it's a speed paint. Incredible. It's just incredible. It's like they're really there. Hey, I'm trying to watch this. Johnny Marston. <laughs> Put armor on Abigail? Will do. What are you doing with that arm? What do you think, I darling? What do you think? Cool. John. Oh, I love them. That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Marston. What? I'm watching. Please. Shh. <laughs> Not this again? The difference what is John actually mean, made John? a move. Don't be such a sour puss. Damn, this is some advanced animation. <laughs> Stop it. She's a piece of work. Really? Shh. This is some advanced animation for the time. My god. Oh my 
my goodness. Oh my. Is it over? <laughs> I think so. Come on. Oh, we just left, just like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh, we never get out. The farm will be fine. What are we gonna do now, John? What are we gonna do now? I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Yes, let's go. Come sure. on, come on. Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? You gonna teach me to swim finally? In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. Yeah, well. No, I'm not. Come on. Oh, this is it. He's You're gonna do it. Man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. We're getting in a boat too. Oh! Let me help you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. Oh, here we go. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. Oh, John. I wonder whose boat this is. Sounds now. Matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're. They won't think anything. Don't think. We're borrowing. I hope we don't got leaks or nothing. It's nice. Don't worry. Don't worry. Making babies on a boat. <laughs> All I can see is a strange man rowing. I thought it was John Marston, but. You leave me alone. He's been replaced with an imposter. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? What are you doing that for, John? What are you asking? Oh, propose! Ah, here it is. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. You married me? <laughs> Get up. I am married to you. No, I mean proper. Yes! In front of God. You serious? I got this ring. Uh -huh. for a long time. Take it. You serious? <laughs> yes! It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. Please, Abigail, please. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I never, I didn't know what mattered to you. It does matter to you. It didn't. But now it does. Yay! I think this is dumb. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. Yes, kiss, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yay. Other would be so happy. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Anytime I think about Arthur and what he wanted for John, it fucks me up. I can't think about that. <laughs> this is everything. Red Dead 1 is going to ruin everything. I know it is, but... Yay! Oh, a little kid! <laughs> yes! Put them boots on, boy. Oh, they have such a nice house together now. <sighs> you gonna play Red Dead 1 after this? Yeah. I sure am. Next year, no spoilers, yeah, no spoilers, next year. I need a little break, but... <sighs> God damn it!
time I think about Arthur. <laughs> I start thinking about Arthur and, and how you just wanted John to be fucking happy and live a good, honest life. I'm so fucking like. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I know Red Dead 1 still has to happen, <laughs> but for now, for right now. Arthur would be so happy. <laughs> he would be so happy. Fuck, dude. <sighs> Look at that view of the tree. That's so perfect. <laughs> he was so good, John Abigail. <laughs> I'm crying to you, old missionary. <laughs> Okay. Alright. I'm gonna get started on finishing now, but before before I do the last mission with Abigail, just just tell me now. I, I wanna go see where Arthur is buried. I wanna go see that before I end stream, but should I do that now before I do this mission? Or is this mission gonna take me there in some way? Like, should I go do that now? Or is that totally up? Like, what? Just tell me. Should I go do that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I wanna go back up there. Where is that? I think, I think I know where it is. I think it's up here somewhere, wherever the final... I think it's up here somewhere. I think you can do it post-epilogue? Okay. case scenario to make another save that's true let me actually save now as well i'll make another one oh, i don't know i won't make another one yet i cried lots playing through this game too it's okay yeah <laughs> i would cry a lot <laughs> A lot today, and I only imagine it's gonna get worse. <laughs> God damn. <sighs> I just wait for the missionary to tell me about the. Apparently it's on the mountain near Mysterious Hill Home. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, no, don't go help. Stop, go and help. Map. I know it's up here somewhere. Not near Valentine, it's more north, like up here somewhere. Crying makes you sleepy. Go to sleep. Good tonight. I'm gonna pass the fuck out tonight. I'm gonna go eat dinner and die. <laughs> Hold on. I, I think I can find where it is. I'm just gonna alt tab a second. I can find where it is. You can go post game. Okay, I'm still gonna just get it up so I can mark it and then, you know, know where it is later. Um, let's see.
All right, yeah, I know where it is. It's, um, it's right here. It wasn't the mountain we started off on, it's right, yeah, it's right here. This is where he's buried. All right, let's do this mission with, um, Abigail. You can also find Tilly, Rainfalls, and Pearson in different towns. Yeah, I'll do that all off stream. Just when I'm ready. Freya rescued. Sir Galsworthy put down his sword and, and took up his plow. I love it. I truly love it. Abigail, dear, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? Away with you, you no good parasite. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> John, come out here. What now? What could it possibly be? Hey, John. Sadie. Abigail. You got, you got Sadie. something Charles? about Micah? I found him. I found Micah. No. I got a lead. One of his boys wanted for murdering a woman. Been seen drinking in strawberry. If we can get to him, he'll lead us to Maka. But I gotta go now. You coming? I'm no. coming. He's not coming. Abigail, That's I'm coming. Business. His business is here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll ride with you. I'm no, sorry, I... Abigail, but I've got her. I'm begging you. No! You risk all this? For what? For Micah? All this? Well, this wouldn't exist if it weren't for Arthur, Sadie, yeah, and all yeah. the folks fell. It's important, well, Abigail. Know. This place ain't no more real than, than one of Jack's dragons. I'm begging you. And I'm begging you. It's important, Abigail. This is it. This is... Please. Please try to... It's important to no him. Choice. You don't understand, Abigail. Keep an eye on the place for me. Of course. Please. <laughs> He's gonna come back Let's go just kill this fine. Son of a bitch, then. Don't worry, Abigail. This is important. I mean, it's fair to worry, but like, don't be mad at him. Before he dries out. Micah killed. <sighs> Micah killed Arthur. It weren't Which even the fucking TV. Cleet. Which one was Cleet? The big one or the little one? The one with the rat face. My memory is they both had rat faces. That's true, that's the true. Bastard with the rat face then. Him? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk. I love that Charles is coming Damn too. Right. Fuck yeah, Charles, let's go. We owe this to Arthur. Yes, we you do. Think Arthur cared about revenge? No, but I do. I'm not so sure. Especially not at the end. He cared about stopping Micah, and that's what we're doing. Agreed. I hear you're taking bounties now. And I hear you're building houses. Mm-hmm. When I'm not killing old friends. Well, nowadays I'm almost always killing old friends. To be fair, Arthur died on his own. Me. Yeah, but and Micah beat the shit out of him. Seems that way. You interested in bounty hunting, Charles? Micah now beat the shit out of him. He could have had a few days left. Put out to pasture. No, that work ain't for me. I, uh, I think I might get out of here. Go north, Canada, find a woman. Start a family. Yeah, you should, Charles. I mean, I love you here, life. but well, I you should find something of I'd your like own to too, Charles. Oh, hey, John, you've given him the family book. I thought we would have inspired him to a life of celibacy and isolation. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking I might get out of here too. Yeah, he killed yeah, Hosea. Yeah, he got he got Hosea it's and Lenny wild, killed. Got Susan killed. Mean, well, he killed her directly, rather. I protection for a gold mine, or take up with a handsome revolutionary i don't know something see something else at least that all sounds good yeah it all sounds real fun. but either way it's but important to get rid of micah first okay strawberry this is it it's not about revenge then we find him okay john charles you take the other side of the river i'll stay on this one if we meet in the middle, Let's go. It would have covered most of the town. If he's here, we'll get him. Okay. 
Let's go. Let's go. What? You found him already? Hey, Cleek. Been a while. We found him already, huh? Stop that man! He's wanted for hey. murder. I'll hang hey, him off. Stop! 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 You can't escape us, Cleek. Ain't no point in trying. Move! You fucking bastard! Stop running! He got past. Get him, Sadie. Why isn't John running at all? Hello, <laughs> Cleek. Remember us? Get away from me! Oh, you gonna take a turn? Yeah, hey, I will. Buddies, ain't we? Sure, Sadie. With pleasure. Now, where's Micah? Where's Micah? Micah? Why ain't see you? Have you seen him or not, Cleet? Stop, 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 stop. What sort of killing will do? Wait, 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 Micah! Where? Where's Micah? I don't know. I ain't seen him. We fell out. And you know what? I'm bored of this. Agreed, Let's Sadie. Oh, good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, wait. Oh, what a backhand! Up to the gallows. I told you. <laughs> Quit squirming. Damn, we're really, really gonna hang him. This is kind of crazy. Your model keeps winking? Oh, uh, it's probably because I <laughs> got tears in my eyes. Go on. The lady. Get up there. Hold on. Keep moving. Stop. No, you stay away. Get up there. Move. Stop this. No, 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 no. Come here, you bastard. Ah. Move it. Come on, move. Here, I want you stood right here. Still. Damn, we're really gonna fucking hang him? Alright, string the no good murder ambassador to. Let's try this again. Where's Mike? I'm serious, man. I'll do it in an instant. Where's Mike? I already told you I ain't seen him. You lie. It ain't my fault. He tried to kill me. Where's Micah? Talk, or I'll pull this lever. Talk. Ready? I'll do it. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. He's up in the mountains. In the mountains, huh? He's up in Mount Hagen. We got a whole gang now. Bad man, doing bad things. Oh, I can't I wait. Tried to stop him from murdering that little girl. We fell out. Right, Honest. Please, I'm. I'm one of the good guys. Hang him. Is this what Arthur would want for John? No. Don't do that. No. He's done. Thank you. Well done. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Maybe not. But Arthur. Like. Maybe Arthur wouldn't have wanted John to go on a revenge mission, but Arthur would also understand why he had to. Because Arthur also wanted Micah to, you know? Micah, we're coming for you. Arthur would have also wanted to get revenge on Micah for this. He would also be going out and doing this. I could have spared that guy, but I didn't want to. Arthur, who? Stop saying that! Stop saying that! You're being evil for no reason. Stop it! Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna kill Micah, and then I'm gonna go to Arthur's grave, and I'm gonna tell him that I did it for him. We all ready? This pass will take us up into the high mountains. Lead the way! There's an old watchtower up there they might be using for a camp. Let's fucking go. Oh shit! There must be a snapper! Get it covered! Quick! Who got shot? Charles? Charles! Be careful! Jesus Christ, you okay, bro? Stay low! We gotta get closer to him! We'll 
him. I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him up there. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> that wasn't very good. That wasn't very epic, John. That was not very epic. <laughs> oh, stay down. There, I'm making a run. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'll fucking get him. I can get him from here. I can get him. What the fuck? <laughs> He's OP. That's not fair. That's not fair. They don't want me to get him from here. Did they shoot Charles again? Yes, yes, that was the checkpoint. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. I'm staying down. I'm down, I'm down. Yep, I'm moving. Got him! As if I didn't get him the last five times I shot him, but that's fine. Alright, Charles! Let's go back to Charles! I'm coming, Charles! Charles better not fucking die in this epilogue, I'll scream. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Charles? Where the fuck are you? Over here. What? How did he get over there? <laughs> I didn't even see him. Charles. Hey, you're okay. You're right, Charles? Okay. I will be. Go on. Go on now. Move fast. They'll come to my help and kill us all. Get his ass? Ziggy, you should not be here! This is the very end of the game! <laughs> I don't want to leave him. Hey. They know we're coming now. I love you, Charles. <laughs> Ziggy, get out. Ziggy, get out of here. I just can't move fast. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who these guys are. <laughs> you, just, you just get out. <laughs> leave me, leave me. I love you, Ziggy. I love you. This is the very end. <laughs> That's Jimmy and Lancelot. That's true. That's true. Sure. All right, Charles, I love you. I'll see you soon, brother. One way or another. Sure. Get him for me. I'll get him for you. Well. Oh, they're still shooting at me! Where? Yeah, you tell him, John! Let's go, Sadie. Let's go, Sadie. Got him. Oh, this is so good. Let's get the fuck up there. I didn't get him. She's gonna be here. Oh, I'm gonna scream. He won't be. He won't be. Oh. Holy shit. There he is. I can't see where the fuck they are. Okay, there's one. Crazy if Dutch and Michael were still riding together. That wouldn't. Nah. Dutch is gonna be gone.
Oh, it's so hard to run through this snow. Oh, see! No, 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 no! No, Sadie! No! No! Sadie, baby! You alright? Just fine. You don't look too fine. Come on! You're bleeding pretty bad. Ain't nothing. Oh, Sadie! I'm fine. You're dying. I'll be fine. Just... Say it's okay. I, I ain't dying. I ain't. I hope not. I ain't dying. Just go get him. I'll be fine. I just oh. need to rest. Uh, okay. Charles, stay with her. Charles, you worry about yourself. I'll be okay. No, I'm coming. Oh my God. Show it up. But I got something to take care of. Sure. Just you left. Oh, the music. Oh fuck no. Just me. Oh, fuck. I was kind of hoping I could kill you. Likewise. The music. Holy fuck, John. Just you left, is it? We gotta be... Yes! Now hold on, I, I do have to go back and get my hat. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm serious, I have to. For Arthur, I gotta put this shit on. Let's go. The music! Okay, I'm having trouble. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no! What the fuck? How many bullets do some of these guys take? That was like seven bullets. <laughs> it's fine. Let's be epic again. Look who it is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left. Shooting pebbles at people. I know, sometimes they take so many bullets. That was Joe! Oh my god, why are they sniping him so bad? I'm trying to be epic. Fuck off, John. Don't stop getting fucking killed. Look who it is. Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Yes, it's just me. chances what the fuck what the fuck this is hard look who it is 
Ain't you got a habit of just showing up? But well, I got something to At least I get to keep listening to this. This is just cool. You left, is it? Yeah. Just me. No, I'm not out of healing. I'm just not used to healing. I've never done it before in the midst of a fucking battle. Thank you. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? Come here. He thought, yeah, he thought. He couldn't fucking take me. Oh, I'm so, I'm so like, oh. Where the fuck is he? Can you imagine running up hill in the snow full tilt? I know, man's gonna be angry. He is an angry, angry man. Quick, 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 reload! Hurry, 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 bro! Micah! Micah! Alright, Micah's the only Micah. one left. Where the fuck is he? Get my fucking shotgun out, also. I don't have one. Okay, well that's fine. How the fuck aren't you dead yet? I shot you in the face! Micah. What a shitty fucking camp. Nothing. You got nothing on the camps that we used to have. No, John! <laughs> Stop it! Stop getting shot so rapidly. <laughs> Micah rolling down the other side of the hill right now. <laughs> Look who it is. Oh my god, Ain't from the start! Just show it up. Oh, Percy! Well, I got something to take care of. Thank sure. you so much for the two gift subs. Yeah. Just me. Oh, I'm getting controller drift. That's not good. I can't... I'm getting controller drift. <laughs> this is this last mission is fucking with me. There we go. That was job. Okay. Sake. Fuck me! He dies so fast, he just crumples. I know I need to heal, but it's so unnatural. Look Opening up my is. satchel takes way too long. Hey, you got a habit of just showing up. But I got something to take care of, sure. Just you left, is it? Yeah. Just me. Alright, 
right, just take it slow, nice and patient. Who's next? You. I know healed once in a previous stream before. Yeah, it, it, does, it doesn't feel natural to me. Where's the guy that comes up behind me? Where is he? Where the fuck is he? There he is! You are not real! Fuck you, spawning like that, motherfucker! Alright! Alright, alright, all right, let's go! No wonder he got TV, because I didn't heal to the fuck Good job, John, good job. playing in the snow, he's having a good time. Wish you could go sledding with Jack. After all this, I don't think we're gonna want to see snow for a while. Kevin, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming for you.
As if he's gonna answer you, John. <laughs> Are you over there? Like, he's not gonna tell you. Look at the little rat running across the snow. That's how you know Mike is here. He attracts the rats. Oh my god, it's literally getting dark outside. I've been streaming all day. Scarface. <laughs> Scarface? Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> you think you can hide from me? You think I won't quick draw you and fucking shoot How's you in the that, brain? Uh, what are you talking about? Whore of yours. Oh! Good. Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. Oh, she's a whore now. You liked but her before, but she's a whore so now? It seems. Mm. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Oh, will you? Whatever you say. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I bet you do. Oh, Jesus. I look forward to meeting him. I can't dead eye? It's not letting me dead eye him. It's literally not letting me. Jesus. They made this super hard. Are you kidding me? Can I just throw dynamite at him? Honest we'll to God. Anyway. Uh, uh, you, be rich? Uh, good. Damn it. you want some more? Take some more. Oh shit. I got more. Sadie! Come on now, Micah. At least die like a man. Just shoot him. Just shoot him. Just shoot him. Just like old times. <laughs> Come on. Just shoot him, Sadie. Turn around and start walking. You got me. Just at least make him drop his gun. Shoot him in the hand. Do something. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. He dropped them. Oh no, they're in his holsters. You Hello, fucker! Mrs. Adler. I'm kind of excited though. It's been quite a while. Sadie! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Now, John. Now. What were you saying? What are you doing here, Dutch? Same as you, I suppose. You came Dutch here to kill I Micah? How interesting. Teaming up once more. We got money. We got dreams. Ooh, fuck. Join us, John. Join us. Let her go. No, I can't do that, John. Dutch. Oh. Dutch, come on now. You shot at me, son. And? You started. You betrayed me. Again, you started it. The same as you. I was trying to do my best. You? You just cared for yourself. Oh, Sadie. I think differently. Join us. Join us, John. I ain't joining you. Let her go. She ain't well. I don't want to kill you, John. Arthur saved my life. More than once. Yes, he did. Been dead a long time. This is a new century. Dutch. Uh. Dutch. We all did our best for you. Ain't our fault. Things turned out the way they did. I'm like biting my fucking fingernails. Dutch. Killing me won't solve nothing. Put down your gun, Marston. Say something, Dutch. Say something. Don't you know that he's just manipulated I you? Got too much to say, no more. What? 
You shot me. Judge! <laughs> <gasps> you shot me pretty good. Oh! Just load him up, load him up, load him up! Fall off the mountain and die, you fuck. Thank you. Don't thank him, John. Don't thank him. Don't thank him. Keep away from him. Keep away from my boy. You stay away. We should kill him too. You okay? Sadie. You're crazy. Well, I hope so. Help me up. Oh, oh my god. Let's go ahead, Charles. There's money. Lots of money. In the cabin. It's black water. I'll go see. Hurry up. I got a wedding I want to go to. No, oh, she wants to come to my wedding. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I gotta say, Dutch was really epic there, though. That was kind of sexy. Oh, he's evil. Oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot. We ain't even gonna fit it in those bags. That's a lot. <laughs> we did it! Oh, the music! This music makes me fight. <sighs> Jack, Uncle, come out here! It's over, Abigail. It's all over. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yes! Yay! I'm going to where the sun burns in the each day uh, oh, the fucking credits! Let's go! Right here. <laughs> we did it. To where the river turns <laughs> to dust, and God is never rushed commonly by my side. Oh right no! Here, I love you. Seem to make sense when brother Santo Hello Raiders, I'm so sorry I'm in the middle of crying my eyes out Gonna be enough <laughs> Welcome everybody Money for everything Silver <laughs> Thank you for the rain <laughs> Kerosene uh -huh. Come and lay by my side Right here Oh, look, Red look They gave Mary <laughs> the wedding all the buzzing thing and the token, <laughs> I can't stay no more. Come on, by my side. Welcome, everybody. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much, though. I really appreciate it. I'm just, we just finished, and I'm feeling, I'm when feeling I see crazy. The I forget that I'm in the cage. They bring me to Sunday mass, <laughs> but it never. The they got me. I'm so sorry for the timing there. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Seven months gone and seven years. Ten to hours. Go Ten I hours. can't stay no more. Come and lay by my side right here. I'm so happy. I love you and the world. Oh, okay, calm down. Cool, cool. Cool it down, baby. Oh, welcome, Raiders. My name is Louette. I'm a clown girl. I'm a full-time artist and a part-time streamer. I don't usually sob my eyes out on screen. This is not normal for me. Um, I just finished Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, <laughs> I hope you all had a great time on um, Psyche's channel. Is that how I say your name, Psyche? Uh, I wish
wish I could introduce myself better, but right now I'm feeling so much stuff. <laughs> Dancing. Oh, I'm so happy. Have you played this before, Psyche? This game is so amazing, so much feels. Fucking sub and freezing his dumbass corpse off. Who's this? Wait, who is this? The Pinkertons? Is that Dutch? Is that Dutch? It's kind of hard to tell. He's cleaned up. He's got the mustache. Is that Dutch? No. I don't know. I don't know if that was Dutch or not. He just had the mustache. <laughs> Is he pretending to be a Pinkerton agent? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. I have an unhealthy emotional bond to my Indian horses. <laughs> yeah, no. Guga. Guga was my horse and Guga died. And Guga's a real one. It was the law. Okay. All right. I just, he had the mustache. I got confused. I couldn't see through my tears. <laughs> oh, what a game. What a good game. I have to play this again. I need to get back to Arthur. I miss him so much. So I can stop crying. Oh. This was so good. Oh, they're sending Charles off. He's gonna go up to Canada, like he said. When's the next stream? Um, I was supposed to stream tomorrow night, but after going for 10 hours today, maybe I won't because I think I need to take a break. <laughs> I need a break. I can't believe it. Let's let the uh, credits all play out because I feel the game has earned it. Friday night then? Oh, tomorrow is Friday night for me. It'll probably be next week, next Monday. I have to find a new game to play on Monday. I don't know what to play now. There's a few more scenes here. I'm gonna let the credits play out completely. I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna go make some food. Hope you have a lovely rest of your stream. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much for following. Thank you for rating. I'm sorry about the timing of it all. But thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Choco, hi, you're awake. Hi, Choco. They got married. Choco. We killed the shit out of Waika. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Good morning, girl. I can't believe you're awake. <laughs> so funny. Oh, the proposal and the pictures and the wedding, I know. I know, it's so sweet. I'm so happy. Who are you? You Mary Beth? Writing? No, I don't know. Is that Mary Beth? She doesn't look the same. I 
I don't recognize who that was. It was Mary Beth? Okay. All the singing and dancing with Uncle, I know, that was so... That made me so crazy. What, you, what time even is it? I don't even know what time. I've got a clock in there, I can't read army time. I don't even know why I put that there. I can't read the time. Just after 7 p.m. Holy fuck. Oh, John and Rufus and Jack. Abigail. I think my dinner's ready. Have a good night, eat well, sleep well. I'm off to put insomnia in a headlock and try to sleep. All good, cool be. Go to bed, go to bed. I'm going to be out of here in a minute too. I just need to, we need to get through this. These credits. Choco, I assume that you've woken up in the middle of the night and you need to get out of here. <laughs> Go back to bed, girl. Go back to sleep. Although I'm gonna want to message you about this tomorrow. I've got a lot to say to you. It's morning in the UK, is it already? I guess it is. <laughs> At the time. <laughs> The music, fuck me. You can see how that confused me and how he kind of looks like Dutch though, right? <laughs> he kind of does. They shouldn't have given him that mustache unless it is Dutch. I'm very confused. <laughs> Babe, try to see I'm dying. <laughs> I knew I've been here the whole time, but it's 3 a.m. here. Yeah, oh my god, you guys all need to go to bed too. Choco went to bed, but I sure didn't. Oh, Seven, oh, you need to sleep. Holy fuck. The agents are tracking you down? Yeah, I figured that's gonna be the lead up to Red Dead 1. Agents are gonna find us, find us at the ranch. Is the train we blew up with Arthur? I mean, bridge? I don't know if it's the same one. Waiting for the credits to end, I have to pay my respects. I know, me too, me too. It's long credits, long ass credits, but they deserve it. But yeah, I do need to go soon. I need to eat and I need to cry. Percy, thank you again earlier for those two gift subs. I think I was um insane at the time. And I said thank you, but just so you know, like double thank you. <laughs> Thank you for those. I think I was going loopy at the time. But I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, you plan on playing Red Dead 1 like a month from now or what? Probably like a couple months. Probably like February. I don't know. I'm, but definitely early next year. Tilly! Does she have a baby? Tilly got married and has a baby? Oh, I'm so fucking proud of her. Yes, Tilly! Yay! Oh, what a game, what a game, what a game, what a game, what a game. Tilly's rich now? She yeah, she was living in Saint Denis. She looked good. She had a rich mister. She was the one at the trolley stop? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You should have played it earlier? Played what earlier? What, this game? I'm happy with the time I've played and spent on it. I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy. I'm glad I got to play it now on stream with everyone. Although I didn't play it at the time when it came out, I'm still- I'm glad, you know? I'm glad I got to play it now. Ugh. It'd be interesting to watch Red Dead 1. I had already seen a full playthrough of this before, so I knew it was gonna go down, but I only know very few things in the first game. Yeah, I only know that you play as Yawn, and it's in, uh, New Austin. Not so much in it. it's 
I think it's only in New Austin, right? You don't have the rest of this whole map with New Hanover and stuff. <laughs> one of the best games around, eh? Oh, this is one of the, this is maybe the best. <laughs> Pearson! Oh, he works in a grocery store. He's a clerk. Good for you, Pearson, doing all his work. You were never an outlaw anyway. You were just a cook. I'm happy for you. Hope you're good. Hope you're happy, my friend. Oh! Are you joking? You're gonna give me a, an alert? What's the alert for? What the fuck was that? I didn't get to see what the picture on the wall was. <laughs> you fucker! You fucking game! Oh, Pearson was the one in Rhodes. I see, I see. This may be one of, I mean, like, it, just the best game of all time. I don't, I'm trying to think of something that I like better than this, and I, I can't... It was the group? Oh, okay, it was the gang, yeah. I'm trying to think of a game that I, I would say I like better than this game. I can't. Maybe it's just kind of because I'm really like deeply into it at the moment. But it's, it's up there. Oh, they're hunting us down. Is everyone's voice actor the same in Red Dead 1? Like Dutch as well? Because Dutch's voice actor in this game is so good. And I'm just assuming he comes back to Red Dead 1 because of course, like, of course he does. Because he hasn't died. One of those games I randomly think about and miss the feeling it gave me. Yeah, I'm gonna, this is gonna affect me for the rest of my life. I think others are different. Okay, I see. Dutch's voice in this is so good. Same guy? Same guy? Yay! And Dutch, Javier, and Bill are in Red Dead 1. Ooh, I see. Okay. I don't care about their voices so much, just Dutch's and John's. Bobby Sutorin Buru. I thought, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for following. I didn't realize you weren't. Thank you for following. I was pretty sure I'm following. No idea what happened there. That's all good. That's all good. Hi, Tori. Hi, Eggthar. We've done it. We've finished it. We are getting through these credits. I recall hearing there was trouble with John's VA not wanting to come back to this role for this game or something. Oh, really? Well, I'm glad he did, because he did a great job. A lot of work, though. Oh, there she goes. Bye, Sadie. I cried in a game like this was probably like The Last of Us. I'm trying to think of, I mean, I cried a bit in Tears of the Kingdom too, but not like in a big way. But nothing like this. I don't think I've had anything like this. Oh, that was Edith and her son getting on a boat. I've never cried, period. Oh, well, that's because you're an emotional psychopath. That's not, I, that's, that's between you and God, bro. Only two games made me cry when I was an impressionable young teen. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, most of the games that I love and that, like, my favorite games are all, like, happy and wholesome and... I haven't really had any super, super deep emotional, like, crazy stories like this really affect me in a game. I have in um, like movies and TV shows and stuff, but for games, my favorite games are fucking like uh, Zelda and like Banjo-Kazooie, you know? <laughs> like, not that I haven't played big games before, but I've never been this like emotionally destroyed. <laughs> But I'm so happy as well. I know that might sound crazy. I don't know. I'm so happy. 
about this game. Not like, oh, I'm happy I played it. Like, I'm really happy with uh, Arthur. I'm really sad about it, but I'm also so happy about it. You know, I'm so happy with the way he decided to take care of everyone. Oh, oh God. I was just... Mary! I was just starting to talk about him again, get fucked. It's so nice. Charles made that for him. <laughs> like I wish that he got to I wish that he got to go old but I'm so happy with the way he spent the rest of his time <laughs> I love I love Charles me too oh shoot she did it yep it only took me ten and a half hours Destroyed, yeah. <laughs> Alright, these come on credits, come on, it's taken a long time. I mean it deserves it, it's an incredible game, but I need to go eat dinner. John and Jack, my babies. Alex, kind regards, Alex. You haven't said anything that would. Why, why would I be thanking you in this moment? <laughs> oh shit, they found me. Oh shit, they found us. Oh fuck, oh shit, they found us. It's not Dutch, he just kind of looks like him a bit. It's kind of. It's like Dutch's grandpa. <laughs> Is another Alex not me? Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about you, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ekthar's name is also Alex, whatever. <sighs> I played this game when it came out five years ago now. I was 14, had father issues, and Arthur was a huge role model for who destroyed me. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. I honestly don't know when anything like that will come out again. No, right? What a flawless game. I like genuinely, and maybe it's because I'm riding the high of cowboys, but for me, even though I haven't played Red Dead 1 and I don't know what this was built off the back of, this is such a flawless game. You're so right. Masterpiece, masterpiece, completely flawless. I can't think of anything that I would do different. I mean, it's sad as fuck. It's one of my top games, I'm so glad you love it. There's like no way it wouldn't be, right? Choco, this is just too good. Anybody that says this is a bad game, like... They're objectively wrong. <laughs> just objectively, they have to be wrong. Go next, Red Dead 1. Then yeah, I am. I'm gonna do Red Dead 1 early next year. I'm just gonna take a small cowboy break. One thing you could have done different was shooting Michael with arrows, yeah. <laughs> well, I threw dynamite at him, so that's something. Losing him sucked, I never finished a game the game a second time. I still have a save where I used to ride around with Arthur purposefully not doing main story missions. I also have a save. I also have a save before <laughs> before I really I 
at the beginning when the controls were frustrating. Oh, well, that was the only thing, but that's not the game. <laughs> that's, that's just learning. That's just learning. Hurry up, credits. <laughs> the credits have been going for 20 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> I need to eat dinner. <laughs> what is this? A little church out? Oh, a dead body. I don't know what that's meant to be. <laughs> What's on the menu? Stew, bro. Sausage stew. I'll be just like Arthur. Eating my stew. <laughs> Eating my stew with my potatoes and carrots. <laughs> After Red Dead 2, it's like you don't really want to play or watch anything for a while. I know, I don't think I can get attached to anything <laughs> for a while. <laughs> It is! I hope you're happy wherever you are, man. I hope things worked out for you. Eagle flies! Oh, <laughs> the eagle! There we go. That must have been the last scene. Oh. Damn. An outlaw, his most trusted scene, you got a somewhat wayward protege of Dutch. Oh, I wish I could read these, they're all going too fast. Damn it. Oh well. of a journey here yeah, it has it really has been we're just gonna let this play out play out play out and then I'm gonna find I'm gonna actually look for someone to raid right now while I'm waiting I didn't go to Arthur's grave but maybe I'll do that on my own time when I'm feeling a bit better <laughs> but I'm feeling a bit more up to it you know Stream the entire epilogue. I sure did, Jeeves. I sure did. <laughs> Good night. Gotta go to professional WWE moves into my insomnia. <laughs> so happy you love the game. Have an amazing night. Thank you, Quilby. Thank you. I loved it. I love the game so much. I've never seen Lou so emotional. It's heartwarming. <laughs> and you're never gonna see it again because I ain't ever playing anything that's gonna make me cry this much ever again, except maybe Red Dead One. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to put me through with that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take you to Ren. We're going to raid Ren after this. Ren's playing Lethal Company with their friends. I think Fleshy's playing too. And it's going to be way more emotionally like happy and upbeat and fun so the tone is gonna flip like 180 so <laughs> when we go let's just forget we were crying and have a good time on Ren's channel <laughs> uh, but let's yeah we gotta wait for this to play out I if it will make you cry a lot or be really angry I fucking bet it will I fucking bet oh, I'm so worried I believe I missed it. I was watching all the way up to the epilogue start and figured you were going to save the rest for another time. No, Jeeves, no. I <laughs> I said I was doing it today. I said I was doing it and I'm here and it's done and I'm, I've done it. I'm doing it. It's done. It's done. I don't get to play anymore. 
I mean, I can, but it's not the same. I'm gonna be really upset about Arthur later. I've, I've been pretty, like I was pretty happy because we got to go straight into the epilogue with John and I could just think about John and be happy. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna fucking lose it later. <laughs> when I'm on my own, I'm, thinking, I'm gonna start thinking about Arthur. It's gonna be fucking mess. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I need to go eat my stew and cry in the shower. Anyway, Jeeves, maybe you'll have fun with the VOD. The epilogue was really good. It made me feel a lot of things. Alright, is this nearly done? No offense, credits, but I think it's time to move on now. Oh, what do we got here? John oh fuck off! There's more. Off this millstone around our necks. We better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money. And I... just like that, the uh, game continues, and I'm free to go. No more that. It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> then get to work on this ranch you own, I'm raising your boy. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Here's your little teaser for Red Dead One. Yeah. You sarcastic, John Marston. Me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> he ain't ever. Anyway, I thought you liked this place. No, John, I don't like it. I love it. She loves it. It's home. <sighs> Yay. We got no missions left, we good? Oh, that's Arthur's grave up there. I don't, I can't do it. It's time to end, we gotta end now. Let's save. Let us save. Good night, Lloyd. good night everybody. I'm not gonna go to my chatting screen because I don't wanna. You have lots to explore. Yeah, I got plenty I can go look at. I gotta go see Arthur's grave next time. I'm just gonna get this raid set up. Everybody, like, thank you so much for hanging out for 10 fucking hours. I know people have been in and out. Visionary, you were here almost the entire goddamn time. I hope you had fun. You need to sleep. <laughs> Um, alrighty. For that, Lou, thanks to stream today. It was very fun and emotional. It was really fun. It was really good. I, I re thank you all so much for watching me play this game. It was fucking incredible. I've already said how I feel. It was so good. I'm so happy I got to play it. And did Ren just go offline? Oh no, they're still online. We're good. <laughs> um, yeah. We're gonna stream Red Dead 1 next year, early in the year, and I... I miss Arthur. All right, stop, I need to stop. Calm down. I need to go have a fucking shower. But yeah, I'll play Red Dead 1 early next year. For now, thank you all for hanging out. I'll see you again next time. We're gonna raid Ren. Here is the raid message and here is the sub raid message i don't think i'm gonna stick around and like chat with ren if ren asks you can just tell them you can tell him i'm emotionally swept and i needed to go <laughs> but copy paste the raid message um and i'll i'll see you next time i love this game so much i will see you all next time. Farewell, everybody.